Hello. <laughs> Hello. The gang's all here. Oh, I gotta change my little uh, chat box thingy real quick. One second. One second. One second. One oh second. my god! You're gonna bore them. D Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Ready? It's a classic. Oh my it's a D classic. That was good. <laughs> she is really she, good. Really wow, funny what really she was the really Five Nights at Freddy's one background of like the game, and she hides in the corner and then slowly. <laughs> It's really good. She's like, it's really fucking funny. Honestly, yeah, this, 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 this. Whoa. Everyone, oh. Everyone, oh my god. god. That's so Why scary. did you have that Wait, on hand? Why was that on hand, please? Wait, I'm really excited right now, though. Why do you have them all? Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> It was even funnier because I could hear her chair going. You have the little mini fan too. Starting off strong. Jams, 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 jams. Um. Uh. Hello, chat. It's not just me this time. It is everyone. I wanted to throw out. Uh, Sherlock made my bed all messy, but that's fine. Um, I wanted to throw out as the little like pre-stream uh, informational thing because we're not, it's not just me this time. So I'm going to keep it very quick because otherwise I'm talking awkwardly in front of all my friends, um, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Pre-stream pre thingy, just so you guys know, this is a D&D &D stream. Um, all the commands that you guys can use are down below in the description should you need any information, anything like that. Um, if you're not in the Discord, please join the Discord because there's literally like an informational chat and an entire section dedicated to Ravenwood that you guys can chat amongst each of each others in. I said each selves. Um, there's a meme channel, there's a gallery channel, there's a chat, there's even a um, a recap uh, channel, which I have episode one and two recaps in there, basically saying what happened in each episode if you're not caught up. Still haven't done three, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, we won't be talking to chat in the stream either because we're going to be fully focused on one another because that is the way the story can progress. So we hope that you enjoy watching more story unfold and all of us being stupid and this uh, romantic slice of life campaign that we have going on here with like the occasional subplot of lore, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the main plot is just romance and slice of life, but it's fine. We'll get there eventually. Um, this episode has a quite a bit more like substance to it. There's quite a bit more going on, but should be interesting and lots of new characters in this episode also um but it is also going to be a little bit of like a learning episode for us because we're going to try out some of the combat stuff um and i have never used dungeon world and i don't think any of us have used dungeon world either so we're all learning together um it'll be great okay but thank you for being here chat hello is james okay is he just vibing? Uh, he said he needs to refresh his computer really quickly. Oh, okay. So no, he's gonna do. no worries. No worries. I also forgot to grab my dice. So I will go do that real quick. Grab your dice. Oh, kind of not that dice. Maybe you can grab oh, mine no. too. Cause no I... dice left behind. Mine are left behind. <gasps> oh. oh no. Oh, it's okay. Well, yeah, I'll, it's I'll move everything when he comes back. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? You're Where still in. I want to see who I'm in. You're literally still oh, in. Oh, I'm still in, in mine. <laughs> oh. What the heck? That's well, boring. Well, that's kind of in Arlo's a little bit. Oh, you just, you just, you just vibe in there. I'm like half and half. Theo, you're Julian now. <laughs> Theo, I can't hear you oh, anymore. Oh, you're, you're muted, buddy. <laughs> you're muted. Is he muted? You're muted. Oh. <laughs> to go Julian impression and for what? Oh. <laughs> give it again, give it again. I, I heard it. Uh, I, it feels I am screen, Julian. Maybe. I do I know so much stuff. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Yeah. 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 That's your yeah. Julian. You know what he sounded like? Victor what? from um Arcane. Oh, oh. oh. accurate. That. Wholesome. Don't put that. I mean, are there is there any difference? Tell do me it. Do it, do it. Oh no, I must sneeze. Oh no, I must sneeze. <gasps> Space. Oh my! Ooh, like Why was hearing. that like a poorly cut scream? Mine? I could hear it. Yeah. Thank you. One Ned. is a butterfly, and the other is literal jade. Yeah. Oh. Is it a is it a butterfly? Yeah, it's That's like a, a it's like a butterfly wing. 
Okay. Butterfly fairy. Yeah. Butterfly. And it's Jadestone. Yeah. Butterfly That's so cool. Fair. Thank you. Yeah, I all like the cool it. jewelry. Thank I got you. this. I got this emerald necklace because it's, oh. emerald's my birthstone, and I oh, got it. Pretty. Oh, pretty. Uh, Taurus bitch. Oh. <laughs> Taurus bitch. <laughs> it's not. It's uh, cool. Boff, do you do you do you recognize the kitty moment right here? <laughs> do you know what this I is? I recognize the kitty moment. I do. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> simp. <laughs> What is it? That's actually really cute, though. It's from Teen Wolf. <laughs> it's it's, little, it's like, Derek Hale. Hale. His little, His little family crest Derek. or whatever, yeah. Derek. Derek. I'm eating garlic bread, chap. Crunch. <laughs> ASMR. The garlic. ASMR. ASMR garlic crunch. <laughs> I mean, it's a very satisfying crunch, to be fair. Theo, chat asked, where do you get all your necklaces? I love them. That's a good oh. question. Uh, <laughs> lots of Etsy. I got, I have three, which three do I have on right now? This one I got from my local metaphysical store. Hey, hey. good just, for you, good for you. Support small businesses. This was Etsy, mushroom on a log. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> mushroom on a log. And I have this one. <laughs> it's, um, this is actually an idea I got from M, so credit to M. Uh, mm. But I'm in love with the uh, lover's eye in the um, um, Victorian type bite. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Victorian. Uh, right? So M and I, or my M and yes. I got. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got we got matching ones together. No, so basically when uh, it was like, like a big thing specifically with queer couples. I can't wait till Mike gets here. Right. Used to get, um, I remember little, that. Uh, <laughs> like as like little necklaces of their lover's eye, and mm -hmm. then they called yeah. it lover's eye necklaces. And Jazz, it was oh. a queer thing. Yeah, that's very queer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Well, that's queer. how they would show. That's, that's how they would queer. show like their love queer. through like a locket without being out. Um, so they would just get a painting of their lover's eye. Put it in a little locket. It was really cute. Ah, uh, hello, Gracie. It's so cool. It's very cute. It's so cool. I love the concept. I remember I looked it up during like when the first season of Bridgerton came up, and I was like, "This is that's, everything." That's it. Mm -hmm. This uh, is everything. While we're waiting, do you guys want to see um, some of the candle labels that I have made? Yes. It's yes, so good. Theo, so good. I don't know if you knew. Do you know, right, that I'm making candles? No. Like, Ah, what? I'm making uh, Ravenwood themed candles. It smells so good. I, I swear we've mentioned this before. Uh, Arlo's <laughs> is Arlo's is um, Ocean Breeze and Sandalwood. Oof. Aww. It smells so good. I actually did the little label because I'm Baby. making labels for them, right? Yes. To put on uh, okay. for chat, so, so you know. So I'm like half out of frame, but it's fine. <laughs> for chat, yeah, so you know. Um, I'm making labels for <laughs> uh, the. Mm, candles. <clears throat> uh, so here's the Arlo one. I guess I hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. Really quick. You have an idea. I have an idea. Well, I'm gonna I add. Idea. I'm gonna add a little scene really quick and just do like a display capture. Not a display capture. A window capture that's just like the entire um, Google Meets thing, <clears throat> so that they can just see everyone. I'm so excited about this. <gasps> I'm so excited been... to show you. I, I must have just been spacing out. I don't remember okay, where though. I don't remember where I sent it. To be fair, I've also been not online, so that's valid. I sent it like once, and then I don't think I ever talked about it again. Man, I'm excited though. There we go. We'll good. just do this. They're for really now. cool. Now chat can see Ooh. basically all of us on, Ooh, my, on my browser, and I'll just make it vanish when we're done. <laughs> Oh, th oh, is it bad that they might be able to see that code? Um. Oh no, because I can just I can just not allow them into the thing. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. true. If they you join the aspers. call, if you try to join the call, you're stinky. You're stinky. Yeah. <laughs> you're stinky. Yeah. You're stinky. You can smell your from um, here. This is awesome. Arlo's. <laughs> can you see? Hold on. Hold on. It's loading. Shit. Give it a second to to. <laughs> Give it a second. To focus. Okay. Beautiful. Ooh, oh I, my god, I don't want to. Focus, please. <laughs> please. Turn this down. Turn the yeah, brightness down. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Brightness is down. There you go. Oh, the heart of oh, shit. oh that's so pretty. Thank so you. Pretty. So hey, son. <laughs> I love this. 
And then uh, I did muds, which his is fresh cut wood and dirt. Oh, man. Just dirt. Oh, Actually, look that's, at him. That's going to smell like one of my favorite smells. I'm going to be good. Yeah. It yeah. smells it is so hot. really good. Oh, I, I made them... I just recently got like little golden tins. What? Yeah, there's mine. Oh, this is so cool. Thank you. I wanted to meet you. I want it. It's so good. Thank you. I had a card. All about it. It literally just smells like dirt and wood. Yeah. And it is crazy. That's my favorite smell. And then I have, we have Andromeda. Whoa. She doesn't have a, I haven't put the smell on there yet, but. Yeah. What is it? We're still trying to find a good one. I think it was like we did like pine and like night air or something. Yeah, it was like pine and night air, something like that. Um, Like best girl. No, I agree. We don't have we don't have the name of uh, Arias yet, but we have the smell, which is strawberry and rain. Yes. Oh my god. (gasps) So pretty. Yeah. Oh my god, Bruh, the beautiful. colors for these are so good. Thank you, the thank you! So nice. But that's all I've done so far. But I am excited for them. Oh <laughs> that's very, very exciting. I wow. have, uh, <laughs> Vey was a uh, absolute sweetheart and bought oh, me, no. um, <laughs> yes, bought me some of the Thank fragrances you. off of my, yeah. off of my, um, Amazon wishlist. And so oh. I now have coffee, so uh, Therens yes. can smell Therans like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Yeah, it will. and uh, it came with yeah. campsite too, so I can do Darien's now, um, which yes. Darien's is going to be campsite and rum. <gasps> I love that for him. That's fun. And I'm Julian, excited about that. I'm really excited. <laughs> it was chai and something, right? Ooh. Julian's was like, it was like a, yeah, it was like chamomile. Oh, chamomile, and, that's right. like, wisteria oh, that's or funny. something. It was something like that. It's really Ooh. Nice. We made his. It smells really nice. We oh, just God. need to um, work cool. on how much I'm, scent to put in. I'm really yeah. excited. Um, the, I literally, it was, like, randomly woke up, and I was like, I want to try and make a candle. And then I <laughs> put the stuff on my wish list, and then a bunch of sweethearts got it for me for my birthday, so I was able to try and make a candle. Oh and it God. worked out, and then I was like, I'm going to make a Ravenwood candle. So they really did. <laughs> like, I was honored, and I got some wax from Michael's, and it was it was a good time. So now oh, I have a bunch of, like, very fun. and stuff. It was so yeah, you them, yeah. satisfying. I'm so excited. Arlo's was the first one I was able to make because um, I have so much ocean, ocean breeze now. Because there's, yeah, like, there's like different, a uh, bunch of the different fragrances came with Ocean Breeze for some reason. And so I was like, good. okay, cool. Sense, so oh, if Arlo is hella popular, good. Because I have so yeah. much of that smell. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was though, Everybody likes ocean stuff. Yeah. yeah. What? Do you remember what Zophiel's was? Oh, it was, was amazing, pine, like, pine and it. rain. Pine and rain. Yeah, yeah I, I made um, a tester okay. one. Ooh. So pretty. I agree with yeah. you. And then I made, I I made so a candle for my mm-hmm. mom. It's, it's smell not a too smell, scary. but I mean, I know. Too, like, uh, I'm just like, uh, it's I feel like I should be smelling these, really but good. I can't. I'm so angry. Rain and pine teleports there immediately. I will send you guys them. I will yes. send you all. Oh, literally, we need to make them. Well, now that we have basically all, all right. of the scents, I have everything for it. We just it have too. to finish making the actual like. I have labels. to get the labels done. Yeah, and like printed. Mm-hmm. And I want to get I want to get the guidebook that I gave you guys printed so that I can basically like uh, send that out with the orders. That's so much fun. It's just like a nice little extra thing. It's so cute. <laughs> Petition so to get James cute. a new computer. We'll start very yeah, soon. Yeah. Chat. Literally. Sorry about that. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Is that six or nine? Huh? It's fine. I got it. I rolled a six. <laughs> oh, very. Hey, yo. Oh, that's another thing I should throw out. Um. So we were talking about, Gracie was giving me tips on it. Um, and so I think I'm gonna do you. <gasps> James? Oh, James! Hey! You're, why are you, are you gotta, sideways? <laughs> you gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta. We'll just play like this. Are we gotta, gonna be crooked for you? You could flip the screen, I think. I think it's <laughs> Oh yeah, how do you, let me see if there's like, an option. How do you do? No, actually, never mind. I bought that song. Oh, I, don't know I what think. Song you're oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Hey. Yeah. Hey yo. But I was like, that rides racist. This never works. Mind. This works. He's gonna get. He's what gonna was get. that view? <laughs> Sorry, I. No, um, look at 
he is. Anyways. You're so oh, cute. Really good, like, quality. Quality. Okay. 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 Valid. Big, yeah. Okay. Set up so we scuffed. Do you want to see how scuffed this is? Hold on. You it. sound good, though. It's you look so good. You sound great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you look the quality good. is so much better. So I currently have it set so that I have my phone leaned up against Yoda's face on top of this Wolverine figurine, <laughs> oh my, but I against this you. lightsaber so it stays in place. Oh so that's my current uh, setup right now. That's Oops. amazing. That was like a good one, George Lucas. Was, okay, I'm gonna be honest, almost scared though. the shit out of me for a second. <laughs> also me. Yeah, that was actually the approaches. Well, <laughs> Is there... <laughs> Am hey, I able to... Your so... quality is so much better. The lighting is so much better, though. Like, I don't know. Or the quality, maybe? No, some my computer is not, is so it's so old. It is just so old <laughs> that this <laughs> phone just sure. runs so much better. My phone you, runs like, significantly you're so much, better than you're my so computer. much louder too. Yeah, and clear. Yeah. Like we can hear you and clear. <laughs> yeah. and, like you're not cutting yeah. in and out. Yeah. Like this is nice. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is like, nice. This is nice. <laughs> there isn't as much delay yeah, as like well. This. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Not... Like, hold, hold on, hold on. Just the test. Just the test. Yeah. Um. Like, Vey, say pop, and then I'll say pop right after. Pop. Pop. Oh! Okay, so it's a little delay, but not that bad. Oh, not that bad. Not too oh shabby. This is great. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... On my, um, on my screen, the bottom row is, is, is the voice. Y'all are gonna y'all are gonna have to step it up on projecting here because James sounds like loud and clear. I'm sorry. Hold on. No, no, no. no, it's no, no. Oh wait. No, you're good. That was good. Wait, I speak. I, really I love that you said that. Uh, that oh, that's that's so perfect, really James. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, I'll turn you guys up a little bit too. Uh, chat. How do they sound in comparison to me? Because I know that I'm a little loud sometimes. Testing, testing, testing. Bing, bing bong. bong. And Emma, is Emma's like, is that your new stick? I come like, yeah. from the sea. Bing bong. 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 I'm here. Yeah. Um, divergency. Testing. Works, testing. Testing. You know, testing. Coconut. Coconut. Testing. Coconut. What was coconut. 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 Testing. I thought coconut? it said grapefruit coconut and I was going to have a problem. Everyone sounds good? We're okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, all right good. well it's five so now it's kind of a perfect time to get started because we just we we went to the, get into uh, it we're not on a my ocd is so weird with like numbers where it's like oh it's five so it's perfect like, time to start this is but it's like start. yeah but it's like we gotta wait two more minutes because then it'll be 505 and that's better than 503 oh okay so we shot for oh. two minutes. <laughs> Sideways again? Oh, not him. Not him. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Sideways. Turn. Turn. You got this. Stupid fucking phone. Stupid phone. It's so weird as well because if I want to change things, I'm like touching my phone. So it's like, like a little just tapping us. the screen. Stroking the screen. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Hey. There we go. <laughs> Okay, um. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Okay. 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 We fucking did it, okay. boys. Let's go. We got hella, hella quality James. Okay. Hella quality James. Hella quality James. High quality so James. Nice. <laughs> it is so nice. James. I've ever seen one. one high quality. <laughs> okay, guys. How are we feeling? Are we ready to go? Bing bong. Boys. Bing, Bing, bong. Bing, bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. So true, bestie. <laughs> Bing, Bing bong. I don't know if you all noticed, I named this episode Vatican Cameos, which yes, okay, is, is, yes. In fact, is in fact a Sherlock reference, but oh. also means battle Sherlock. stations. Um, so. This is so cute. We love, get ready. love a Bye. Sherlock reference. Um, Bye. As a side note, uh, everyone here has officially watched Sherlock all the way through, which makes me very happy. Um, Amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So as a little bit of like an exposition for chat two, oh, it's 505. Perfect. Um, we uh, basically, I asked a couple of you and I asked all of you very last minute. So I'm sorry about that um, for any like ideas of like things that you think your character would have done over the weekend. Um, it, we weren't going to go into too much because it was just literally two days and it was probably a lot of you guys kind of recuperating after the events of Friday because that was a, a, a day. Um, <clears throat> so 
<laughs> um, we didn't do too much, and I didn't really go into too much either, but um, we do have some little scenarios okay. that we will get into. Um, but a little bit of expose. Are we all ready? <laughs> I can always hear jazz echoing in real life. I started testing my voice. So <laughs> loud. Oh my. I didn't realize I was muted. <laughs> Unmuted. <laughs> I was so wondering if you hear me say hello. Don't just hello. Don't, don't, yes. Hello. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really embarrassed. <clears throat> you're fine. You're fine. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh. Um, <laughs> you're good. You're good, D. All right. So, are we ready to go? I'm gonna have to grab my dice in a minute, but that's fine. I'll grab it separately. Okay. I did a silent link for you guys. I hope you appreciated that. What? We definitely appreciate. Didn't actually that. said yeah. I actually just went. Oh, uh, so it's okay. I like it. your echo. Well, it's good. Yeah, okay, it's, it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> shall we begin? Curtain rises. Um, where we last left off, you all took advantage of your first real day off. You used your Friday to go into the city to visit the world you're now being forced to be a part of, and it was insightful and, honestly, quite eventful. Surely none of you expected to follow a graffiti trail into an abandoned subway station and meet a whole menagerie of questionable market vendors, nor did you plan to stumble upon a tavern or a horny Yuanti pureblood or, or a man with a love for amputation and a woman for a with a thirst for blood. And not to mention they're related. Who would, who you might think, oh, sorry, sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, Andromeda, you surely didn't intend to receive a hidden message from someone who you might think is your brother. Julian, it wasn't your intention to pay a psychic for details about your past. Theron, you surely didn't expect to find a tradeswoman of elixirs and poisons tucked away in a discreet street corner. Arlo, you didn't know you were going to be putting down a down payment on an animal familiar. And Arya, you didn't expect to meet an outsider who cut off both wings and limbs for a living and who did so with a smile. As far as first days off and your real taste of the closest freedom you can currently reach, it was an interesting one, and that's for sure. It stuck with you all the entirety of your train ride back to Ravenwood and up until you laid your head down for bed, confronted by rather unsettling and jarring nightmares. If you guys haven't forgotten about those. Uh, <laughs> The rest of your weekend, for some of you, continues to present several intriguing and unique scenarios. And we will begin with Andromeda. Hello, Queen. Hey. <laughs> Andromeda, your mornings go as they usually do. You and Mud accompany one another to the lake behind Terraclaw dormitories to bathe, relax, and for Mud to collect a good portion of sticks and wood for his whittling hobbies. You notice that the air is beginning to get brisker with the coming of autumn, and the sun is hiding more often behind the clouds, the trees seemingly shivering in more violent gusts of wind, and the lake colder than usual, the water biting at your golden clad skin. Mud grabs distinctly more chunks of wood and sticks than usual these specific days, but it goes unsaid. The two of you go about your routine in comfortable silence, only the occasional compliment or gentle comment from the both of you breaking the peaceful quiet. This never gets old for you. The familiarity of nature, the opportunity of sharing it with someone, that you don't have to fear in the onslaught of the unknown in such a strange and imposing world. Aside from your usual routine of outings with Mud, you make a point of reaching out to Aria. You send a message to her friend code, straight and direct, yet soft and genuine as you usually are. And on one day of the week, or of the weekend, you both decide to meet up for coffees and pastries at the Barbaric Bean. When you enter through the doors together, you notice that the place is far busier than it typically is throughout the week, or at least the last few times you'd been there. Patrons are perusing the space diligently, sitting around with notebooks and books in general, some reading while they sip on their coffees and teas, others simply chatting amongst groups of friends and acquaintances. Helios is at the coffee shop counter, looking frantic as other workers scatter about behind him swiftly and adeptly making coffee for customers. Goshi is not amongst them. Helios has a harrowed look on his face, brows drawn forward, and a frown in place as he finishes inputting a customer's order onto the register. 
what do you guys do? You guys okay? Yeah, I just sent something in the Discord. Oh no. It's okay. Um, Andromeda oh. is going to do what she usually does and when ordering, and she's going to cling to Arya's arm. Okay. As they go take their order, go to order. All right. And as you order, do any of you say anything to Helios while you're putting in your order, while you're giving it to him? Yeah. Um, I think that Arya, given she comes here quite frequently, mm-hmm. would notice that Goshi wasn't here. Mm-hmm. Um, and would just like, oh, Helios, uh, are you all right? You look a bit, um, oh, if you get on uh, baby pink. Um, yes. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, is something wrong with Goshi? Is the reason why he's not here? Um, Where's the other one? <laughs> as you say this, he kind of like takes a moment to take a breath. He seems like very frantic, like he has been working out, working his butt off. Um, and he takes a second to look at you. He takes a breath, and he shakes his head, and he just says, "Um, I, I, I don't know. I haven't heard from him in a day or so." He missed, he missed date night, and he's not answering his TCD or showing up for work, and I'm just here by myself right now, and it's getting kind of stressful. Is he dead? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. Is there anything that we can do to help you, maybe? Uh, I know that I don't know anything about making coffee, but maybe we could help. I don't know. Uh, I know about missing people. That. how to deal with it. Oh, okay, that's... Helios takes on just this, like, look of, like, fear. Um, he's not missing. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's fine here. It's so, right. He's. I'm, I'm sure he's just doing something. Uh, I don't know why he missed date night. That's something you have to talk to him about. But, um, mm-hmm. uh, but he's, he's not answering his TCD or showing up for work or anything. He hasn't even. He hasn't even been to work, and he loves this job. He's told you, me countless to times. Is dorm by any chance? Yes. It was the first place I checked. Okay. You, right. Yeah. Right. Um. Uh, he wasn't there. And even his roommate said that he hadn't seen him in, in days. Oh, Have you asked anyone or brought it up to anybody? Maybe like his uh, accounts, his house advisor or anything and see what they would... What, what house is he in? Goshi? Goshi's in Ignis Ember. Ignis Ember. Did, have you brought it up? Is it to Darian? Darian? Yes, I talked to him. He said he'd look into it and then, and then I, I haven't heard anything more. Okay, well... I'm sure that everything is going to be fine. Um, though she seems like a very capable person. Um, no, he's, he's large and lizard, lizardy, but he doesn't know how to take care of himself. He's like a gigantic puppy. Oh, I like big puppies. Yeah, that's a very cute imagery. Um, uh, is there anything we could do? Do you want us to like go look keep for Keep an eye out. Yeah, would you like us to go look for if you could keep an eye out, that'd be great. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Of course we can. I'm okay. I'm so busy here making coffee. I just make coffee all the time, and I just have no time to look for him because he's not here and he's not here to help me, and it's so hard. Anyways, I'm gonna get your orders. Sorry if they're not made as well because uh, you know, oh, she's not making them. So, anyways, hey. um, let me know if you hear from him or see him or anything. I will yell really yeah. loud when I see him. Uh. I'll listen oh, for that. Um, uh, can I get you on your, your friend code by any chance? Maybe I can keep you in the loop if I hear something or see something. Mm-hmm. He nods frantically and he, okay. he grabs out his TCD and he hands it to you. Um, and you guys swap friend codes. Do you want to swap as well, Andromeda? Yeah. <laughs> okay. He swaps with you as well and then um, sticks his phone back in his pocket and he just kind of like nods and he's like, thank you. And then he goes about uh, telling the other baristas behind him your coffee order. It'll be okay, pink man. <laughs> yes, I believe it will. He looks at you both and he's like, I'll know it'll be okay when he's by my side again. And then oh, he he goes romantic. and he helps out. <laughs> he goes and he helps back out with the coffee. Um, so after this, do you guys take seats at one of the tables? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, and is there anything specific you want to chat about? Well, I think they'd probably just like chat about like the day, the <laughs> the events from the other day, mm-hmm. just kind of talk. Yeah, I feel like Arya would probably check in about how Andromeda is feeling about the message that she got. Mm-hmm. Uh, see mm-hmm. how what her reaction is to that. Have a beat. 
She'd be like completely deadpan, just like staring. <laughs> like, I feel bad. Oh. Um. Would you like to talk about that? Um. Yeah, I I talked to Mud about it, and he oh. said he would help me if there was an assassination attempt on my life, and oh. I know you would help as well. Right? That I would. Um. Yes. No. Of course I would. Uh. Do you really think somebody's gonna come here and assassinate you? Well, anything can happen. I mean, you know, I'm here. I, I guess I, anything can happen at Ravenwood. I suppose you're right, there. Anything can happen. Can happen. <laughs> In the brass! In the brass! <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right, well, yeah, I mean, how are you feeling emotionally, though? I know that that can be it's kind of mm. rough. <laughs> so inside, I kind of feel a little empty, but within that emptiness, have you ever seen like an angry beehive? Yes. And it's like buzzing and, you know, bees are flying around and, you know, like sing yeah. yeah. It gotcha. feels like that inwardly. Mm-hmm. Like I might right. get stung by my body bees or something like that. Oh, your body bees. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't you actually yeah. think there's bees on the inside. That's okay. Right, but right, right. Sure. Do okay. you feel like that sometimes? Body bees. <laughs> body bees. Hornets. Hornets. Wasps. Yeah. Oh, lots of flying things. Um. Yes. Yeah. Maybe like. When I get really frustrated or scared, I could say, yeah, I feel a very similar way to how I feel when I see a body, uh, scary bees, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, if you ever feel those body bees on the inside, just know that I am feeling it too, very <laughs> vividly, very <laughs> strong. You know what? You should just so. text me body bees. Okay. Next time you're feeling it really intensely, and we'll and we'll we'll meet up. Okay. Maybe we can talk about it with Arthur. She's very good at like poetry yes. and imagery, and maybe she can explain it or understand in the same way. Metaphors. I, metaphors. Yes. yes. She's very good at metaphors. Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, Aria. Yes. I have a question because I'm quite curious. Um, okay. are you like? She like leans like really close. She, like looks her up and down. <laughs> you look like how Julian looks. You know how you know a fish like man has the ears. I have the the tree. Theron has the Theron. <laughs> okay. Julian talks a lot and like you know is very smart. So you're saying, and has I, so you're saying I look like I talk a lot? No, I mean okay. you're smart. <laughs> Obviously, like Julian is. Julian's like a step above, but like you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah. What? 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 Do I mean? <laughs> oh, um. If you want to answer, I mean, you don't have to. Uh, uh, Ari is kind of just trying to piece each one of these little things that. And Chamada gave her of of Theron is Theron. <laughs> Arlo has fish ears. And, you know, um, and it's just like right. Um You're asking who I am, what I am? Like, are you a human? Oh. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. I mean your aria to me, and that's that's enough if you want it to be. You're giving me an opportunity not to answer? Yeah. I realized that was There's needed. No- Sorry. <sighs> Sorry, real quick. Right at this moment, a barista slams down your coffees and oh, then no. scattles off. <laughs> oh, there you go. Scared. I was muted so you guys could have your moment. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah, Andromeda is just gonna, or Arya is just gonna. Oh, um, well, um, yeah, I think I'm going to take not answering for today. I would prefer if you didn't answer, um, as opposed to lying, because I'm a really good lie detector. Like, I could tell. 
immediately. Not really. really? I don't. I don't think that's a power of mine. But who knows? Good intuition. So. Yeah. Okay. Just Arya is fine then. Yeah, that would be. Um... I think the best answer, honestly, that I could give you that is truthful. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are Arya, who mm -hmm. um, likes music and that's so true. likes to sew. So. That's very true. Also, I am very close with your outfit. Or very close. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. my chair. Oh, thank you. Yes, I will have to eventually come by your place or you to get me mine. Um, make sure everything fit right. But yes. I'm very excited. It's been a very good um, distraction to keep things project. going. You know, yes. <laughs> yes, a project. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. 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 Yes. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. Yes. Yes. I asked for extra leaves this time. Why did you get leaves in your t in your drink? Because but you good. wanted the leaves in your tea? In yes. your tea? <laughs> um, all right, and from there, um, that was very wholesome. Um, <sighs> sorry, my throat made a weird noise. Your outing with Aria um, gets you thinking about a few of your other friends that maybe you don't feel as close to, Andromeda. You make a point of reaching out to Theron, shooting him a text, distinctly asking if he would like to photosynthesize synthesize with you at Gravelberry Lake. He accepts, and the two of you meet up at the boardwalk that sits hovering over the calm water. How does this uh, interaction transpire? Um, I'm sure she... Uh gets there like immediately and she's just standing like you know like the woman standing emoji waiting for him just like <laughs> just just standing there okay yeah. <clears throat> Theron walks up maybe he's a, a little bit late but he shows up hello Theron hello, hello how are you good how are you good I'm excited to photosynthesize with you today I don't I don't know if you were aware when you invited me, but I don't actually photosynthesize. That's not something I can do. Yeah, I I knew that. Um But we do we do sunbathe, so Yeah, I mean I figured I could do that. Basking is nice. nice. So in the in the sunlight, so Yeah, black scales, it I, I warm up very quickly. Yeah, the these heat like consumes into the scales yes well perfect and she like flops onto her back like completely <laughs> vertical drop <laughs> there just watches her like just 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 drop and he's like oh i feel like that would have injured you but all right so he just gets I'm down okay. slowly just kind of like lays on his back and basks in the sun mm -hmm. maybe he's if gonna... he's in his uniform he'll like Is he doing yoga? Skirt. no <laughs> <laughs> he's just relaxing just chilling um, and she's gonna like turn, she's gonna like look at him, like look over at him from where she's photosynthesizing. And she's gonna be like, Theron. Theron. Theron? Either is fine. Either. Um, so I realized that you know a ton about me, like, you know, traumatic backstory, missing brother assassination attempt um <laughs> my tree and i don't know much about you and you know if you wanted to share any fun facts i am open to listening oh uh, to to be fair um i couldn't really help but know like the the traumatic backstory um assassination attempt that just kind of happened but um Mm -hmm. that, that's fair you do know <laughs> very little I guess mm -hmm. did, did you want to share anything about you and where you come from or if you just want to be just dear on to me that's okay <laughs> so I'm just thinking like Theron is Theron I'm just thinking back to that Theron, um, is, Theron. Like, Theron is just Theron <laughs> 
really cute. cute. Um, he's gonna like furrows brows and like really rack his brain to try to find something that he's okay with sharing. I'll just like sit and think for a second. You have a long history. She's <laughs> gonna say out loud, like well, you're not you're not wrong, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> um, where I came from. Hmm. I mean, like you, I assume it was Ostradel. Indeed. Um, have you ever heard of a place called Drift Hollow? Repeat that. Have you ever heard of a place called Drift Hollow? Drift Hollow. Um, quite frankly, no. Oh. It sounds cool, though. It's Drift pretty Hollow. Nice. Is it? dark and scary or bright and sunny i mean I, I i guess it could be dark and scary sometimes it's a little bit foresty Ooh. and you are a tree so you might have enjoyed it there a little bit i like that yes they had really big trees there really big trees did they have willow trees not that i recall i don't think i've ever seen one before hmm. at least not there Lovely. Do you miss it? Um, not really. I don't think I got that attached. We weren't there for that long, but it was it was nice. It was pretty cozy. They all lived in the trees, which was interesting. Oh. Tricky. I don't know if that would be offensive to you. Is that offensive? No. Probably like a symbiotic relationship, probably. Okay. They seem to care for the trees, so yeah. You you said we? Did you have family or a partner or a oh, friend? No. no. Sorry. That that was just a slip of the tongue. Oh. It happens. Yeah, it happens to me too all the time. But like I meant like the community, like they mm. all lived there and uh mm. lived in trees and stuff. Wow. Is that where you were born or no, I was only there for a little bit, near the mm. end, before all of this happened. Hmm. So I guess okay. you never you never got out much. You never really explored Ostradel, right? Oh, no. Never. No. Yeah, so I... Been to the capital? Oh, no. Um, I, I, I think I was going there, but never made it, obviously, because I am here. Because all of so. this happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we ever get to go back, I don't know if that's a possibility, but um, we should go to the capital. I feel like you would like it. Yeah, I I think I would too. Um, it's very, it sounded quite large and massive, important in a lot of ways. So, yeah. yeah a lot of people, a lot of cool stuff. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Well, thank you for telling me that fun fact about you. If you ever want to tell me any more fun facts about Theron, I would be very happy to jot that down in my head. Oh, jot it down in your head? Like, remember it as um, okay. whatever in here does. Theron considers the anatomy of a tree person. And just moves on. I'm um, sure he has some kind of brain thing. Some type of thing in that. <laughs> Does not have a clue, actually. <laughs> the anatomy of a tree person. Um, after a little bit, Andromeda is going to like continue basking. And then she's going to like look over at Theron. And hypothetically speaking... Would Theron have his little Ignis Ember jacket on at that moment? Um, because it's warm, he probably took it off. Okay. Probably like he probably doesn't have his shirt on. Doesn't have his shirt. He's, like, would he have it like with him, or would he yeah. have it? He brought it with. He'd be like, using he it as like too. a pillow or something. He'd be like oh. have a little pile of clothes, and like he's like oh. laying on his stomach now to get like his back, basically. <laughs> and you mean like his blazer, right? Not his varsity. Like jacket? the blazer. Blazer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, would you have brought the like the blazer with him? 
Yeah, by yeah, chance. Yeah, that's okay. with me. Cute. Okay. Um, she's gonna like look at him where she's like laying. She's gonna be like, Theron. <laughs> Andromeda. Um, I have a weird request of you. Oh, okay. Could I possibly? <gasps> no. Sorry, my camera. Oh no! <laughs> it's like, I was like, you are, you are no. shocked. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> he is she's shocked and stuck. It's the camera song part two. Everyone oh, loved that last time. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. It's the yeah, camera song. Oh god. It's a camera song. It's loaded. It's the camera song. It's turned off. It's turned off. It's the camera. It's the camera. Get your camera. Get your cameras ready. Get your cameras ready. Get your cameras turned off. Get your cameras turned on. Get your camera. Get your camera. Get your camera. Oh yeah, we can I love this for us. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, <laughs> and she's gonna like look at him and be like, Theron, um, I will give it back. I promise on like I, 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 I swear on my tree, wherever it is. Can I please borrow your blazer? Theron, like, like you really, really built this up and led up to us. Who's very concerned, and then you just, you just end with Blazer, and he's just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely. What, what do you really? need it for? Out of curiosity, um, it's super secret. I think you will judge me for it. So I'm, I, I think maybe I don't know. You might think. I mean, I'm, I'm not a judgmental person. I'd like to say. Fun fact. Well, if I tell you, you're gonna want to maybe help me. So I'm. I want to do this on my own and be cool when I'm doing it. Oh, all right. Um, he'll just like hand the jacket over. Perfect. I will tell you after, okay? Because it will be probably funny. Fair enough. Awesome. I okay. can't wait to see, I guess. Perfect. She's going to take it and she's going to put it on and it's probably like giant on her. Because he's probably considerably larger than her. Yeah, it's, um, it's like a cloak for you, basically. It's like a cloak. I'm gonna You're like, like a little hobbit. <laughs> I'm gonna slip my. She's gonna slip her hands through it, and she's gonna be like this like, little like floppy thing. Little man, big suit, basically is how she looks. <laughs> she's gonna button it up and all the way, and she's gonna be like, "Okay, Theron, it was lovely getting to photosynthesize with you and learn fun facts. I hope you enjoyed it." It was it was very nice. I feel very warm and cozy. Okay. We will hang out again soon. Yes. En okay. Enjoy the blazer. I will get it back to you in one piece and smelling nice, okay? And she's gonna stand up. <laughs> I appreciate that, you know, clarification actually. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well goodbye, Dragonborn Man. And she's gonna Farewell tree. Turn and <laughs> like book it. <laughs> Um, the arms are just like flapping <laughs> as you are. She's like, she's like, like the, the girl you. from uh, Kids Next Door. Or Cody oh Kids God. Next Door. Yes. The little. Um, so, from there, you make a point later that day of going down to the Ignis Ember dormitories, entirely prepared to take matters into your own hands, seeing as Silas never made a point to text you through your friend code since receiving it. When you approach the door of the dormitory, you stare down the key lock, the gadget beckoning the use of an Ignis Ember student identification scan in order to get in. Um, before you can think up any spontaneous acts of destruction or clever maneuvers to get in, a voice sounds out from behind you that you seemingly recognize. Um, it's Darian. And he softly says, uh, behind you, going somewhere. She's gonna turn on her foot to face him. In her big old jacket. <laughs> and she's gonna so, say, hello, sexy elf man. <laughs> um, he's kind of just, like, smirking at you. He's got this, uh, his ever-present smirk on his lips. Um, and his 
perfect hair is drawn up in a messy bun, um, and the strands are kind of hanging out um, from every so often. Almost like he looks like maybe he just went for a run or something of that nature. Um, and uh, he looks at you and he's like, you look very familiar. Have we met before? Yes, um, I live in this dormitory, and my name is Andromeda Chrysocoma. Very nice to meet you. I'm a dryad. He slowly shakes your hand, <clears throat> and his, his skin is very warm um, to the touch. Um, <laughs> and he <laughs> shakes your hand and then slowly moves his hand away, and he says, um, I know just about everyone who lives in this dormitory. <laughs> Are you new? I swear I've seen your face prior. Yes, because you have seen me in this dormitory, and I live in this <laughs> dormitory. <laughs> you um, must have missed me last time. Can you roll, please, for <laughs> deception on this one? <laughs> Do you want me to roll 2d6s or just one? Uh, go ahead and roll a d12. Okay. I'm gonna grab my dice as well. Give me one second. Where's my 12 at? Found it. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta grab my dice. Master of Deception. Master of Deception. Would it be intelligence or. Oh, it doesn't matter, actually. If this is just a straight roll. At night. Just stick with it. At oh, night. Okay. At night. It's a seven. <gasps> okay, sorry. One second. Okay, sorry. What was it? I got a seven. Okay. I'm gonna roll also. <laughs> Stick with it. Stick to the deception. Keep with it. Um, he looks at you, his eyes narrow, and he says, um, Andromeda. Oh no, you're in that little group of friends with Theron, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Dragon mm. then. I distinctly remember your tie being green. Are you colorblind? <laughs> um, he frowns and he's like, "Last I checked, no." You might wanna. I can't do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm terrible. Um, but okay, okay, sexy elf man. Okay, okay. Would you? Okay. Help me out. Okay, I need to find somebody inside and their dorm is inside and I promise it is not for nefarious reasons but for matters of the heart but platonically I promise um, I'm sure you understand because you do like when you're talking to Theron your face gets all you know and then the hair and the wind blows your hair back and I hear angels singing and I'm not quite sure why but please please help me in um he frowns at you for a moment, and he just says, uh, You know, we, we do allow visitors, right? Oh. You're, you're, you're allowed in the dorms as a non Ignis Ember member. Well, I thought it would have been cooler if I snuck in, like, incognito. You believed me and whatnot. I will admit, that is, um, pretty cool, so. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> uh... Who are you? Who are you trying to see? Um. Closer, closer. Okay. Um, Silas, he's a snake man. Oh. Okay. Do you know him? Yes. Delinquent. Yes, you know. I. Delinquent. Yeah. Quite. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. How so? Just very, you know. What? You mean like how much of a delinquent is he, or like how do yes, I know him? Or delinquent. Oh well, did you see him get like zapped at the at the festival, at the market? No, yeah, is is that it? That's why he's a delinquent. And then, well, he got in trouble, and he wears like rips in his clothes, and he <laughs> steals things. So that kind of qualifies him as big delinquent in my mind. So. Okay. Um. If he gets up into anything nefarious that you notice, please inform me right away. Oh, I'll stop him. I have a very good moral compass, I've been told. Okay. <laughs> God. Um, he looks at you and he says, um, I will give you the rune number. 
so mm-hmm. long as you do me a favor as well. I love doing favors, yes. Okay. You have to um, put in a good word for me with your dragonborn friend. With Theron? Yes. What kind of good word, like passionate, good-natured? Like you, you ran into me the other day and you had this rousing conversation and you just think I'm a stand-up guy. That is quite a lot of words, but I will put in many words for you, okay? Okay. Like two sentences. Right. Okay. Um, he stares at you for a minute, nods to himself, and then um, he gets out his TCD and he scans himself into the building. And he opens the door and he looks at you and he just says, um, Room 207, be sure to mm-hmm. knock. And if anyone asks you about me getting let in here, Tell them that I tricked you completely, please. I want to look cool. Uh, that would not shine too well on my house advisor status, but I will tell them that you make a really good Ignis Ember. Okay. Okay. That works for me. I will put in many words for you with Dragonborn Man. Awesome. Okay. Bye-bye. He, like, extends a hand for you to go in first. She, like, slaps as she walks by. With a high five. (laughs) And walks in. <laughs> um, all right. All proud. She's like a little bird preening <laughs> as she like walks in. <laughs> so, um, you progress true. through the dormitories. Um, you take the stairs up and around to the second floor. Um, and you approach the dorm number that Darian had relayed to you, room 207. When you find the door, what do you do? She's going to stand there. Puts up the blazer the rest of the way and knocks. Okay. <laughs> um, how does she knock? I, I I need to know how does she knock. Like like make the noise <laughs> off the table. Wait, I don't think it. <laughs> like a good a good a good solid knock. knock. A good, knock. knock. A right. good solid knock. And more than once, you do it like a few times. Yeah, a few times. Like, okay. B- b- like a like a good normal amount valid okay i can imagine her just going thonk and that's it (laughs) um it takes a moment uh before the door swings open and when it does you see silas standing there um he's wearing his ravenwood white button down and it's unbuttoned um so his chest is kind of showing underneath he's just got like one of these on basically um Nothing Four. on underneath. <laughs> yeah. You're probably right. Arlo's still salty. Um, Four. Why didn't he ask for my Ar- friend code? Ar- she hears Arlo's voice in her head say that. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I want him to ask for my friend code just so I can say hey, no. Um, his pale chest is revealed beneath, and he's wearing his Ravenwood trousers, and they're kind of hanging quite low on his hips, and he's not wearing his belt. Um, upon seeing you... His eyes kind of widen, and um, he clears his throat. He's like, <clears throat> and then quickly lifts his hands to start button up his, buttoning up his shirt. Um, he looks at you for a minute, and he just kind of says, Goldilocks, uh, what are you doing here? Hi, that's a nickname. Yeah. Am I muted? Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just like, <laughs> <I'm good>. yeah. <laughs> Hello, I snuck in here. Do you like my disguise? Uh, yeah. Nice oversized jacket? Yeah, it's, uh, do you remember Theron? Yes, dragon. Dragon. I tricked him into giving it to me and then I, you know Darian? I, um, he met me at the front because obviously I couldn't get in putting in my code and so I was like I belong to Ignis Ember and then he let me in he's like oh yes I have seen you before can you roll <laughs> actually no no she's no. gonna pause a second and say okay yeah no I, I did this but completely honest means and I can't lie actually so. Silas like nods slowly and uh, frowns a little bit and he's like Oh, well, that's uh, commendable, to say the least. Uh, so, uh, so you came to my dorm, huh? Did I really make mm-hmm. such a fleeting impression? Uh, 
Well, you said you would add me on the friend code thing, and then it's been like a day, so you didn't, and I got worried. Well, I, I added you, I just didn't message yet. Yeah, you did. Um, <laughs> well, I thought you would message me. Oh. Um, so I'm here now. He's not really sure how to respond to this. He kind of just like looks around and he's like, did you? Did you want to come in? Um, if, y yes. If you're inviting me. Yeah. And he like holds the door open for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, as you walk in, um, you see the interior of um, his side of the room, obviously. Um, and his side of the room is somewhat simple. There's a few small trinkets lining the top of his desk on a small shelf that sits there. Um, there's a stopwatch. There's a framed image of a butterfly. There looks to be a small jewelry box. And there is some. there is what looks to be a sort of snow globe that instead of showing a snowy wonderland, it shows the red sand and the dunes of the Redlands as a vast desert. Um, other, than it, other than this, there isn't much else in the room aside from a small pile of non-uniform clothes. Um, and on the other side of his room, his roommate's things um, are kind of shifted and half unpacked, half packed, as though his doormate is like in the middle of redecorating or something of that sort. She's gonna like walk in and like look around and when she sees the snow globe, she's gonna like stop and like stare at it for like a little like a beat longer than what is normal. Mm -hmm. And then she's gonna like quickly like look away and just keep look around it. She's gonna like look at him and go, "Nice place." <laughs> um. Uh, he nods Pretty. slowly. He's, he's like, "Uh, thanks." Um. Was was there something I could do for you? I I'm not really sure. How to proceed with this? Unless you came for sex, I know how to proceed uh, with that. Uh. <laughs> no, I did not come here for that. Is that what you are expecting? No, I didn't expect any visitors at all. I just also didn't expect you on my doorstep, so I can't think of any other reason why you'd be on my doorstep. Well, is it thrilling to see me on your doorstep? Like, oh, she's cool. I mean, yeah. It was a nice surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, your, who, who's uh, your... Sorry. Continue. No, you. <clears throat> Go. No, you. No, it's fine. Who, who's your roommate? Uh, a very uppity Eladrin. Apparently he's redecorating for the changing of the season. Whatever that means. Oh. Yeah. No. I don't think I've met an Eladrin. Your hair looks nice. <clears throat> oh, yes, I, um... This morning, is it just me or does this feel weird? Does this feel weird? <laughs> Sorry, the way that your voice got so much louder when you said that. Does this feel weird? <laughs> your voice got louder. Too. <laughs> um, it's weird. He he's like, uh, you know, yeah, a little, a little weird. I I, I, just, I don't get many visitors. I don't get any visitors. Uh, and you're not here for for that so i can't think of like <laughs> why why you why you stopped by i mean i i did plan on messaging you if that's what this is about i'm sorry if that was upsetting in any way for you no um sometimes when i don't get a response right away i seek it out and and i don't think i understand <laughs> boundaries that well sometimes oh i'm still learning it because where i grew up um, when if you wanted to like go look for somebody, you just walk to their tree and there they are. Or like you know, mm. it's quite easy, accessible talking to everybody. So I figured it was the same boundaries here. But well, is this bad? Should I not have come? For the record, you can cross my boundaries anytime. Um, oh. But 
No, yeah, no, it's fine. I just, I don't really know how to pr progress um, this. But this. Have, I mean, have you ever had, like, a friend to talk to uh, and hang out with? I mean, I have um, a little brother. He oh. was kind of my friend. What was his name? Is was uh, is is, is good. Good. Um, good. Oh yes, yes. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, Wes. I called him Wes. His Wes. Full name is Wesley. Wesley. Mm -hmm. Pretty name, Han. Pretty name. Yeah. I had. Many siblings. I have many siblings, hopefully. Oh. That's awesome. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Were they your friends, too? Um, I would say I was closest to my oldest brother, Aldo, but mm. the rest I would consider quite close to most right. of the time. Okay. Cool. Um. Mm hmm mm hmm um, you have a circle of the scary place on your... over there. She points at the Redlands. Uh, he turns and he looks and he's like, Oh, yeah, um, my little brother got that for me and I grew up in Hinter, um, which is, like, right outside, well, in the Redlands, kind of the heart of the Redlands, but, um... You live right... in there? Yes. Big city. How? Uh... I mean, it wasn't easy, but I just kind of went about it as I would anywhere else. I'd much rather take Hinter over this place. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. You, you miss it, then? I do. Aspects of it. Mm-hmm. Mostly the freedom aspect. Mm. I miss my home sometimes too. Oh. Would you do you would you rather be there than here? Uh I feel like I should say yes, so yes. Never feel like you have to say something. That's not in your free will. And, you know, that's kind of all we have right now, is freedom of voice, you know? Even right. if it's not listened to, but... Yes. Well, you get many choices here, like who you want to marry, where you want to sit in class, what you want to drink from the coffee shop, like many, many choices. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah, and then we also are forced to go to classes and forced to participate in events that we don't care about and also forced to go back to our rooms at a certain time of night and leave them at a certain time of the morning to the point where they actually lock us up in our rooms so that we don't leave. You raise a few good points there, but I quite like it sometimes. I think maybe, yes. <clears throat> I feel like I should be concerned by that. Force of habit, I think. It's just mm. ingrained within me to like it sometimes. Right. But, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. We should go photosynthesize sometime, okay? I don't quite know what that means, but sure. It's when you lay in the sun and feel really good. Oh, okay. I thought it might be code for something else. Um, but yeah. Oh, no, yeah. We could do that. Okay. I well, think. yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Silas, it was really good talking to you. Um, good talking to you, too, Andromeda. Mm-hmm. He shakes your hand <laughs> very slowly and awkwardly. You were different in the tavern. I was drunk. 
Oh, oh, like Arlo. Not to that extent, but drunk, nonetheless. Oh, it. it so you don't really like me that much after when you. Oh no, I like not... you a lot. My sex drive works just fine when I'm drunk. Thank you very much. Oh, but oh, geez. Okay. Um, my mouth doesn't have many. Doesn't know when to stop talking. At times. Yeah, you said a lot of stuff, but it was funny, and it was really cool. I mean, I thought you were cool, but, you know, okay. Um, well, I'm going to skedaddle. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that you thought I was cool. I still do. Oh. That's cool. why I did this. Anyways. Okay. Um, <clears throat> No, you're welcome uh, here at any time. Um, so, you know, for any sort of anything. Okay. You're welcome at mine, too. Mm. If... Yeah. You don't want that, trust me. I think I do, though, so... <laughs> okay, well, uh, be careful what you are... The freedom you're giving me with that, so. Yeah, we'll come over then. I'm okay with that. Okay. Mud would like you too. Mud? <laughs> Mud, my roommate. He likes to whittle and he is green. He? Is he? And he's. What is he? He's an orc. Half, I oh. think. I don't so know what the other half is. So he's probably like. Oh yeah, he is. He's super tall and he has big muscles, <laughs> and he's like, right. he's like, oh, Andromeda all the time. Awesome. Mm -hmm. He is very sexy too, like you and like me. I have so many mixed feelings about that one sentence, mm -hmm. but thank you. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're yeah. He's definitely right about one thing. You are. Thank you. Sexy. <clears throat> Thank you. <coughs> Anyways, I will mm -hmm. stop by sometime. Maybe okay. avoid the orc guy. But, um... Okay. Yeah. Kind of weird. He's very nice to talk to, so... Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> Thanks for letting me inside your room. <clears throat> yes, you can go inside my room anytime. And you can come inside my room too if you'd like. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, steadily worries. <laughs> um, he nods and his cheeks <laughs> kind of, uh, the scales there, the greenish white scales on his cheeks kind of take on a pink hue and he um <clears throat> clears his throat and he says uh right well anytime you want to get into some nefarious acts with me just let me know i, will be I would love to be a delinquent with you okay cool we'll do that sometime <clears throat> mm -hmm. i will message you okay do okay. so or i will come to your room again and okay. well, harass maybe, you maybe i won't <laughs> okay okay do it Okay, oh, bye. Okay, okay. <laughs> she, I will. She's gonna, okay. She's gonna like slowly back up towards the door and she's gonna like hit her back's gonna like hit the door and she's gonna like find the knob and she's gonna like turn it and be like Bye Silas and she's gonna like open the door and walk out. <laughs> and and as you walk out he's just kinda like he has like a wave lifted, but you left quick enough that like he didn't get to finish it and he just kinda goes Right. Um <laughs> <laughs> and that's that for your conversation. Um, all right. <laughs> we went on such a fucking tangent of just that awkwardness. Um, I felt, oh, that was so awkward. I felt, that was so good. I love it. That was so oh good. <laughs> Authenticity. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, he suddenly turned into a bottom within, like, the span of a couple minutes. Anyways. <laughs> we love to see it. Um, now we move on to Aria. Hello. Um, Aria, you're a couple Hi. of days 
don't consist of anything too particularly jarring or spontaneous, and honestly you're grateful for the calm and quiet comforts your dorm room and your roommate provide in comparison to the day that you've had previous. Aside from spending a rather interesting coffee outing with Andromeda, you don't go out all that much, choosing instead to dwell within your dormitory with Ku and work on the celebratory ball gowns and garbs you'd promised to make for some of your friends. You'd made a point to get everyone's measurements later that weekend and had begun planning out just how much fabric you'd need for what and just what cuts and stitches to make and what angles to take. Ku continued to support you from afar, reading aloud whenever you asked for it, or making idle conversation as you went about your projects. He does prompt the two of you to take a close-to-curfew stroll at dusk to the small campus corner store closest to the Aquafin dormitory, and Ku buys a handful of snacks and treats for the two of you, enthusiastically telling you that you'll need the energy to continue such astounding work. Overall, it's a cozy weekend, or at least as cozy as it could really be, all things considered. Good. I like very good. <laughs> and from there we go to Arlo. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, fish boy. Fish boy. Um for some of you I gave you kind of like little summaries and stuff unless there were like really specific scenes. Um Sure. Arlo, you spend your weekend going through the motions a bit and nursing a small hangover. Not only was the day prior entirely overwhelming in nature, but it also resurrected mm. memories that take precedent in your mind. The tavern was emotional, to say the least. The music and musings of the patrons and the ease of the scene was enough to bring your feelings rushing forward. Thoughts mm. of your parents and the comforting warm atmosphere of the inn they owned coming to the forefront of your mind. Mm. You spend a lot of your weekend lying in bed, watching the new movies you'd purchased at the bookstore, delighting in the escapism Therapy. they- yeah, disguise, uh, delighting in the escapism they presented to you, and romanticizing each and every relatable scenario. You also spend a lot of your weekend glancing over at the photo of your adoptive parents, the two halflings smiling at you with blissful expressions. So cute. <laughs> you miss them and handburn so much you can almost feel your heart constricting with the pain of it, a solid mm. lump forming in your throat and threatening tears at any moment. You really wish you had that dog right about now. Some emotional support and comfort sure would be helpful. Same. <laughs> um, you try at a point in time to read through the sea creature book Arthros had handed you at the bookstore, mm. opening to the first page to see a strange large creature with jagged teeth and a long scaled body before closing it once more. In such a sensitive and emotional frame of mind, the book only serves as a reminder of what you can't remember. You do, however, hear a knock at your door on one of those days. days solid and firm and just twice. It takes you a bit before you can bring yourself to get out of bed and to your feet, but once you do, you sway over to the door frame, grab the handle, and slowly twist it open. No one is there, but on the floor by your feet sits a small plastic bag. When you pick it up, you can see that there's a collection of things inside as well as a small folded note. You close the door and bring the goods to your bedside. Within the bag is a menagerie of human snacks, a few treat bags of candy, and a couple bottles of intriguing human drinks. They all look colorful and unique and honestly quite delectable. The note inside is a folded piece of lined paper and a small message is scribbled across it that reads, R, I know you had a bad day yesterday. I wasn't sure if you wanted company, so instead of imposing on your space, I thought I might drop off a sort of yummy assortment. I hope it makes you smile at least once today. Claude, with a heart. For a moment, <laughs> you frown, confused, until you remember texting the satyr in a tipsy state Friday night and telling him of your challenging day. You glance down at the note once more and see the small heart doodled beside Claude's signature. Do you, in fact, smile when you see it? Oh, I do, in yeah. fact. <laughs> oh, Good. yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's all I want to This is the only know. joy that he's felt in a hot second. Aww. Yeah. We love it. We love that slow burn. Um, and then we move on to Julian. Cute. Julian! Um, <laughs> Julian, your, uh, your night, Friday night, was a little bit eventful, considering uh, you had a nightmare on top of a roof, um, and you did wake up at one point almost falling to your, probably somewhat close to your demise, <laughs> um, but, but you caught yourself in time. Um, and you spend most of your weekend dwelling. Simply dwelling. The events of Cardinal Alley are hardly easily forgotten. 
inevitably burned into your memory and sending countless thoughts spiraling through your mind. You paid Sin Shadow quite a helping of credits so that she'd look into your past for you, but you can't help but dwell on so many different parts of the equation that it's making your skin crawl. Your limbs burn with discomfort and your fingers shake with anxiety. You don't doubt that she's the real deal with what she'd already spouted off so far, but you're, in but you're instead nervous for what she, but for, you're instead nervous for just what she could see, what she might find. What lies in the depths of your memories? What sits at the back of your head undisturbed and itching to escape? Perhaps the prison of your amnesia is keeping something truly awful locked away so that you no longer have to carry its burden. You also spend a lot of time staring at Napoleon and willing him to speak. You skim your hands over the pages. You talk to him about the day you had. You tell him of Cardinal Alley and what Sin said about a man of many faces. And you express to him how you might, f you, how you might sometime soon know something more about your past. You find yourself flipping to the first page where the name is scribbled in old fashioned ink on the back of the front cover. A name you've grown so familiar with, seeing it time and time again. You place your fingers across, feeling the indent indents where a pen had once pushed into the soft paper-like texture. As you do so, you swear that you see the name flicker and glow as it used to. And as it does, almost as though a gust of wind blows, the book turns a few pages on its own. Flowing open until it lands on a specific page towards the end of the text, the page is blank aside from a small handwritten note that you've never seen in the book before. It reads, your only limit is your mind. <clears throat> that night, you sleep with Napoleon tucked just a bit tighter beneath your arm, those six words worming their way into your psyche like a virus. And then- Can I? Yes? Can I ship him in the book? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, do, I do. felt bad. And I have. <laughs> You know what? I, I, I just realized that I imagined the book like um, the book from Ella Enchanted. That's valid. <laughs> yep, yeah, sick. Yes. Um, when you guys actually find out what it looks like, it'll be hilarious, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? What? <laughs> um, anyways, uh, Theron. Yeah, Hello, yeah. sir. Hello. Theron. There is an air of uncertainty in the dormitory. After such an intense series of events just a day prior, you find yourself antsy over how things proceeded with Arthros. She's still been locked away in the bathroom when you- she had oh. still been locked away in the bathroom when you'd gotten back to the dormitory. Sorry, misspoke. Okay. Um, I was like, the whole time. <laughs> and, exhausted from the day, you'd quickly fallen asleep before you could really speak to her. After a rough night due to the onslaught of a rather unsettling nightmare, you wake feeling uneasy and disquieted. You rub the sleep from your eyes and stretch out your large, stiff limbs, tail included, before you turn to glance around the room. Arthros is sitting at her desk, an ink pen in hand, as she scribbles into that ever-present leather-bound journal of hers. Would you like to say anything to her? Um, she's gonna kind of like, you know, roll over and ask if she wants any coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's that's his dreams all right it's not reality oh. yet. um she <laughs> yeah. she looks up she like jolts we'll up from her we <laughs> we'll get there when we get there um <laughs> she looks up from her book kind of like almost like like uh startled and um she turns to look at you um where you're lying in your bed and she um she takes a deep breath and she kind of just says um yes um that would be wonderful i could definitely use it um didn't get my four hours last night so <clears throat> four hours good morning question mark and then he just like rolls out of bed literally just rolls and like drops and then goes and makes some coffee or like puts the pot on i guess technically valid um she turns to you too and like looks at you curiously for a minute um and she's kind of like fiddling with her fingers um and she says uh um, speaking of which, since I was awake for a while, um, you were tossing and turning quite a bit. Are you alright? Uh, a bit of a nightmare. Sorry if it was disturbing. Uh, it doesn't usually happen. But... It's not disturbing. There's very few things that could disturb me, and nightmares I'm very, very familiar with, so it is not a problem. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, um, if, if it ever does bother you or keep you up no. on the off chance that you're asleep, just, it like, won't. nudge me or something like that. No. Or throw a pillow at me or something. No, that's I'll all right. just lie down. Okay, it's not necessary. Oh. Um, sometimes I think that nightmares can be therapeutic because it is getting and expelling a lot of bad energy, I think, maybe. I mean, apparently, it's your brain forming scenarios um, and like preparing you for stuff that might happen or has happened. So yeah, it's um, it's kind of like working through your your uh, issues a bit. I really She's hope nice. none of my nightmares happen. Um, what? And what? Sorry, what was that? I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please, I genuinely didn't hear that. <laughs> she said, she said, um, <laughs> brain. She said she really hopes none of her nightmares happen. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. That, that's fair. <laughs> it was just in character for her not to repeat it. <laughs> yep, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Did Theron hear that, even though I didn't? Or is that just literally she um, under her breath? She kind of mumbled it under her breath, so maybe okay, heard like a bit didn't. of it, but not not all of it. Fair enough. <clears throat> and she um, slowly looks back down at her journal and kind of just starts scribbling in it again. Mm, okay. I mean, he's seen her with that, like, constantly. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. So he's going to say, um, no pressure not to pry or anything, but if you're comfortable with it, uh, what is the deal with your journal? I see you always with it, so... Is um, it, like, important to you? Are you working on something? Is it, like, a project? She looks up at you, and, uh, she's kind of like... <clears throat> um, I have, a, I have a lot of thoughts, um, all the time. And sometimes I feel like my mind is kind of, uh, spiraling out of control <laughs> a little bit. Um, so I try to put them down on a page in the hopes that maybe some of them will leave my psyche, if that makes sense. Um, so it is it is like a journal, basically, just for your thoughts? Yes. Sometimes okay. I will put poems in between pages if I feel like they correlate to memories or thoughts that I've had. And then sometimes I will write letters to people that I think I'd like to send a letter to. And you just hold on to them until you can maybe eventually send them. Oh no, I'll never give them to anyone. Oh, so it's the kind of thing where you like you write a letter and then you're supposed to like burn it or something. And it like expels the energy or the thoughts, I guess. Yes, but I, I won't burn them either. Thing. I need them as a reminder. Okay. Mm. Well, does it help? No. Oh. Okay. You know, I mean, if writing doesn't work, you can always try talking about them. Like, your thoughts and try getting them out that way. Sometimes that helps. I don't talk good. I find that I, I write better. I like to differ. I think you talk quite well. Oh. That's a compliment coming from you. I feel like you talk very well, too. Well, thank you. Yes. <clears throat> Um, speaking of, like, poems and writings and stuff. Yes. Um, you left me, you left me a poem the other day, which I really appreciated. I thought it was really cool. Oh, yeah, don't worry um, about it. You don't even have to, um, we don't even have to talk about it. I... Oh. If it was crossing a line, then I, then we should talk about it, and then I will say that I will not do it again, because I am very... I will make sure that I will not cross any more lines. Um... Well, no, no, quite, kind of the opposite, actually. I, um... I went and found an old poem from Osterdale that I like, if you would like to hear it or read it, I guess. Oh. I'm not, I'm not like a poet, so I can't write it myself, but, um, <clears throat> there, there yes. was a poet I, I was fond of back there. Give me a moment. Um, and she, <laughs> okay. she suddenly, like, gets out of her chair and she goes to the bathroom and she closes the bathroom door. <laughs> Okay. And you just hear the sync turn on for a moment. 
And it's just gonna like, I'm sure the coffee's done by now, so you're gonna like prepare it and just kind of awkwardly like. I just imagine him like turning around, just like the bathroom, and just be like, uh, um, after like maybe ten seconds, maybe twenty seconds, she comes back out, so um, Fast. and her face looks almost like it's hard to see because her skin is so red, but her eyes almost look a little bit like. Puffy. Um, oh, no. And she comes back oh, no. out and she stands and she looks at you and she says, I would love to read it. Um, well, for, are, are you okay? Yes. Like, emotionally? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, he, he just turns and like g- grabs like the paper that he wrote the little poem on. This is mostly from memory, so it might not be, like, perfectly accurate. That's fine. It was one of his papers. She, she, like, rips it out of your hand. <laughs> and she quickly looks at it. She's, like, holding it, like, two inches from her eyes. Do, um, you, do I read it? Or, like, do you want to read it out loud? Do you have it? Yeah, she snatched it out of your hands. Okay. Um, Like, do you, Buff, have it to read? Oh, it yeah, I have it in your messages, don't I? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you want me to resend it? Yes, Vey, if you have it, it, that would be great. Yeah, Vey, you can read it. Because then, yeah. then we hear it from Darren's voice. <laughs> a man if you would rather me read it, I can. Um, she would probably read it in her head, but I can read it like I'm like her reading I will, it. I will hear it in Arya's voice if that's okay. true. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can read poetry. Oh, not Arya's. I'm sorry. Arthros. Yes, specifically <laughs> Arya. Out of nowhere. There, are, there are so many A names. I have more A names coming, Arya unfortunately. Arya just moves many. into existence. And- Arya <laughs> is Theron's conscience. True. <laughs> You're my Jimmy Cricket. Aww. Please. You're like my moral compass. Theron, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you should I can put it in the session chat, actually, so everybody can read it if they want to. Okay. Sure. Did I say that? I did. I, I got it recently. Oh also, oh, just an IRL thing. Um, I this is actually one of my favorite like poets in real life. Aww, so that's I fucking cool. love this Christ guys. Um, <laughs> she <laughs> obviously probably reads this in her head. Um, she go. has the paper like inches away from her eyes, um, and uh, actually to the point that Wait, she like lifts her glasses up and pushes them on her <laughs> head because they're too close for her to Cute. read with her glasses. Um, All right. And so she reads it to herself, and it is, Midnight to me is like a crossing of borders between who I was and who I could be. So that is why I never sleep with my back turned on you. Um, That is a really... It's by the Poetry Bandit. It's so pretty. I think I've read that before. Like, I recognize that name. I love him. I think I followed, like, an account on Twitter that, like, like, reposted their poems. That makes sense. But he's on um, Instagram, and he, I don't know, it's a lot of good stuff. I love. I it's will fun. do it. It's been through um, a lot, but oh. it's cool. It's cool. Love, <laughs> I mean, love. that's poetry. Yeah, true. Um, after she's done reading it, she slowly, like, pulls it down from her face, and um, in a moment, you just kind of see, like, a single, a single man tear. No! A single tear. My, my just, like... That fall down her cheek and roll to her chin and then just drop to the floor. Like, her entire person drops to the floor? No, 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 her tear, tear, the tear just drops to the floor. I thought she just, like, crashed. Death drop. She just does a death drop. Okay, the tear. Theron is, uh, I mean, he wasn't expecting this reaction, really, uh, but maybe he should have expected it due to her running to the bathroom. <laughs> but, um, she's gonna, like, throw his brows and be like, uh, do you, do you like it? Are you okay? Did it upset you? Um, she, like, turns away from the paper and looks at you, and she's like, I've never been given a poem before. And, oh. um, poetry, po- poetry's very important to me, so, um, I really appreciate it. So, good. Good? Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. Did, good. Okay. Did good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there's there's more of his stuff that, if you are a bit curious, it oh. will be, again, from memory, mostly, but... Uh, yes, please. Anytime. <clears throat> okay. 
Cool. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for sending yours or like leaving it for me that one day. That was that was cool. Okay. I'm not a poet by any means, but I do appreciate the art of it. So <laughs> art <Yeah>. of it. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> so, um, she just kind of like nods and she says, "Okay, um, I'm gonna go freshen up a bit." Um. Did you did you want your coffee? I prepared it. Oh yes. Um, and she like takes the mug very hesitantly and then I says, "Still more sugar, so we're good for a while." Okay. I'm gonna go freshen up. Just like... a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just holds her mug and slowly walks back to the bathroom, and then okay. disappears behind the door. <laughs> Oh my god. She that meant quite a bit to her. Um, fair enough. Fair enough. Um but from there, uh the rest of your weekend is complete with the utmost relaxing and cozy, take it easy vibes you feel you could possibly bring yourself in this lifetime and in this space. You spend most of your days it's probably because you've you've kind of fixed the tension between you and Arthur's in a way. Um Yeah. A little you spend bit more calm, a little bit more maybe. calm. Yeah, uh, you spend most of your days lounging about the dormitory, catching on school, catching up on schoolwork, stretching, taking a few much-needed naps, and drinking copious amounts of coffee yoga. with Arthros <laughs> and yoga. Um, she spends her time scribbling in the books she reads, and from time to time, she gets out her journal and takes her time writing something you can only assume means something very important to her. At one point during your series of relaxing events. You deign to choose, you deign to shoot a message to Darian's friend code. What exactly do you say, Mr. Razbor? <laughs> At this point, given like the earlier session stuff, mm -hmm. um, will he have heard those good words from Andromeda yet? Probably not yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm really funny. Uh. But, um,. Okay, okay, so he just messages something very, very simple, very basic, but want to grab a coffee sometime. Oh. Um, you receive a response kind of like five minutes later, maybe, um, that just says, I thought you'd never ask, with a winky face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Man's is like... <laughs> I'm like, oh, I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> Turn it up. Um, Turn it up. <laughs> all right. Do you say anything more in response? Uh, probably like a date and time. Maybe like after school Monday or like, I don't know, sometime this week. Okay. Sounds good. Whenever he's available, I suppose. Sounds Gucci. All right. When you open Darian's message, uh, you see, you hear like a soft chorus from your TCD <laughs> and just this light kind of this little spotlight kind of glows down on it a bit there's like sparkle dust that like flows and you can hear God. like soft like you can hear like soft like Darian Darian Darian, Darian. it's from, like, like Darian. slightly warmer Darian. yeah there's an echo he's like oh he's like what Drops the phone. He paid extra for that effect whenever he sends it's kind of messages. Of it's a spell. He, like, he puts spells on all his messages. He grabs the sword and then lets it go and like happens. Exactly. I fucking love. Um, <laughs> Darian basically responds with a kind of a simple like I'll let you know as soon as possible type message um, for whenever you guys can meet up. That's and sure. um, all right. We got through our little weekend snippets. Um, I hope they were cozy and nice. That was delightful. Um, and we went through with, we're on good time, so. Alrighty. We're at an hour and a half, I think. Yeah, hour and a half. Okay. Perfect. Um, so. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh my perfect, god. Perfect. Oh my goodness, we got to what I was thinking. <laughs> perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, after these days of grandeur, uh, you're each sent off to bed with a Sunday evening announcement from the man on the intercom, Mr. Claude Meek himself. He's really good. Um, <laughs> He's a <worse> person. <laughs> I'll never let you live that down. Um, okay, let me know if you guys can hear my little voice changer thingy. Now, can you hear me? Yep. Cool. All right, guys. 
the intercom sparks to life, Sunday night, and he says, Hello, Ravenwood students. It's your captain and Aqua Finn House Advisor speaking. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend full of spontaneity and relaxation. You're going to need it for the week ahead. Those of you that made it into the sports festival, congratulations again. Your practices begin tomorrow, shortly after classes. So when you hear that final bell of the day, be sure to head over to the sports field and gymnasium with your uniforms. There's a locker room there, should you need to change. You're welcome to wear your uniforms during your classes. However, in order... Oh, sorry. You're welcome to wear... <coughs> sorry. Uh... <laughs> You're welcome to wear your uniforms during your classes, however, in order to promote and share your success at making it into the festival's competing team. The festival begins on Thursday, ravers. Be sure to rest your bones tonight because you've got a lot of practice and competition ahead of you. Remember, you must show up to practice unless you've got a valid excuse or reason for, reason for absence. Otherwise, the coaches and sports advisors will choose another random applicant. So... Be responsible, kiddos. So once again, the sports festival begins on Thursday and ends on Saturday. More information will be relayed soon, but it's going to be one fun event. And don't forget, Sunday is the celebratory ball. Make sure you have those outfits ready. I'm sure you'll all look glorious. And don't forget to add that small speck of your house color on there. And ask that person you've been wanting to ask all this time. Trust me, you should just do it. Anyway. That's about all <laughs> I have for you today. See you bright and early tomorrow morning for your second week of classes. Farewell, Ravenwood student body, and fly on. <laughs> yes. Um, may I? So I know that we're gonna get to this, but may yeah. I possibly, like, like take? I'm taking this so serious. Harlow is like, I'm. He's a water boy, so he's in uniform, obviously. But like, can I like drop water off? to every sports player wherever they are in their first period. Um, you will have an opportunity that you could definitely do something like that. Sick, okay. Um, at practice. All right. Which I feel like would be great. <laughs> um, <Amazing. laughs> and so from there, your Monday begins. Um, I'm not speaking in a speaker anymore, am I? Okay, good. <laughs> um, I need each of you, please, to roll a d12 um, so we can see how well you slept and how well your day is going initially. You guys can unmute, by the way. It's really quiet on my end. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I was, like, I was like, help. I'm alone. I rolled a nine. Oh, no. <laughs> I rolled a nine, too. Mm. Well, let's go. I got it. Oh, my God. Got what? I rolled a nine, but upside what? down, so a six. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's okay. So you didn't actually. Oh, that's that's okay. And you're still part of the club. You're still in. I rolled a five. Nice. So, oh. uh, I got if you eight. put If you put a little line all the way down the five, it's yep. a six. Or it is six. Hey. Or yeah, oh. if you just turn it over a few. So we all got nines. Is that is that what I'm hearing? We all have nines. Yeah. Off. yeah. Yeah, um, yeah we, all, we all got nice. <clears throat> what did you get, Arya? Eight. Eight, okay. Oh, which is Close. just one away from nine. So you got and a nine. With, I'm extra yeah. yeah, I'm sure you got a nine. So, yeah, all got for day. some of the roles, um, <laughs> only you, Theron. Um, for, hey! some, for some specific roles, you might have to roll with disadvantage. Wait, 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 what? Oh, yeah, that's fair. I rolled poorly. <laughs> <laughs> everyone else, everyone else rolled average, so you won't be getting any advantage or disadvantage. Um, I'll cry. I'll cry. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, you did son. You didn't. Sorry. You didn't. <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you get those moves? Uh, where'd you get those rolls? Oh, where'd you get those rolls? Um, okay. Please. Um, please. Please. When you all wake up that morning, that. um, your roommates are up to their usual uh antics. Arthur has or, slept. <laughs> or possibly um, unusual uh, antics. Um, Silky, for her. yeah, Silky has gotten into painting. <gasps> you notice when you wake up, Julian, um, and she is currently finger painting. She's dipping her paws Ooh. into paint pots 
and smearing them across a small sketchbook. But because of this, she has left a small trail of multicolored footprints over her bed sheets, across the floor, and over her desk. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that. <laughs> uh, Theron, when you wake up, Arthros mm-hmm. is fiddling with her hair in the bathroom. The door is it. slightly ajar, and um, she's currently tying it up in a little messy bun. Oh, that's so cute. Um, Aria, when you wake up, Ku is snuffling awake as well. Um, and he does offer to walk you, um, from your class to practice when the classes finish up, should you need or want it. Um. <laughs> I want it. Yes, I want yeah. it. Yeah! Yeah! Um. It's an enthusiastic, Andromeda, yeah. Andromeda, when you wake up, um, Mud is in the bathroom, shirtless. Um, and he, he, the door is kind of just slightly ajar, almost as though he kind of assumed you were still, um, sleeping. And he's staring with a solid frown, um, directly at the scar that is on his chest. And, um, he, he looks almost like frozen, very stoic. And, uh, later, after you've gotten ready for the day, um, he doesn't follow you out to the classes. He doesn't walk with you to your classes and instead tells you that there's something he needs to do before he can go to his classes. Um, Arlo, when you wake up, it seems like Nari is coming home from a jog. Um, she's got some like workout gear on and she's got her little uh, MP3 player, like tiny iPod that she bought um, with her headphones in her ears. And she is like, yeah, bopping when she walks Absolutely. in um, and it's no. very loud and you can hear it and kind of recognize it as like hyper pop sure. um, <laughs> very much like she is the type of person also that would listen to like Hatsune Miku I feel um, oh gosh I like that <laughs> I like it no, for real uh, if there's anything you guys would like to do or say to your roommates you can um, but I kind of wanted to like kind of summarize kind of how you're what they were doing on that morning. Um, so you guys can roll through it. Um, all right. So you all make your way towards class. <laughs> um, and I would like it if you guys could roll two D6s for me, which we're going to try that. I'm going to try and do D6s for more casual Just the regular things. Um, as a tip from Gracie. They're like the two regular little dice. Yeah, they're just the two square ones. Two squares. Regular boys. boys. Excuse me, it's a cube. A cube. I failed geometry in high school, so I can't speak right now. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it. I was about to say, we both failed geometry together. We can't say shit. I go to a six. A six? A wow. Wait, we roll both? And then yeah, at the same time. And that's it's like rolling a d12. Okay. Oh, so just you have a possibility of not getting a one. You have to get oh, a one. That's okay. basically the thing of it. I see. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a three. Oh. I got a nine. I also got a three. Ooh. Hey! Mm. We don't have disadvantage, so. I can't join you guys on this one. <laughs> what? What'd you get? <laughs> five, a six and a five. Oh, that's right. I got a ten. Jesus oh, so, Arlo, you got hey. a... What's math? Eleven? Eleven. Eleven. You got an eleven too? No, I got a ten. He was a a hot mess last night, so he needs he needs some cleanup. What about you, Arya? He really does need. I got a nine. (laughs) Okay. Nine. Nine. All right. Nine. Nine. I was making you guys roll to see who would witness a specific interaction. I didn't see shit. (laughs) Arlo. You rolled the highest. Oh god. No, not Harlow. Well, he can't be responsible for anything. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, He's ready. Arlo. Oh, you. Yeah. You are the first, one of the first to approach your homeroom that morning. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm the water boy. Hey. Make you your downtown. Dude, I, are you the team? <laughs> no? Okay, that's fine. I'm, if you come, I'll have water. That's, yep. <laughs> Are you wearing your full gear? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have a belt of water <laughs> That's another question. It's you. Your backpack is on, but you you got all your books out and you just filled it with a water bottle. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm 
this in my, my locker and I'm like opening my backpack and all these water bottles. You open your locker and just <laughs> waddles of water. Everyone's like, what the fuck is you doing? Know? And I'm like, <laughs> um, well, that's another question too. All of you, um, what did you choose to wear this morning? Did you want to wear your uniforms? Did you want to bring them with you to change into? What's the vibe? I think Ku enthusiastically was putting on his this morning, so Arya Probably. in turn also felt the need to have to do it because okay. he was just so excited that like she couldn't say no. Do you wear like <laughs> the the shorts and like the shirt, or do you wear like the the varsity jacket over like the long pants or? Yeah, so she's wearing just her normal shoes, um, the long pants, and I think that she made, like, you know the, like, what are they, um, like the sweat, like, resistant shirts that are, like, really mm-hmm. tight that you wear sometimes, like, under, like, yes. top and stuff when you're, like, exercising? Um, she wore one of those, and then she's just wearing, like, the short sleeve. Okay. And she has her, like, varsity jacket with her, but she's probably not wearing it right Tied now. around her waist? Yeah, she has a waist. <laughs> um... Okay, and the rest of you? Uh, Therian is wearing his, like, usual outfit, but I assume he doesn't have his blazer back yet, so he wears his varsity jacket, which he would anyways, so. And then he tucks, like, the little uniform, he just, like, shoves it in his backpack, so. Okay. And then Arlo, I assume you're wearing, like, your your water boy get-up. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the entire is the water festival. boy get up like the same? It's as the, the same. Uniform, so or... people are gonna be like, "Wow, congrats on getting into the sports festival!" And he's okay, like, "I'm the water boy. I'm the water boy." Get it right. A little patch, a little patch that says "water boy." Yeah, a little water boy. You have the little ID oh. card that says "water boy" on it. Hell yeah! <laughs> I wear it proudly. And then uh, <laughs> Julian and and Andromeda. What about you guys? Uh, Julian's just gonna wear the regular uniform okay does he like put the uniform in his bag for afterwards so he doesn't have to go back to the dorm or yeah he... he puts okay. a gym uniform in okay bag. and Wamina? andromeda <clears throat> is gonna wear a very weird amalgamation of both outfits okay because she's not sure it's either or okay so she's gonna have like the little sports festival out like the little top and then her skirt her regular uniform okay. skirt <laughs> oh those and colors she... It's clashing. It's, it's, clashing. it's clashing. It is clashing it's a bit. Horribly clashing. <laughs> um, do they give them socks? Like, um, probably yeah. You probably get some okay. like, uh, like ankle, like the high ankle kind of socks. She's gonna wear one of the sports festival socks and then one of the regular knee high socks. I love uniform. that for you. And oh, then she God. has the little varsity jacket tied around her waist. Okay. Um, and then. I think she's gonna bring she's gonna bring Theron's blazer. With oh, okay. Her, to return but it. She's gonna wear it. <laughs> oh, okay. She doesn't want to put it in her bag. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> and then she brought like other parts of her uniform that she wasn't wearing. Like she stepped it in also the sports festival uniform too. Like so she has that fully in her bag. So okay. she brought everything with her except her blazer. She left her blazer. I back. love that. And mm-hmm. the shoes. She's not wearing shoes. Valid. Docks. In typical but... Andromeda fashion. Um, I'll okay. probably walk to class. Okay. I was just curious about that for later. Um, so Arlo, as you hi. approach hi, as you approach your har- your homeroom, you see Mr. Wilson standing outside the open door of the classroom as he usually does. He usually stands kind of yes, like holding man. the door open so you guys can walk in. Love him. Love him. Hi dad, sorry. Uh, hi dad. Um, <laughs> but this time as you approach, you notice that he's not alone. Um, there's a tall woman standing next to him. I knew it would be a woman. (laughs) She's quite (laughs) obviously, she's quite obviously an outsider. Um, her skin is a light blue, spattered with scale-like freckles, and her hair is big and curly. Um, white coiling strands hang down, and they're tied up in, like, a huge bun. Um, and you don't recognize her as anyone specific, um... But you see them standing kind of close. Um, and it's a little unusual Joe because Wilson. Mr. Wilson is a human, obviously. Um, and this is very clearly an outsider. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they're kind of chatting a little bit. And he seems kind of like, like, very, um, what's the word? Like, charmed or like overly enthusiastic in everything he's saying. He's like, yeah. like gesturing and like 
he's like really into, into this it. conversation. Yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> and yeah, you walk up to the door as they're chatting. Do you say anything? Oh, you it, do they finish their conversation or are they talking to each other? So they're just kind of talking, and then um, as you approach the door, Mr. Wilson probably turns and says, "Um, uh, hi, Arlo." Can I say something without her hearing it? Uh, she's standing like right there. She would hear it. Oh, like, never mind. Unless um, you like whisper it into his ear, but that might be a little awkward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't do that to him. Uh, I I walk up. I have all my stuff, and I like look at him, and I look at her, and I look at him, and I'm like, Mr. Wilson, <laughs> like walk right in. Um, and he like kind of frowns at you, and then um, he looks back at the woman and says like, nice. One of my students. He called me dad once. And it's only um, one time. <laughs> it's only one time. Um, <laughs> and you you hear a little bit of her voice um, as you kind of walk in, and um, she says, uh, "Oh, well, that's all right. I'll I'll let you get to your class, and um, we'll be in touch." Yeah. And um, he just kind of says, uh, "Yeah, yeah," and she says. You know where to find me? And then she, she like, kind of turns around and, like, shrugs and then speeds off. Oh, man. That's all right. Can I be, like, I'm at my, like, little desk and I'm, like, unpacking and smiling at him? <laughs> and I was like, that seemed like it went really well. <laughs> um, he walks in and he looks at you and he's like, you're never usually this, uh, early. Well, I have to report early sir, because I have a responsibility that I have not had before. It has been bestowed on me, and is the position of water boy. So, <laughs> I have to be prepared for that. At all um, times. He looks at you, and he's like, are you thirsty? He's like, oh yeah, actually. Um, congratulations, Arlo. Oh, that's, that's, um, <laughs> while you're doing that, he's like, that's amazing. Um, congratulations on getting that position. Oh, oh thanks. Thank you. Congratulations on, on having a conversation with a beautiful woman. Oh, yeah, thank you. She's, um, yeah, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> um, she, <laughs> she is, <laughs> she's the, uh, the mental health cleric. She, she came by to make sure that I told you all oh. that should you need to talk to anyone emotionally that she's, uh, she's available. Oh, give her my number then, because I really oh. need that. Well, you can just, she, she's in the, you just go to the main building and, and go and you can talk to her anytime, oh. Arlo. That's great. I could yeah. definitely use that. I'm oh, also always here if you need anything. Oh, uh, her name oh, is thanks. Viola. Oh, she goes by Viola. She goes by Miss oh. Nifedora, though. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Wow. All right. That's good for us. I good for me because I need mental health uh, support, and good for you because, you know. Because I've been, you. I've been. I feel like I've been single for forty years. Yeah. Yeah, but well, you're like. I, it's crazy because I'm like, oh, how could you for 40 years? Because you're just like, you're so handsome and such a good guy. So, like, <laughs> what could it be? You know what I mean? <sighs> I'm going to go get ready for class. All right. <laughs> <laughs> slowly walks up to the board. Um, <laughs> and with that, uh, he does take several large sips of his water bottle. Um, oh, so, yes. just so you know. Hydration. Hydration. Um, Doing my job. That homeroom class, um, I wanted to give you guys the option. Do any of you want to do, like, the 10-minute homeroom class like we did before, or are you guys good? I wanted to, like, offer it in case any of you wanted to talk to Mr. Wilson about anything or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, Andromeda does turn to Theron, actually, while okay. they're in the homeroom class together. Okay. And first, she takes off the blazer <laughs> that she was wearing. That Valid. Was and she holds it out to him and says, Theron. Your blazer. Your blazer. Your, your bla blazer. Blazer. I lost the voice. Mud. Your blazer. <laughs> mud. <laughs> mud. Think in the back, you have to say mud? That's so cute. Mud. mud. Um, so right. it's it smells fine, right? Um, he just kind of like sniffs it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells all right. Did it Wait. serve your purposes well? I was super Useful. cool, and I made it in. And, oh, I... In? I <laughs> yes. Um, in where? I did indeed sneak into the Ignis Ember dormitory to see somebody. 
You you snuck in. Where is the rest of the group sitting? <laughs> we just around, around each other. Of like, like, question. I assume all around each other. <laughs> we sit yeah, all yeah, together, we right? Now. Yeah. Okay, so Arlo was like, are you leaning forward? Somewhere? That's kind of cool. Yeah, Ooh. I was really cool and like a delinquent almost doing that. So. Take me next time. I, mean, I will. I don't feel, you know, but you, you what can't is... really sneak in during the daytime since like, well, you could just walk in. Well, you, how you, did you sneak it? You, you're sneaky you about it. it. Yeah, I was sneaky about it. Um, so I was standing there, and Darian appeared behind me. No. Oh. And he was very nice. And I tried to trick him at first, but then he realized I was Heraclaw. So it didn't yes. Work. Um, I wonder what gave it away. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but he humored me, and he let me in after I told them what I was really there for. So I didn't really trick anyone. I tried. I tried to. So v valiant effort. I there suppose. was a, there was an attempt. To thank you for the disguise. <laughs> it almost <Yeah>. was. <laughs> um. I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize you wanted it for that, but, uh... But yeah, okay. but Darian is super nice and very sexy and a good homemaker, and oh. he tells good jokes, and he, um, is probably very good at his job, because he found me out. Can I, um, like, lean over to Arya and be like, <laughs> I thought she was dating Mud. <laughs> <laughs> that is also what Theron's thinking. He's just like, are you into him? Are you in Derry? After this, in I think I don't Derry. know. Oh. <laughs> Does Theron say that loud? And can I can I hear that going on? Or he, he's what just like, so, so you quiet, you okay. and uh, Darian? Is that, is that yes. Not a thing? Me and Darian talked quite a lot. And he was very nice, and he was very nice to me. And he did the, he had the smirk on his face, like the usual smirk. And, you know, the light kind of hit him really well where he was standing. Um, I love when that happens. And he helped me out. And he is just, a, just a kind soul. And um, he has very luscious locks of hair. Is this two oh. sentences yet? Uh, it's about a yeah. paragraph, I suppose. The noise is Vay's yeah. palpitations. <laughs> is, yeah. it, is it? Oh, <laughs> what is that? There's a little crafty noise. Wait, what is the noise? It's like, oh, wait, stop. Now. It's stop now. Hello? It's like a yeah, static like kind of noise. Like... <laughs> I don't know. Is it better Is now? it coming from Vay's? I don't even know. I don't know. I thought it was Vay's. I don't know. I have no idea. No, you're good now. Well, it's not now. Okay. <laughs> it's grunge aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. It's my grunge aesthetic. Yeah. It's yeah. the background. It's the call of the void behind him. <laughs> yeah. The darkness. It is. <laughs> Gengar, actually. Gengar. As Andromeda continues small. talking. <laughs> Just like zooms in. It's like a dark cloud over him. He's like, are you, are you interested in this? And, you know, he has a lot of good things to say to say about him basically so so he's full of himself well more like people can say really good things about him as a person and as an elf as... and you know right okay. guys he just takes <laughs> the blazer and like <laughs> puts it in his backpack and so down. you should be his friend Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. I was visiting Silas, by the way, um, because Ooh. he did not message me right away. It, it, it's Arlo's been a like, day? It was a day. Yeah, Arya's just like, oh. 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 <laughs> that fucker. <laughs> yeah. Arlo's like, that. Arlo's Arlo's like Arlo's horror. Horror. Arlo's Arlo's like, horror. Horror. Arlo's <laughs> How did how did that go? Oh, it was quite weird. Um, he thought I was there for. Oh, um... I look over at Arya. You know what happens in the spring 
time. <laughs> when... The birds and the bees? <laughs> bunnies? Like the bunnies? I mean, Easter? Oh! It... You said yeah. allergies! Allergies Easter. happen in the spring. Allergies. <laughs> very good. I have a lot of allergies. Oh, I get stung by that one bee. By the one that bee? One? Specific <laughs> bee? Specific bee? Is it the bees? body bees? Oh, no, body bees. Okay. The busy no more body bees. Oh, no more body bees. Okay. I think it was the queen because it really hurt. Oh my oh. god. Does it uh, the queen? Ju Julia, Julia, you know what happens in the spring, right? Like when the spring happens and the animals, like. Do you know what happens? Mate? Yes. They're Twitter painted. Oh, <laughs> oh they're Twitter painted! <laughs> Twitter painted. <laughs> that? Are they. Are you inferring that Silas thought you were there to have sex with him? Quite. So did you? You were there. No. No. <laughs> so did no. you? No. Sorry. No. I'm really confused right now. I guess. So you weren't there for sex. I did not get it. No, I didn't oh. get it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, you're fine. It's okay. It's a hard, hard. Okay, I'm not a what did you get? But not right now. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. So nothing like that happened. Oh my gosh. No, Wait. You said it was weird. Yeah. He's just like not. I mean, a conversationalist. He's quite like. Say that again. <laughs> he's not he's quite a conversationalist. Not. I thought he was bringing you lots of conversations. You told her, you told her she could say it again, so she said it again. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So funny. Theo hadn't caught on, so I had to explain. Thank you so much. That was so funny. I did not even notice. So, <laughs> just like, so say it again. Okay, I'll say it again. Oh. Um, and he, you know. He was like, oh, I don't know how to talk to, um, you know, without, you know, getting it on. on. Getting it on? What? Getting what on? What are it's... you talking about? <laughs> so he, he's, he's a very physical person yeah. and not a very um, friendly person. He's friendly. I mean, he was quite nice. Um. You know, and he could make a very good friend. Um, and it was weird standing in his dorm with just the two of us uh, because there was like this energy. I didn't know how to navigate. <laughs> like, and did it feel, what did it feel people like? call that sexual tension. And you, um, <laughs> you. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I don't know what to call it, but oh dear, oh dear, yes, um, yeah, I, th I thought he just didn't like me anymore, but he was just like, hi, Andromeda, and I was like, hi, and then we talked about our past a little, a, a little bit, and then I left, promptly. Oh. So, uh, mission success, or you could paint it that way. What was your goal? Um, I just, I just wanted to know why he hadn't messaged me yet. Did you find out? Yeah, he just hadn't gotten to it. <laughs> yeah, it had to be a day. She <laughs> Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but then Whoops. it is a Whoopsie. You Whoopsie. Then. Arlo like Whoopsie. Arlo goes on his phone to make sure he texted back Andromeda in their last conversation because oh, he feels yeah. worried. Everybody like checks their phones. Yeah. And, like, make sure. uh... like, okay, okay. Woo, okay. Respond to her. <laughs> so is it weird to find somebody if they hadn't texted you back yet? Group question. Um, yeah, it's a little forward. No, I think it's no. totally fine. A little forward. You, you gotta be. I think I agree with Theron. Um, wait for okay. the text back. So forward. two for a little forward, one for. It's I think the proper etiquette is usually like two to three days for texting. 
That's so, so long. Unless you were really, really worried. Unless about emergency or, or something like that. I like yeah. that you spoke your mind. Because you're not like, you know, why didn't you text me? You're like, why didn't you text me? And yeah. I <laughs> talked to you about that's it. for sure. Okay, yeah. okay. Let me do the Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think you maybe... did anything wrong here, so. Yeah. I mean, I heard Goshi disappeared, so I got worried yes. that he did the same thing too. So well, we don't exactly know if he disappeared. We just haven't seen him in a few days. Wait, so. Goshi disappeared? Yeah, yeah he's like, gone. The coffee shop guy? Yes. Like gone like like, like I'm sick. Or no, like, like Helios hasn't seen or heard from him in a few days. And, he missed date night. And he missed oh, date night. Which that seemed like a really seems big thing. Serious? Yes. Yeah, hmm. so uh we should just keep our mind keep an eye out or an ear out for him and oh uh, the paranoia setting in again. <laughs> No, 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 it's fine. Everything is fine. We're going to keep retired. We'll just keep an eye out. Yes. yes. That's all okay. we can really do right now. Um, uh, Darian knows about it. I think uh, Goshi was in your house, Theron. So I think that's all we can really do right now. He's in my house? Well, like, not in your room, he's but in your house. Yes. I thought he was older. Well, much I think older. they both are a little bit older, but not too much older. They're yeah. still in your house. So at least that's what Helio said. So. I'll, I'll keep an eye out, I guess. Yeah, I'm worried. It's, it's valid. How can you lose a big lizard man? Quite easily, That's... I guess. Apparently. He's... You, for, you forget to cherish them? How <laughs> 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 like you lose a woman? <laughs> I do believe Helios treasured him pretty well, though, so I don't know. You to cherish her. <laughs> How do you lose a woman? Sorry, I'm so sorry. This is so good. Perfect. Well, I think that maybe from now on we should have a buddy system. Just to be careful. Mm-hmm. Who's going to be my buddy? buddy? <gasps> I'll be your buddy! Okay, Karen. I don't know if this buddy system is exactly going to work, though, because we all have different classes. But after school, because in class we're gonna after all be school. in the hallway okay. together. But I assume that that if a lizard man went missing, it's not. It was during. I was after hours in the, the suspicious time of day. The dead of night. The susp- I didn't ask, so I don't exactly know. <laughs> we really didn't. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> is that it for your conversation? Anyway, thanks for the blazer back. We're all just nervous. Thanks for the You're blazer. Welcome. Thank you for the rental. There was sexual tension and someone we know went missing, and that's the gist of the conversation. <laughs> yeah. And you said a paragraph of nice things about Darian. So. Yeah, that too. She gave him more than two sentences. She gave him oh, a paragraph. Okay. She did. Yeah, no. She gave an essay. <laughs> Five paragraphs. <one. laughs> and a thesis like, a and everything. of good things about Darian. This is why Darian, <laughs> this is why Darian is great. This is why Darian is great. Why Darian is great. She made it oh so convincing that you know what Darren we thought that she was interested in Darren. Yeah. Side note, what we should do confused. at some point, just for fun, have a stream or just like even just a time when we do that Jackbox like PowerPoint thing, but we do it in character. Oh. And it's like, there's a Jack, there's like a Jackbox like interactive. You can do it like virtually. Um, but it's like basically when people make those like PowerPoint oh. setups. But you choose random prompts, and then like you have to present please. them without knowing what the prompt that is. So fun. That would be so, so fun. fun in character, and okay, like I'll, I'll just I'll be an it. NPC or something. But it yeah, would be yeah. be Arthur so please. fun. Or <laughs> I mean, Arthur is no, the one I'm that such I an feel like stand, you have to be Arthur. I'm like Fair. I'm Actually. every time she's on the, no, like every time she's on the screen, I'm like no. invested. Oh, everything. I'm such yeah, a fan. it's just like literal hard eyes, y'all. Yeah. Her and Thank mine. You. I really couldn't. I could just hear them go on for a long time. And Q. Andromeda. And Silas, actually. Oh, thank you. All. The NPCs. Who, is, who is like no what? thoughts? Head up. I love yeah. them. I Straight up. I could even read out. issues. Yeah. He's okay. He just reads. What a cutie. Yeah. Um, so, oh after this, everyone files out to their respective classes. Um, and Arlo, we're going to start with you. Can you roll a d12 for me, please? Aw, oh, shit. Here we go Aw, oh, shit. Here we, Here go, we again. go again. Oh, bitch, I got a nine again? Okay. So that's in the, that's in the higher, higher regard. 
Who um, deserves this? So this week, your teacher is seemingly focusing on stories, plays, novels, or fairy tales that you love, oh, and that have stuck love. with you through a lot of your life. Um, you decide to go with The Little Mermaid, even if it was a recent discovery. You're lucky enough to get chosen to speak in the short amount of time you have in class, and aside from the many others in class. Um, you go, uh, this is your theater class, by the way, also. I forgot okay, to cool. mention that, sorry. Um, you go to the front of the room and sit on the stage. And then you spout off the wondrous tale about Ariel and Flounder and the Sea Witch, <laughs> and your teacher is absolutely enthralled, as well yeah. as your audience, gasping and laughing and even clapping when you finish relaying the story. Aw, hell yeah! <laughs> as a congratulations for doing so well, your teacher allows you to pass out water to everyone in the class. Oh! Fucking great! <laughs> All right. Um, I'm glad you didn't get the bad one, because it's really sad. Um, I wonder what it is. <laughs> Later. Andromeda, roll a d12 for me. You got it, matey. Thank you, mate. <gasps> okay. Oh. In your gardening class, you're studying... Class. <laughs> you're studying the beauty of carnivorous plants. You all stand at full attention in the greenhouse, mud beside you while the teacher lectures about the pitcher plant, the Venus flytrap, cobra lilies, butterworts, and monkey cups. She shows, demonstrating with deceased insects, how these plants work in moving to make the bug their meal. Once the teacher has moved on through the greenhouse, you stay behind to share a few words with the carnivorous plants. They're not very impressed with you, giving off a rather rude and defensive front and energy, <sighs> almost glaring at you in all their glory. At some point in the lecture, one of the flytraps manages to close its mouth around a long strand of your hair, and your professor and Mud spend the most, the most of the rest of class trying to get the stubborn plant to let go. <laughs> the entire time she's like... <laughs> <laughs> she's cussing at it in plant language. <laughs> Um, Julian, can you roll a d12 for me, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god! Oh Y'all, okay. <laughs> In your mathematics class, the professor is asking for willing participants to take the stage and work out a problem on the board. You're regretfully chosen by the instructor. You approach the board hesitantly and take the marker, moving to scribble across the whiteboard. The math on the board and the formula to solve it looks like absolute gibberish to you, and you're unfamiliar with this type of equation. You hurriedly and panically work out some sort of answer and step away to present your work to the teacher in the class. The teacher informs you that the answer is supposed to be a number, not a sentence, and gives you a solid warning to pay better attention in your lectures. A few of your classmates snort as you take your seat. <laughs> oh. Man's, man's got a math as a math equation and wrote an essay. <laughs> when Julian takes his seat, I feel like Andromeda would have sat next to him, and she like leans over and says, "I thought it was really good what you wrote. Actually. You wrote a beautiful so, story. <laughs> I didn't realize um, that I was in math class. Yeah, it's the numbers thing. I was not paying attention." It's no, yeah, I either. realize I'm aware of that now. Yeah, uh, everyone is just mean here, so don't, don't pay attention to them. <laughs> don't pay attention. Um, Theron, can you roll a d12 for me, please? Uh, I'm unreasonably awesome, nervous for this. <laughs> you got this. Please. You got this. <laughs> oh, no! No way. That is no a way. two. That is no. not a one. <laughs> Y'all have had a bad day, okay? Um, oh and my God. Arlo's had an average one. Um, <laughs> no um, had Theron. a good one day so far. <laughs> In your biology and anatomy class, oh no. everyone is assigned a human body part to focus on for today's lecture. The teacher is deciding to call on everyone separately allowing everyone to choose from a number of listed options on the board. 
you get chosen dead last and you end up with the last body part on the list that no one wanted and you spend the rest of class presenting your project on the human penis to a group of students no, who, hold back, <laughs> who hold back laughter to the entirety of your presentation. At least it's something he knows a lot about. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the human you. one, though? <laughs> there are humans in Ostradel. That's true, magical. but magic humans. These are boring magic humans. Humans. <laughs> These are boring humans. These are boring humans. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a normal dick if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> this is basic. Basic bit. Basic penis. Um, okay. Basic dick. Aria, can you roll a d12 for me, please? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I dropped too quick. Oh. That's a four. Oh. My god. Aria. Okay. In okay. your music class, no. your, Five, your professor okay. informs you once again that the objective of the class is to slowly broaden your musical horizons and try all sorts of different instruments. Today is the day you get to choose a new instrument focus, something to focus on throughout the week and get a feel for before moving on to another focus. It's first come first serve scenario with the instructor pulling names at random for who can choose first. You're just unlucky getting chosen last of everyone. And so instead of getting the instrument you'd wanted, you get stuck with the recorder. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. That's worse than please, oh, please you play hot cross no. buns. That's I literally hate it. The reporter is my least like is so. I that's a little bit of spite for me because I didn't play down. that in middle school, so I was. All of us had. Didn't we all like that's like the did we? Oh, oh like, I love that. Yeah, I love that. Elementary and it so. We had a whole focus on it, and they would give us like belts. They would do like the karate system. Of I got belts. the belts too. Yeah, right. Oh, oh my belt. god. So I put all of my value in that. Maybe it's a Florida way. thing. <laughs> all of my Me too. Value. Probably a Florida thing. I got to the oh I got to the brown belt. Got. I got one step away from the last belt, and I ran out of time, and I was so upset. That's anyway, devastating. That's so it haunts me to really this tragic. day. Florida's horribly yeah. tragic. <laughs> all right. Um, oh. after these classes, um, pretty shit ones for most of you. Um, yeah, that was... you all end up in your last class of the day, as you're all familiar with. Um, you file in one by one. Andromeda, do you come through the window again? Can you roll for me? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you want to roll a d12? Not open by now. You can roll a d6 if you want to. I thought we smashed it last time. Well, I just rolled It'll a d12. never close again. Okay, that's okay, fine. But, yeah, that's fine. No, d12 is fine. Oh, I got d12. an eight. Okay. Good. Do, oh, do so, I add anything to it, or is it just straight roll? Um, I'm trying to remember what the thingies are. Do you have like a dexterity? You have a dexterity one. You can add the dexterity one oh. if you have something. It's zero. Okay. So oh. then, never mind. <laughs> um. So. I got one um, stat. It's nothing too extraordinary. Your entrance through this window. You you just come through like you've come through often in the past. You don't do any cool moves when you come in. It's just a lift. A slide in and a close. Very average. Nothing extraordinary. Um, so, from there, uh, as you all file into the class, there are a few things you notice. The main one being that uh, Chuz is also wearing a sports festival varsity jacket. Oh god. No. Oh god. Oh god. No. 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 Please, no. <laughs> no. No. Um, no. 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 No, is there no. any talking that you want to do in this span of time? Just filing into your class, having your moment. Andromeda gives everyone a hug. Like As she does. Group. Okay. <laughs> I adore. Love that. Okie okay, schmokey. Um, your class goes by swiftly and with ease. And aside from the rising anxiety that surely some of you are feeling with the nearing of the day's sports festival practice, you sit through an even more arduous lecture, the teacher drawling on about human events from the past that don't hold any real value to you, and the conquests of even more unimportant individuals. Um, class soon draws to an end, and the group of you can now merge together to attend your after-school practices. Um, let's go! Let's go! Uh, depending on whether you brought your clothes with you, um, or whether you have to go back to the room for them, but it seems like all of you either wore your clothes or brought them with you, so that's great. Um, you can always change into them 
when you get to the gym. Um, as you guys are kind of grouping up together um, to get ready to go towards where the gymnasium is, um, Arthros does approach you, Theron, um, and she explains that she'd love to accompany you to practice, even though she's not a part of the festival um, or the festival team. Um, she kind of smiles and says that she packed her books in case she doesn't understand the rules of the game. Um, Nari approaches you all. She is dressed in all her sports festival gear, um, choosing to wear it very proudly to all of her classes. And she also asks very shyly if she can tag along with all of you to practice. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> um, yes, there's no know. way that I didn't invite her. Yes, valid. Me. Valid. <laughs> um, Silky. Yes, you know. Silky Nari. also prances over as well and jumps from the desk to Julian's backpack. Um, her paws are still stained with a amalgamation of colors, but they are no longer wet, so you don't have to worry about your backpack. Um, and she is also dressed in her tiny little sports festival uniform as well. Um, <laughs> you all slowly leave the classroom together, regardless of who needs to go where just yet, and walk out into the expansive hallway. Um, and I think that's a good time for our 15 minute break, if you guys want. Um, because Hell yeah. from there it'll be going oh. on to the gymnasium. Yeah. Well, let's go. Um, and I know a lot of it is, um, I hope it's okay flowing wise, because I know a lot of it I'm kind of jumping over. Um, no, it's great. Bless but there's kind of like a thick portion of information that you guys are getting up to, so I wanted to make sure that I get through it. Well, and right, we're so making. Hella good time right now. We're doing amazing. We're doing amazing. amazing. I wanted, oh I wanted at least like maybe two hours to dedicate to this little like gym section, and sure. then that's that's all I have. So hell yeah. Aside Perfect. from like ending it's events, be great then. and that's it. Like your little end thing, which I have little surprises for you guys. Um, well, surprises. Surprises. Are you surprised? No so, yeah. offense, but I'm so grateful that I got that interaction with Mr. Wilson because I needed it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was, it. Got it, baby. it worked <laughs> out well. So it was really yeah, wholesome. Was really wholesome. Baby. I love him so much. I want to draw a picture of all of you just like hugging Mr. Wilson and him just I'm being my like, dad. Uh, I need it. He's I all love our dad. dad. And I love him Fedora so much. Could be our mother. We so, might be getting a stepmom <laughs> soon, okay? Oh my oh my God. God. And what better than the, the mental health cleric for all Honestly, of you? Honestly, she would be a wonderful mother, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh wow. I, I, I do have... have... Huh? They do have their cat. McQueen. Um, I, I do have... Has, like, any pets or something. There was artwork that I found by someone. Um, it's not my art, obviously, so I'm gonna just send it in the chat to you guys so you can see what... Okay. Viola oh. looks like a little bit. Viola. Oh, yeah. Viola. Viola. I bet she is pretty and beautiful. Viola and Nifedora. And so, She's so nice. So this is ten gorgeous. That's what she looks like. And oh, wow. beautiful. Oh, oh, I think that's what I imagined. That's exactly what I imagined. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, nice. She's very pretty. Mom. Oh, mom. Baby. Mom. Baby. Mom. 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 I will draw mommy, her soon sorry. so that mommy? chat can see sorry. her at some point. Mommy? Mom. Sorry. Please. Mommy? She's sorry. Mom? Mommy? Mom? Sorry. She mommy. is mommy. Sorry. Also, when you, guys go, uh, when you guys go on break, uh, jump into the Ravenwood Gallery because Chuz's support gang drew <gasps> Arthros, and it's very cute. It's oh. so cute. It's very, very cute. Oh. Arthros, the love of my life. She's so sweet. The yeah. love of my life. Wait, the love of my life. She the is gorgeous. She is so cute. Adorable. It's true. All right, so we'll do a 15 minute break. Does that sound good for you guys? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, I see you in 15 minutes. 30. 7.30. Oh it works perfectly. 7.30. Oh my god, this is so satisfying. Okay. You're, yep. you're, yes. You're Let's go. Like, ah. It's like, yes! <laughs> okay, 7.30. I'll see you all. Okay, bye, love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Hello, chat. Oh, we wow. return. Oh, wow. I changed oh, wow. because I spilled what? water, not water, tea on myself, so I apologize. Mm. <laughs> I'd never be caught like dead with times? water. Anyways. No, drink um, water immediately. <laughs> you have water on your person, somebody forced you to drink water. Arlo. Your water Arlo blew That's my it. job. That's my job. <laughs> drink that water, bitch. That's my job. <laughs> I, okay, I smoky. Um, smoky. Smoky. Oh, okay, smoky. The water looks so so nice. That's some good water. Ooh, yeah. Crisp. I like that glass. Doesn't it look out? Look at that water. It's just nice. Doesn't it make commercial you worthy condensation? Ooh, mm. I'll Very draw nice. a little heart. Ooh. The ice. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I'll draw, I'll draw a little heart too on the condensation on my bottle. Uh, my bottle doesn't do that. Bad. <laughs> It's totally insulated. All right, yeah, chat. I hope you had a good break. Oh, you insulted my bottle. Hope you had no, a good break, a loves. A nice bottle. Sorry, you we did. took a little bit longer. Love we were <laughs> we had a food fiasco, but that's all right. A food um, fiasco. That's food the best fiasco. Time, to be fair. Yeah, truly. That's kind of fiasco. Um, <laughs> that's the only fiasco we like. So, are you lads ready? Ba? For ba? ba? Are you a sheep? Ba? So ba? 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 With all of you darlings, you were leaving oh. your last class of the day, uh -huh. um, and you are essentially heading towards the gymnasium for your practice for the sports festival. Um, you guys don't really have really any sort of inkling what to expect, because they haven't really told you much in regard to it just yet. Um, and Koo said it was a friendly, you know, just Yeah, Koo said that it was a fun thing. sports thing, and you guys chose <laughs> to believe the himbo lion with amnesia. So, it's fine. Why not? <laughs> I do it again. And I yeah, do, I do it, it again. again. <laughs> um, so. Love that man. We do love, love that, that man. man. He's a good boy. Um, when you guys all approach... The Ravenwood Gymnasium. Um, there's a pretty big group of you now that's all kind of gathered. Um, oh, you guys and your uh, some of your roommates. Arthros is still walking with you, um, and Nari and Silky is chilling on on you, Julian, as she typically does. Um, I feel like you guys have probably gotten into the habit of that at this point. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you take in the vast exterior of this historical-looking building towering over the group of you. Um, it looks much like the other buildings of the school. Um, the doors are tall and looming, intimidating. They are pushed open, and there are armed guards standing and holding them, standing against them. Um, a sight that tells you that you're definitely in the right place. Um, that and the large banger that hangs above the doors that says, Sports Festival Fighters, um, in a bold uh, text. <laughs> um, before you enter... Arthros turns um, to you, Theron, and she says that she'll meet everyone uh, when you guys are all out practicing on the field, um, because she's not really sure if she can get into the uh, gymnasium, considering she's not actually a player. That's fair. Um, so she kind of yeah, shyly lifts her books up in like a little bit of like an awkward like, and then um, gives a small little like wave, and then kind of uh, trots off in the direction of the field, which is right behind the gymnasium. Um, when you enter the gym, after passing uh, by these two guards, they're kind of giving you, like, they're always, they always look very robotic, these guards, because they're always just kind of staring straight forward. They'll glance at you occasionally, but they always usually are just very much just stoic. Um, when you enter... You see a large group of outsiders all gathered along a set of several bleachers. Um, they're all dressed in their sports festival uniforms and are all of various size, race, and height, with no set image of, Raven of any sort of Ravenwood competitor. 
Um, the centaur that had initially invited you all to sign up for the festival stands at the front of the bleachers, as well as the elf woman you all recognize from the market sign-up table as well. Um, so the two that were standing there were taking all your entries and stuff that Koo was chatting with during the market on your only your your first official day at the school. Um, they both are standing sharp and attentive beside a stocky and strong-looking dwarf. Um, he's very short, obviously, as dwarves are. He's bald, except for a small Viking-like line of hair that goes down his head. Um, he's got a voluminous, large beard um, that is tied in two separate, like, almost like ponytails. But the ponytails are very short. Um, they're only like little tufts um, of hair. And he also has an equally as voluminous mustache that covers basically all of his entire top lip and then just just like sprawls outwards and almost disappears into his beard um he's got heavy set eyes a very pink rosy nose um and a very stern kind of intimidating look in his eye um and uh you also see Artair Chiron um, who you guys remember as the assistant to the dean, the one who let you into the school initially, guided you through the security process, guided you through your orientation, and dropped you off at uh, your homeroom the day that you first met uh, Mr. Wilson. Um, good times, good times. Uh, he is also in the room, standing just to the side, and observing everyone with these cold eyes. Um, he is also the man, of course, who was there when they, like, basically cattle prodded Silas um, at the market. He's the one that Silas spit on, and then he ordered the guards to take him away. <laughs> um, so, uh, three of the house advisors are there as well. Um, in this case, Darian, Claude, and Athena... So Terra Claw, Aquafin, and Ignis Ember, the Kaylee Wing one, is not there. Um, and you can maybe suppose that maybe this just like isn't her scene specifically. Um, <laughs> they're standing to the side beside a few scattered guards, and they're watching over. Yes, Theo. Is that is that the 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 one with the country accent or the one that looks like Ariana Grande? Athena is the one with the country accent. Country accent. Okay. She's and the Terra Claw. The other one. And the other one looks like Ariana Grande, right? I think so. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I agree. There. <laughs> I, I can see I how she would look like it. Yeah. yeah that makes That's sense. Like... Okay. Um, Thank you. Of course. <laughs> right? Um, uh, they're next to a few scattered guards, and they're watching over who enters and helping to maintain balance and order. Um, the inside of this gymnasium looks as any gymnasium kind of looks, except it is like far more extravagant and uh, far larger than the typical like high school, college gymnasium. Um, the ceilings are super high. Um, there's a line of purple bleachers along one wall with two doors that have um, unisex bathrooms for changing in. Um, there are, uh, there's just like, you know that weird linoleum like wood um, floor that gymnasiums usually have. I don't even know how to explain that. Um, but it's like that shiny, it looks like if you were to like fall on it, it would hurt your knees so bad if you were to skid across that. Yeah, that's the only thing that I can like <laughs> mental visualize to you guys. Um, so as you guys walk in, um, uh, Theron, Darian kind of um, sees you pretty immediately. He sends you a few not-so-subtle looks. Um, his brow's kind of arched in that same smirk that he's always smirking um, on his features. Um, he even glances at you for a moment, Andromeda, and he kind of shoots you a little wink in that in that friendly kind of like, hey, good to see you type thing. Uh <laughs> this confirms the ongoing theory that like, there's <laughs> something between them. There's and, something and here. Just, like, 
Well, Darren's like, um, oh, fuck. Okay. Andrew's gonna, Andrew's gonna, uh, like, elbow Theron very gently and be like, like, um, Darian is here and he's very, he looks very sexy, don't you think? Wow. <laughs> Darian is just, there's so many mixed signals that are happening <laughs> right now. He's like, yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. I guess, love this yeah, for you. For sure. Poor Theron. <laughs> um... <laughs> Claude also notices you, Arlo, and he nods his head at you, very kind of timid, um, and he kind of waves a little bit and sends you a little smile your way. Um, And I assume at this point you all probably kind of go about, all of you who still need to change, I assume kind of go to your bathrooms and go about um, changing into your sports uniforms. Um, and once everyone is dressed and ready in your outfits and your, uh, jerseys and all of that, um, as a little side note to describe the uniforms again for a little visual reminder, um, they are essentially, they look just like soccer uniforms, the basic one. Um, they are the short sleeves, kind of like jerseys. They have two golden lines that go down the side of the shoulders, um, on one side, it has your house crest, and on the other side, it has your name embroidered. Um, and on the back is the gigantic Ravenwood school logo. Your varsity jackets are very similar um, uh, in color and shade. They're a deep royal purple uh, for the most part, and the sleeves are like a bright gold. And the pants of your um, main uniform are basically like basketball shorts. They're like that length, but a little bit different because they're the more of the soccer uniform type texture, which is kind of like quarter length, like just above your knees type um, pants. Uh, they are also that deep royal purple and they have the gold um, streaks down the side. Um, they did supply you with sneakers as an option, should you need any sort of running sneakers. Um, they're just very basic black shoes. Um, they provided you with socks that are like ankle length, um, purple, dark purple socks. And uh, you also have the option of wearing like a tracksuit type pant situation, which is um, long pants that cover just over your ankles. Um, and they are also the dark purple with the golden streaks along the side. Um, I think that hopefully that helped you guys visualize the vibes a little bit. Um, same with you, chat. Um, <laughs> uh, as you all have gotten into your uniforms um, and gone about getting changed and ready for um, your practice, you're all promptly guided to the bleachers. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention, Arya, that Ku would have met up with you at your last class and walked with you to the sports festival. Um, and so when you get up there and you get... So- is James okay? James has fallen. James has taken a fall. <laughs> it's, it's watching the lightsaber coming in and out of the frame. Yeah, that gets me. I fucking love. We love Aww. you. Um, we need to buy James a tripod. For his phone. <laughs> um, we got you, James. So as you're all guided to the bleachers, upon approaching them, you spot three or two immediate familiar faces um, sitting the closest to where you're standing. And right next to each other, um, or in the same area more so, is uh, Zophiel and Mud. Um, they're both sitting there in their uniforms. Mud is wearing the basic uniform. He doesn't have on a jacket or the long pants. He's just wearing the regular shirt, the pants, and the socks with the shoes. Um, Zophiel has the same exact outfit on. Um, he is also wearing the shorts and the shirt. And you can see very clearly now the anklet that is around his ankle now that he has on shorter shorts. Um, and it's a very bulky looking, just black anklet, very imposing. Um, and there's a little light that keeps flickering on it. Um, do you guys choose to sit beside them? I assume so. I feel like Andromeda you know will I do. book it to mud, so I feel like... <laughs> Valid. Everyone in turn. And Theron will go sit next to Zophiel. Okay. Um, Are you just, like, you... takes, yes. um, uh, Ku's hand and kind of just shows him to the group. 
Um, and Kugo is very... Claude? Claude is standing by, like, more so by the entrance. He's sitting, or standing where the guards were when they first came in. Kind of off to the side, just there to, like, oversee, essentially. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> you simp. Um... So Ku um, very willingly goes to the bleachers as he recognizes Mud as well. Um, and when they reach each other, they do like a little weird like handshake type thing, like a handshake and then like a little knuckle bump um, since they, they share PE together, so they know each other. Andromeda um, looks at Arya as this is happening and goes, Did they just do a courting ritual? <laughs> Arya's just going to be like, oh, you remembered something. Oh, <laughs> little handshake. Okay. Court, courting ritual. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So, um, they sit. Uh, I assume that Andromeda sits next to Mud, and Ku also tries to sit as close to Mud as he can, and they kind of they chat uh, amicably to each other. And occasionally, Mud kind of turns over to you, Andromeda, and like gives you a little smile and stuff. Um, I assume the rest of you follow suit and kind of all sit down. Um, uh, Theron, you sit next to Zophiel. And as you sit next to him, uh, you can see that his expression is very focused. He looks like stoic in a manner of speaking. Like he is staring headstrong, like brows furrowed, just almost like glaring at this point at the... um, the little setup of the two sports advisors and the coach standing all um, in front of the bleachers. Um, almost just looking, he looks incredibly determined, essentially. Um, do you say anything to him when you sit down at all? Theron's just going to say, hello, Zofio. Nice to see you again. Um, Zofio turns to you and kind of glances over at you and he says, Nice to see you too. And then he keeps on deadhead staring. <laughs> like just so focused and like Um Do you see any do you say anything more or is that it? No, that's fine. Okay. He's very focused. We're just gonna we're just gonna leave that piece. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> um Yes, oh, Dio. It's, it's me again. Um <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Okay. Hello, God. It's me again. <laughs> Hello, God. It's me again. Can I have one of the snacks that um that Claude got me? And can I like just like yeah, kind of, like try to get like really quiet, try to get his attention? And I'm like I'm being kind of stupid with like. Oh, he's already <laughs> looking at you. When oh, you okay, meet good. his eye. He's already been looking at you. So I just like I I'm eating it and I like lift it up and I like look at him and I'm like. Uh, he looks at you and he's like, I'm like beaming. And he kind of, like, you see his cheeks pink a little bit, and then he kind of just goes, like, does a little thumbs up, an awkward thumbs up, and then just (laughs) smiles. And then you see Darian kind of do a little bit of, like, a elbow nudge to him and, like, a smirk, and Claude's just, like, scowling at him. Um, (laughs) Boys will be boys. Um, So, uh, I assume you all kind of gather on these bleachers and sit awaiting the um, presentation. And as you do, um, when everyone has seemingly filed in, oh god, I'm like trying to restrain myself for this voice that I have to do. Um, as everyone has seemingly filed in, the dwarf that is standing center stage, um, he has the centaur on one side and the, um, elf on the other. And, uh, I also have a reference for the centaur, but I will show you before he starts talking, because I feel like that's a good point. Um, so, once uh, they kind of see that everyone has filed in, and it looks like they have the numbers that they have on their clipboards, um, the dwarf takes the stage, and he stands before everyone, and he looks at you all with very stern eyes. And it's hard to, like, really decipher any sort of expression on his face, because he's just, like, it's almost like a constant scowl. Um, and he says... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is so hard. He says, um, <laughs> hold on, I <laughs> practice, hold on. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay. 
Hello, soldiers! I'm Nog War Got. But you will call me Coach Got. Because I have got, and will teach you all to have got too. Welcome to your first day of festival training. You're here because you all signed up to be part of something great, or something outstanding, or something extraordinary. Or maybe your friend dared you to put your name in the bowl and you didn't think you'd ever get picked. Well, too bad. You're here, and you better believe you're going to fight like your life depends on it. So, yeah. let's go over it, shall we? Please don't interrupt. Sorry. <laughs> and then he turns and he looks at the centaur and he says, Mateys, if you please. Mateys, sorry. Um, it's hard to decipher what the fuck I'm saying in that voice. Um, that was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I am thriving. Thank you. He's the, he's the British brov. What are you going to do about it, brov? Um, brov? So I have a little reference for you before Mr. Centaur Man starts talking. Um, you have met him before already, um, but I did not have a reference for you then, so I have a reference for you now. Um, I will send it in the little references folder. I don't think I set up my references page, but I'll see. With, like, your, your faces, but I'll double check if it's working. Um, I will send it to you all first so you can see it. Okay, here we go. Okay, it is sending in the references section. <laughs> oh, he cute! Oh, he cute oh though! Oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> I like his spiky ass hair. He's like a I Chad. Like very, very <laughs> yeah. Dean. Looks like a Kyle and a Chad's baby. Very Dean, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like the way you dress in Tarth. That's so cute! Oh, thank you! It's so cute. Speckles. I love he's a little man. Um, let me see if I have this set up for... Oh, I kind of do. Your faces are just really small. Yeah, your faces are just kind of small. Give me one second. Tiny little faces. Tiny little faces. No, you're good, Bay. It was just uh, cutting off a lot, so... Oh. Because it's, it's, like, weirdly cropped. Rove. Okay, there we go. So now chat can see the baby. Baby. The baby. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Show me the boy. I want to see my little boy. Here he comes. I want to see my little boy. My favorite, my favorite vine is um the one that was like, they were singing the Santa Claus song where they're like, you better watch out. You better, you watch, better out. watch out. You better you watch better out. You better watch out. <laughs> you better watch out. You better watch out. I like that one. Uh, anywho. Um, that is the man. Centaur boy. Centaur boy. The man. Um, let me jump back over to the other screen. There we go. So, <laughs> chat said he looks like a baby. Um, he is a baby, chat. Oh, yeah, he is a baby. Oh, we so, baby boy. He doesn't really have a distinct voice, um, so it's, it's, which is good because I have a lot to say now. Um, the centaur steps forward and he smiles at the group of you and he says, um, hello everyone. Uh, I'm sure you're all a great big mixing pot of stress, anxiety, adrenaline, and excitement. And don't worry, we will appease all those emotions today and we'll be open for questions out on the athletic field whenever you need them. Uh, now that you've met Coach Gut, uh, he's made it my job to explain just what the sports festival is and what it entails. Uh, so for those that don't know, um, the sports festival is a school-run event that invites other schools around this earthly country to partake in a bit of friendly competition. Uh, since you're all one of the biggest, since we are one of the biggest in the state as Ravenwood, um, we're going to be holding the first of its kind, which is really exciting. Uh, you're all going to go down in history as the first sports festival team on Earth 2050. How cool is that? Um, a few people in the crowd kind of go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, a few people in the crowd cheer, and uh, he steadily continues on. 
He says, uh, students from the other schools will be traveling down and, and staying in some of the extra housing for humans, uh, for extra housing that the humans have set aside in the teacher's quarters and some of the other dormitories for scenarios like this. Um, you'll have a chance to interact and meet them, so don't worry about that. Um, Wargut, uh, the coach, he very steadily interrupts and says, Make friends with the enemy, as they say. And, um, <laughs> Adonis, Mades is his name, uh, he turns and he looks at, uh, the coach and he's like, right, uh, yeah, anyway, down, down to the basics. Um, the festival takes place in a series of three phases. Phase one, latch and snatch. Phase two, speed hurl. And phase three, arachnomore. The first being a course of speed, agility, and thievery. The second, a course of speed, agility, and the ability to adjust to unnerving change. The third, a mix of all of these things, with the added need for skills of intelligence and wisdom. There's only so much we can practice until the start of the festival, since the technology used in the actual festival won't be particularly available um, for any of our practices or training material. It's more entertaining for the audience for you all to go in mostly blind. Uh, but we know what to expect, so we can at least mentally prepare and get your bodies used to the concepts, yeah? To explain this more deeply, the competition and phases are mostly performed virtually. Humans will be using a type of technology to convey the phases, so any magic or skills used will be constrained to the virtual field. Any, any pain inflicted on you, however, is real, so uh, don't think you're untouchable just because of the holographic enemies. Um, now, I'm going to let uh, Annalie tell you about the, the tentative schedule. Um, and uh, as he said this, says this, the elf woman steps forward, and she says, um, Hello, competitors. My name is Annalie Joven, but you can call me Anna if you would like. What Adonis told you about is only about two days of the sports festival. On the first day of the event, Thursday of this week, the festival will start off with a banquet. This will be a dinner party of sorts, um, an assortment of foods will be available to you all, and you'll get the chance to mingle with the others that will be competing against you in the days following. Friday will bring the start of the festival. Everyone will partake in initiation. The teams will have their moment of glory and fame, and then the first phase will begin. Phase one and two will transpire on Friday, with the finale coming the following day, Saturday, as well as the ceremony announcing the event's winter winners. Um, the centaur steps forward again now, and he says, um, Mind you, fighters, uh, according to the humans, this will be aired on some sort of transmitting device, and much of the world will be witnessing the festival and competition itself, so, uh, no pressure. Uh, and then Wargut, uh, adds in and says, Pressure is for babies! And, um, <laughs> Adonis says, uh, right, and there will be probably the entirety of the student population in the audience, just so you're aware ahead of time. Um... And the elf woman now takes over and continues. Yes, indeed. Anyhow, Saturday will close off the festivities regarding the event. However, Sunday will bring forth the celebratory ball in your honor. I'm sure you're all very excited for that one. Um, and Adonis says, Regardless of all this, I'm sure you've been feeling a desire to use your skills again, like we all did in Ostradel and the Nine Realms. Now is our chance to find a semblance of normalcy, normalcy, the best we can. And... An opportunity to skip class, am I right? Um, and <laughs> a lot of the students are kind of clapping in the audience. And he says, uh, now, who's ready? Um, and as he said this, most of the outsiders clap and yell and holler in excitement. And um, what do you all do? Are you guys clapping? Are you guys excited? Are you nervous? Yeah! Arlo is excited? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's lit. Arya is nervously cap clapping. <laughs> Darren is um, casually clapping. <laughs> Julian's Whoa. very focused. Okay, much like Zofia. She was very serious. I he love leaned that. in. Um, Andromeda, you're just kind of like mindlessly clapping a bit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on. Valid. <laughs> But she signed up anyway. Just explained. <laughs> um, yes, Zophiel looks resolute. 
Um, he has, like, kind of a look of, like, un utter unbridled, like, um, com like a competitive look in his eye. Um, oh. A little bit of, like, a, a weird urge uh, flashing across his features. And Nari is baring her teeth in a smile, um, her fangs on show. And she looks, she looks very excited. Um, Silky's features are slightly nervous. Um, but her eyes look stern and determined either way. Uh, Ku is looking a little bit mindless, um, but he's clapping and he's got like a faint smile on his face. Like he's, he's like, yeah, I'm here for this. It's fine. Um, Mud is like, yeah! <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> Going ham. <laughs> Next to you. <laughs> um, as he would. Um, and so... As uh, the group kind of calms down a little bit, um, Adonis walks forward and he says, uh, let's all get started, shall we? Uh, if you don't mind, please follow us out the back doors of the gymnasium to the athletic field. Um, some of the human protectors are gonna give you a bracelet of sort. Um, this is to maintain and restrain how much force you use in your skills, as well as allow you the opportunity to summon enemies to practice on. Um, the group of you, you clamor down from the bleachers and uh, you file out to the back doors of the gymnasium um, that are now spread wide open and there are two guards that are standing there and um, a few others that are kind of holding like a box of things that are passing them to the other guards and uh, the outsiders in front of you and eventually the group of you um, they click two bracelets one on each wrist on both of your arms um, they're a weird metallic like metal um, looking type bracelet but they do stretch and bend they're not restricting so they allow your wrists to move as much as you might need to um uh when they've done so they nod at you and um for those of you with slightly bigger wrists um for example like theron and ku and mud probably too um the and those with smaller wrists like andromeda i'm sure um, the bracelets, when you put them on, they're loose at first, but then as soon as they press, they press on them, uh, they kind of tighten and they constrain on your arms, essentially, to fit your wrist perfectly. Um, Vase, Vase just flicked off the camera, but the blur of the blurred. background. Yeah, and it looked so cute. It looked so cute. It was oh, really like it was it. censored? <laughs> yeah, I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> censored <laughs> it censors my uh rage <laughs> great, um great. you exit out of the doors and the first sight that you see is of a large expansive field of green um none of you have seen this before because you haven't traveled this far back to where the gymnasium is um it carries on for what looks like miles to the blind eye um it's oval shaped and surrounded by a path of cement like a running track that frames its form. Outsiders are expanding across it, filing, uh, filling a green canvas with colors, shapes, sizes, and creatures. On top of the field sits targets, markers, agility courses. The space is full of training devices of all kinds. There are bleachers lining the outside of the field, like an arena as well, clearly seats for any sort of audience. There is a buzz in the air, an unreadable excitement, a surge of electricity, and maybe that's the feeling of magic being back in the air around you. Um, the centaur, Adonis Mades, is back at your side again, distinctly close to the group of you. Um, and he looks at you all and he says, um, for now, uh, free, free range training. You can, you can focus on whatever you'd like, really. We will be around after a short while to guide you into a combat focus of sorts. Um, Coach Gut has some routines he wants to go over with you all to help you better understand what the phases of the festival entail. Um, but for now, uh, should you like to summon a moving target for practice, uh, simply press the small golden button on the side of your bracelet and say the word enemy. Just keep your distance from you know, your friends and stuff, yeah. There's plenty of field to go around and we don't want to risk knocking out our teammates. Uh, feel free to track me down though, should you have any questions. And uh, he turns and he looks at you, uh, Arlo, and he says, um, uh, water's to the left of the field, uh, should you find yourself parched or Arlo, should you feel the need to- uh, Give water out? 
Yeah, I'm not really sure how to instruct you because I've never really had. I'm I'm really good at water. Like I'm I'm so good at it. So I you know I got this. Don't even worry about it. It's gonna, cool. It's gonna be great. All right. Well, yeah. uh, uh, there's a there's a there's a big uh, jug over there, and there's there's some small little cups and things of that <laughs> nature. So. He just turns around and just starts spreading. <laughs> Like, like leave the mid conversation. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's just like that guy's really serious about his job. Um, and, uh, and what you see when you do head over that way is there is like you know those like big cooler type of like things mm-hmm. that they have for yeah. sports at like high schools and things like that. Um, there's those with a lot of like cups, um, and there's also yeah. a little bench. So if you wanted to, you could literally sit on the bench and just fill cups for people whenever they approach. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. Uh, jazz. I'm so sorry, but Mud is the type of competitor who would go up after the whole game is done and take the giant keg of the yes. water and just <gasps> all over himself. I and feel like Arlo would be like, "Hey, dude." <laughs> Like a little cup and start like, like around though, because he's hydrating. It's such an aggressive. That's actually that's true. true. That's true. Or, yeah, that's true. It's kind but of then like he's a, not. Like, I'll go get another jug. But like then the I'll others can't hydrate. Like I'm gonna yeah, get I'll another I'll, jug. We got he's this. Less Anybody else? Than I am. <laughs> I Charlotte would be like, yeah. Valid. He would be like, bitch. <laughs> that's the water for the group. That's my like, water. That's oh, I think. Gun um, to hand out. Respect the pouch. I think they <gasps> dropped our wow, food wow. at the door. Yeah. Food, 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 food. Okay. Nice. They just came in. Did you get sorry. boba? Because what did you get? They you yeah, it. we got. I think Haley got boba, but it was um sexy. Yeah. It was more specific on DoorDash, or like they changed yeah. something where it was like you could they only get it, it with a certain drink, but she still got it anyways because she's. I still okay. got it. She's a. Do you have boba time? Boba, was boba. boba time. Yeah. When you come visit me, is that a place? LA, we're going to Boba Time. I don't think it's Boba. Boba. Boba Time. It's so good. It's I'll go to any time. Boba place in the oh, world for, because I, I want it. Wait for Jazz <laughs> to get back. back. It'll be good. Easy. Um, to throw out to you guys, uh, mm-hmm. just as a slight note, um, mm-hmm. essentially, I wanted to give you kind of a little bit of like an open space. I do have stuff planned for ways that you you can train, and we can move mm-hmm. on to that as soon as we're ready. Um, but I, I did like kind of want to give course. you, yeah, I wanted to give you kind of like an open space to practice maybe casting or like trying out a spell of that some sort. Spell. Yeah. Um, so there is magic there that's allowed. The things that you have on your wrists is almost like constraining your magic a little bit. So it's not as powerful as it would be if you were on Ostradel. Um, and there is still the chance of something funky happening. Um, but they, they've kind of devised this, like, sort of technology that puts a little bit more of, like, a dampener on your capabilities. Um, also in a way that keeps it constrained to the field only. So, like, if you were to hit something and it bounces off of something, it won't leave that section. Um, which is essentially how... Oh, sorry, my mom texted me. Oh. Uh, really (laughs) Yeah. Wow, that um, this reminds me of like Hunger Games, where it has like the like the barrier. That's what it was like, inspired by. And like you just yeah. like shoot the into, like the little chink. That I is that, that is what it was inspired by. Uh, okay. The sports festival is very inspired by Hunger Games, mixed with like Maze Runner, mixed with like. Nice. Um, I Maze Runner. Oh. Maze Runner. Good shit. That's where, that was <laughs> that really. Maze Runner did a lot for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. It did a lot for me every time I saw Dylan O'Brien on the screen. Honestly, so. You're, yes. Okay, but I was Thank obsessed you. with Mino. Mino Thank was like you. my biggest crush. Valid. Wow. But thanks. Yeah, I guess he was angry and he was angsty, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, like oh, we love that. that. I love grumpy people. They're so great. <laughs> love being around them. We love a grumpy. <laughs> That's fair enough. It just makes me happy. Hey, bud. Is my other drink out there too? Sorry, I'm yelling. <gasps> Can you bring me that one? But also cool. new. Oh uh, yes, new. Mm. Oh, I thought I thought Theo just said to me you could also mute, and I was like, oh <laughs> no, literally. But also never... new. What the heck? I would slap a man to talk to you like that. You could if also that was... mute. Catch it. Oh. <laughs> Why would you do that? You didn't even do anything. Well, I meant to do it soft here, but I had I had the force was here, and it accidentally was too far back, so it hit this. So by the time it should have reached my face, it should have been soft, but it was hot. Oh. Sorry, chat. The Yo. velocity in this was so bad. 
brief hiatus. It was, uh, I'm not well. I I'm not well. A miscalculation. <laughs> um, <laughs> so many of those. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so the sports festival. Um, oh no. Oh? What? Oh no! <gasps> it's not big enough to get up the paper. Oh, oh, you gotta get Wait, a spoon. You gotta get a spoon. <laughs> you have to it's slurp it up. This is the worst. We have some pretty big That's straws. So if you want to check the, the little tutorials. drawers. <laughs> That's That's sad. Sad. Um. I'm so sorry. Rest in peace. But yeah, so the the um. Sp- Hi, thank you. Thank you so yes, Weeks. please. That'd be great. Thank you. The um, sports festival is very much going to be a situation where um, they almost set up this virtual reality system where it's like a gigantic arena. Um, And for certain phases, it's going to be like a giant. It's almost like you're in a giant, like you're in a world. Because it's almost like a video game. Yeah, almost like Sword Art Online vibe of like. I was you... going to say, this happened in an anime once. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're seeing what's happening, and you can still feel pain. But, like, if something were to happen where you were to get into, like, like a... Player one. Yeah. If you, you were to get into, like, a dangerous stuff. situation... No. <laughs> the what? What? <laughs> Are you good? She said, I was muted. <laughs> they give you good straws. No, when I was muted. Rude. They're so cute, I can't. <laughs> Scream. I don't like have frog is the image that just came to my mind. What? I didn't get I didn't get Haley's, did I? Are you stabbing? I don't know what's happening. Bing bonk. Bing bonk. Bing bonk. Are you Bing trying bonk. to get your straws? Okay. <laughs> this is an experiment. <laughs> then you're gonna use the straws as uh like chopsticks. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. You got a Sonoboba <laughs> straw? You look like a dog that like got so no with some straw. innovation and you're like, mm-hmm. So no head. Yeah, eh? Break skateboard. I will, when we do the work? sports Is festival it? episode, I will draw it and detail everything so you guys can. I, I already showed you that, but I have like some just like funny, like Theron Spice fan service stuff. Stop. You do, <laughs> oh, actually, Bob, I did have an idea that I wanted to talk to you about, but we'll talk about that. Okay. Oh, it's like a, just a fun little oh. on me. I'm here for it. Wait, I'll That's what mine is. It's not Discord. canon. It's just funny. Okay, send it to me. Well, mine needs to be canon for. Oh, like, <laughs> mine needs to be canon. I'm so you sorry. Gotta, sorry, that's what I'm like. Oh, mine? No, 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 no. no. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm teasing. I'm, I'm just teasing. I'm not that bitch. <laughs> no Wait, offense, but I'm built different. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, me and Em have this inside joke because one time we were passing by, we were like, it was like one of our long drives and we were delirious and I was passing Valid. by this fountain and Em was like, oh, I like that fountain, it's really pretty. I love that fountain. And Em was like, I want to marry that fountain. <laughs> was like, that fountain is the love of my life. And we were just like competing against it. It was so funny. Jesus. That feels like the vibe. So every like time it. we do that, I we're like, like I love that fountain. Back and forth. I love that fountain. That fountain is my soulmate. Fountain is my soulmate. We belong together. <laughs> Don't no fuck the fountain, this. please. Please. There's no boba? There's like a sign. I have no intentions. <laughs> Don't my mommy say Are you sure it's not the other one that we got? Nice. What? No, I swear on God. Because I got... Because sure. I got... Paper? I can grab the other one. No, I don't know. I mean, it might not. If it, if hers tastes like mango, then it that probably It is. tastes like mango. Okay. Why are you so oh. sad? They didn't put boba in it. No boba. No boba. No boba. No boba. Mango fucking tea with no boba in it. That's okay. Life goes on. Maybe that's, why, maybe that's why they weren't offering it. Maybe they're sold out. Because you couldn't... No, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying about how... We couldn't add it to the teas and stuff, you know? But hers is the specific boba drink, so they probably were like, okay, she wants that drink, but we don't have any boba, so. They're all out of, like, the pearls. Yeah, they probably yeah. they probably are fucking sold out because so many people want it Price. right now. Everybody's like, yeah, but I bought out their supply already. <laughs> no! You did. My well no, has run us dry. <laughs> My well has no. No. run us dry. Life goes on post boba tragedy. I suppose. <laughs> 
Unless it doesn't. <laughs> Unless it end. doesn't. This is the end. <laughs> well, this calls for a mood change. <gasps> Don't worry. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh! The drama. The betrayal. Okay again. You're okay. Oh, that was short lived. <laughs> short lived. Anyway, <laughs> it's all good now. It's all right. It's all right. I got some. I got some stuff up my sleeve for you, Andromeda. Oh. Um. Oh wait. I need oh. To that that doesn't it sound better. That sounds a little scarier. <laughs> <laughs> I got some stuff up my sleeve for you. So, continuing on. Um. Onward. Stuff. Onward. Uh, you all kind of move out to the field. Um, and, uh, Theron, as you walk out into the field, you do see Arthros now sitting beside the field on one of the bleachers. Um, she's got a... Sorry, I was looking at what Theo sent me. What? He was sending me stuff. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, sick. Especially, I I especially for time. some spice, please. Some spicy oh. art. Oh. Um, Spice. It's just, it's just, it's for some, it's for some, um, Vogue passion. <laughs> well, I love it. Vogue. Right Vogue. I love it. Picasso. Um, <laughs> Her legs were too long. Oh, long Every leggings. Day is leg day. So yeah, so Monday, she is, Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, it's okay. She is on the audience bleachers and she has a book in her hand and her eyes are very fixated on you, Theron. Um, and she waves kind of shyly to you from the, uh, bleachers. And, um, if any of you look towards you the, uh, sports, or the, the arena of a type, the field, if any of you look towards the rest of the bleachers, um, you would see that there are some onlookers that are curious in the practice. Um, there are a few just errant um, outsiders kind of sitting, just kind of watching curiously. Um, and you also see Silas, who is sitting there. Um, he is lounging back on the bleachers, and uh, he's got his arms crossed behind his back, very much in that fashion. Um, and he's got kind of an amused look on his face. Uh, Julian, he, he flicks you a salute. Um, when he meets your eye, and Andromeda, he shoots you a handgun <laughs> when he sees you. Um, and bisexual man. Bisexual man. And um, aside from some of the other um, creatures that are sitting along the bleachers, there's also a creature, uh, or a figure, I suppose, sitting just aside from the bleachers in the shade beneath a small oak tree. Um, with a book of sorts in their hands. Um, but from there, do any of you want to try kind of summoning an enemy of sorts and testing out one of your spells? This is going to be a learning curve for all of us because I've never done combat or any sort of thing with this. So we're, we're doing it together. Okay. We're learning together. I think Arya would wait. She's gonna wait? Yeah, I, I don't think she would be the first to be like, <laughs> You guys can also, because so. I know it's kind of it's kind of difficult, and I, I was thinking about this before, um, like, as I was, like, I was thinking this over before the session of, like, we don't have to have this little excerpt, because there is actually something that they have planned um, that you guys can practice fighting that is part of the phases. Um, which is what I was going to get to after you guys kind of get comfortable and kind of get onto the field. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, so we can do it where if you guys want to just try and do something, we can. Um, if not, we can move on and we can do you guys fighting. We don't fighting. have any like, weapons, do we? Or do no. they give us anything to practice with? Or? They haven't given you anything yet there may be things in the virtual reality when you um kind of start up um and you have these bracelets on so you're free to try asking for something if you would like to oh. because things are 
holographic, essentially. So you could potentially ask the bracelet for a sword of sorts, and it could potentially... Dagger. Press the button. <laughs> you press the button and say dagger. Um, as you do this, a dagger forms on the ground in front of you. Yes! Um, and it's got kind of a blue shine to it, so it almost looks like, you know, like a projected or holographic type of dagger. But you are able... It is a physical object. Um, Fantastic. Yes. Um, let me look real quick. Can I Can I get an enemy? Mm-hmm. Can I, can I backstab them? Vay's like, I'm going straight in right now. Um... Yes, give me two seconds. The only good one that I have right now would be backstab, I think, for this scenario. Back, backstab, her, back, stab, back, back, stab her. Stab her, stab her. <laughs> stab her. Mm. Um, let me consult my book for a moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Consult Napoleon. Consult Napoleon. Oh. Out of character, can I borrow the Skittle? Not Skittles, the nerd from the kitchen. <laughs> The yeah. one in the kitchen? The nerds. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we have three in the box of the nerds. Please the one of them. In you character, can skill? I also borrow the nerds from the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> can I borrow the non existent <laughs> Kinky. Like, yeah. I like some Skittles. I want those sour ones. I want the green one. I, want the I have sour, sour patch Skittles. kids, but they're bunnies. Oh, bro. Oh. That's good, though, right? Because they're yeah, bunnies. It's cute. You can bite their ears off. You know what I really want? That I didn't get mm. this. Ears? Ears. Yeah, I, I do off. have some of those actually. Um, like, I wanted some um, uh, Cadbury eggs. They're my favorite Easter candy, and yeah, I didn't good. get any this year, and I was really mm. sad. Oh, they're my favorite because you can only get them during. It's the little chocolate eggs, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Cadbury ones. You deserve yeah. those. They're so good. Oh, I just didn't get out, so I couldn't find them anywhere. But that's fair. Oh, someone's quoting like Julian. That. I have oh. to. Don't treat us like monsters. Don't treat us like monsters that be surprised when we play! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, Beans. Sorry. Okay, so. <laughs> that was really warm, like. Uh, Theron, you you ask for a enemy. In enemy. Your little bracelet. As you do this. I have to speak into a, the bracelet. Um, like yeah, essentially. Yeah, it's kind of like a Siri. As you do this, in front of you. A cave rat, um, of a sword. That's what you would recognize oh, it sorry. as. You're good. <laughs> He's out. ready, dude. Um, a cave rat appears. Um, holographic, but disgusting, nevertheless. Um, they're like rats, but big and nasty. Um, Large. Sorry, swallowing. Um, <laughs> Let me grab your little character sheet. Do you want to try, mm -hmm. just for fun, practicing a a thing on them? Yeah, I was going to do backstab. Okay. That's the only one that works for the system. Let me go to it super quick. I'm going to I your character sheet. <gasps> Back, backstab. Okay. Where are my stuff? Um, oh, jeez. So, can you... Uh, <gasps> I do have a thing on decks. Nice. Can you roll a d12 for me? Yeah. And, um, I have a question. Yeah! So, is, um, did Theron say anything about beginning, or did he just fucking go? I think he just, I just went. Fucking went. I literally just, like, like raced onto went. the field, got a dagger. Well, I, I tried to get a dagger first, and the, the second I got that, I ran onto the field and, like, did enemy, and now I'm, like, charging. You guys can also summon, like, an enemy and take them on as a team, if you would like, as well. Um... Well, I was just curious, um, I guess it's more kind of what you think, Off, um, because I have, I mean, I have a lot of spells that are specifically to help other mm -hmm. people who do damage. Support. So, yeah, being a support. So That I will was... be good for when they go over phase one. Oh my god, that scared me. I looked up and saw Theo come through the door and I was like, hello? <laughs> hello? I did not realize for some reason, I was like, um, hello. Um, oh, hi. Hello. But yeah, this Welcome is back. just very, um, I guess it's like a test run yeah. casual. Yeah. yeah. I didn't put like too much thought into this scenario here because I, I have thought for the, the phases, but I wanted to give you guys the option of like, if you just wanted to 
just say like fuck it and try something you could essentially um i know it's maybe a little like awkward feeling so i'm sorry about that but um but we can test it out because i haven't done done it and i want you to be able to feel good about it when we do the sports festival like the actual festival um so you use backstab mr theron Um, i rolled a 10 oh god damn okay (sighs) all right Okay. Okay. So you get to choose two of those options. Um, you I'm either deal your I damage four, but... with a one d six. Um, you move forward, um, creating an advantage, essentially. Um, or you yeah, can I'll reduce do, I'll their do those armor. Two. You want to do which one? So Sorry. One d six. I'll do one d six and okay. also do the advantage, like one four to me. Okay, so then, okay, so then you get to roll your plus one d6, so you get to roll a d6. Okay. Whatever that is, add a one to it. Okay. Please. I also have to roll. That's a four, which makes it a five. A five. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, considering how much HP this thing has. (laughs) Yeah, I guess I don't but know. But also that. how much you have as well. Uh, um, I have no idea how much I have. And obviously, like, if it if it hits you, this is not this is gonna be hypothetical. So you're not gonna take this damage, but I'm gonna tell you how much damage you would take in turn. Okay. Essentially. Um Oops. so Oh, I gotta roll the twelve too. Hold on. This is really good practice for me though, because I wanna be good at it when the um sports festival really happens. Comes. So I appreciate you guys being patient with me. Yeah. This is fun. I rolled a nine as well. Oh, well, I rolled a ten. Oh, right, you rolled a ten. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I rolled a little lower than you. Um, back, back, Sorry, that's in my head. That's now. the that's the song in the background that's playing right now. As this happens. <laughs> back, back, <laughs> Somebody uh, has yeah, like an old it, speaker please. and they're just like a boombox. Like I love it. Aria's just playing like, it. Montage. Yes. You bring out your loot and you're like. No, Arya's playing it on the recorder, actually. She has no! To um, so, Theron. She's playing it on her badass loot. You rolled a four, so that's a five. So then, you do five damage, which renders it to two HP. Um, but it also does six damage on you. Damn. Which renders That's you fine. to ten. Ten. Nice. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Hey. Let's not hey. Yo. I'm gonna keep going. Can I keep going? Yeah, you can keep going until you kill the man. Well, because it's an advantage. So, what is plus one forward to you after? So that was that? like that's what I did with your D six. So I I um. So would I like to do another turn? Would I roll a D twelve? Yeah. Or so would we would just we would essentially because it's just you fighting it. You would roll um, a D twelve to see how well you do. Right. When you're attacking it. So yeah, roll D twelve again. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> the swamp or the cave rat is foaming at the mouth right now. Very that's disgustingly. A, that's, that's a one. That's a oh. one. Oh. God damn it. Um, you don't even get the option to hit it. I don't even get the option. I, no. like, swing, and then I, like, miscalculated, and I, like, yep. miss it completely. You lunge forward with your um, dagger, and what? you go to kind of slice it, and you just let go of your dagger and, I it let just, go of my dagger and it just flies to the side <laughs> does it like land somewhere or does yeah it just like, lands in the is... grass okay because it's a real thing mm-hmm. fair. just lands in the grass do you up the good work <laughs> yeah do any of you do any of you, do... <laughs> do any of you want to try and attack the cave rat while theron goes to retrieve his weapon i'm, I'm scrambling to get it and Dramata is hiding behind Julian. She's literally like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> Anybody gonna gonna? And what? It, it only has two HP. One, two HP. 
what happens if I just roll to get the dagger and then like yeah try you can do again? that if no one else wants to I'm just wanting to see I'm just trying to see what I have that's like, valid yeah it's um, not like an assistant a person like to actually be able to do something mm -hmm. valid do as soon as we in? got out to the field Jade um, yeah could I have started to uh, sit down with my book in front of me and then um, prepare my spells, change Absolutely. my spells out mm -hmm. for different ones. Absolutely. Okay. Ebitimacy. So whilst this is happening, Julian's just completely <laughs> new, like sort of meditating in front of his book. <laughs> yeah, you're just reading your book. You sit down um, and read your book. He's just chilling. Arya just notices vibing. that no one's doing anything. Um, I guess she's just gonna like step forward and I have a question for yeah. you Bob. Um, yes. do you think because with arcane art it says to choose an ally can I be my ally and just give myself it honestly I yeah we might as well I think that that would Sweet. be fine Sweet. okay then I, I don't see I, why you, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to cast it on yourself if you can yeah. cast it on other people yeah. so um yeah I just wanted yeah. to do that and then um for the add the effect to um damage with the 1d4 okay but I have to roll to see if I hit it, so. Sorry, I'm going to your character sheet because visual. You got this. Visual. That's okay. Oh. Visual learner. Yeah, it's, uh, weave, weave a performance into a basic spell. With this, choose the ally and add an effect. Okay. Do you want to ask the bracelet for an instrument? Oh, I guess I could. I, I kind of just thought that she would use her own loot because that's something that she's... You can if you want. Does she, does does she, she take it to class with her and stuff? Yeah, I usually think that she has it, like, okay. strapped. Like, you know how okay. the annoying, like, ukulele people in high school used to have their, like, no, it's uke added. strapped to their to their backpack? That's, that's Arya with her. Are you calling? You might be calling people out right now. Okay, I was the annoying <laughs> one with the uke. I was I mean, you're not wrong, That though. was me. That was, that was me. <laughs> I literally had a teacher tell me to stop one day because he was so annoying. So, I oh. 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 Okay, so, well, okay. then she, Arya pulls out her loot. Yeah, she just, um, like... <laughs> and you do the what? you do the plus one d four damage for yeah, damage. Yeah, I think I have to roll to see if I hit it or even yes. attempt. But yeah, and that's the okay. d twelve, or do you want us to do the d sixes? <laughs> um, give me one second. Oh, yeah, should I be doing d sixes? Uh, no, it's a it's a. D12. This is really good for my brain to learn. So thank you. That's okay. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, roll a d twelve. Okay. That's a 10. Oh, nice! On a 10 or higher, the ally, or in this case, you, get the selected effect. So which one did you want to oh, go yeah. for? The um, plus, it was four, the... plus one D4? Yeah, it was the plus one D4 damage, yeah. Okay, so go um, ahead and roll for me. Yes, this is the D4. Come on, two or higher. Come on, two or higher. Come on, two or higher. That's a... Three? Okay. Three? So I'm assuming that's how much that's how much damage you do then, yeah. on that front. Okay, so, so it's fucking dead. You murder the cape rat. Um, wow. He essentially bursts into like almost a bunch of little like little pixels. It almost looks yeah, like pixels that exactly fall. What I was picturing. Yeah, pixels like fall to the ground, and he yeah. vanishes with a little bit of like a. It makes like a weird like chung noise as he bursts. Um, and you have officially defeated your first enemy. <laughs> Good job, guys! Thanks for the assist. What? Are water? Yes, I would love a water. Marlo runs out. It's like it's like speaking of his shoes on the on the wood. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, wait. We're, we're on the field. Outside. We're outside. We're yeah. the field now. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It still makes the sound you're, anyways. You're just <laughs> you're kicking up dirt like, and grass <laughs> as you're running. You're kicking up How dirt and grass behind you. The little like gravel. Is it like the, the hair flows in the wind? I just in the sun. It's real grass. It's like Baywatch, but it's like cut really short. He's like the water trying not to spill it. It's like a soccer field type type grass. Amazing. All right. Did Arya, you guys? As, um, yeah, as sorry. Sorry, gets the water. She just like downs it. Jeez. I take your like little crinkled up cup and I go throw it out. Aww. Um, <laughs> Ku comes up to you, uh, Arya, and he says, "Um, he says, wow, uh, good job, Arya. That was very impressive. Impressive. 
excuses. And Ari's just gonna yeah. kind of lean, <laughs> okay. like her shoulder against him, and just like, thank you. Oh, he just know. pats her head with his big paw. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, Good job. Good job. And um, if any <laughs> of you glance around at all, uh, you would see right as Zophiel is kind of... Oh, right as Zophiel is fighting, um, you see him fighting a cave rat as well. And... Um, as you look over at that very moment, you see one of his wings just like slice through the cave rat, and the cave rat just goes into the pixels. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> um, and then he kind of like stops, he frowns, and then he quickly says enemy again into his bracelet, and another cave rat appears before him. Can I do that? As well. Yeah, you can. I need to, re I need to redeem myself. Please. Valid. <laughs> valid, valid. You I will have. Um, I'm redeeming redeeming guys. Some melody There's another another thing where you're all gonna actually have Ready. to fight something after this one. So we boss. It's gonna be good, huh? Oh, boss fight. Boss. Um, boss. Fresh fight. Mini targets for fresh personally for each of you, essentially. Oh, okay. Um, cool. Also, so, you did say there was an obstacle course, right? Did you mention that? Yes, we will get there as well. Okay. <laughs> I guess I should wait. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I have something very uh, intense planned. Um, oh, wait, so, you, uh, do you want a different enemy, or do you go with a cave rat again? Yeah, do I get to choose? You can just Maybe. say different enemy if you want, into the bracelet. Uh, different enemy. Okay. So, then, I'm going to randomize. <gasps> I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> that's a good one to randomize on. Uh, um, what is? You see in front of you a large cube-like thing appear, and uh, you realize. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you realize that it is a gelatinous cube, um, <laughs> and it is transparent, and it is. You can see straight okay. through it. You can basically see Arthros on the other side. Um, in this like squiggly jello looking thing. She's just sitting there reading her book and she glances up and she's like <laughs> <laughs> And then um, you see the gelatinous cube kind of wiggle and then it It just keeps like twitching like jello <laughs> um, What the fuck? <laughs> so what, what do you what do you do? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I mean the only one I can use right now is uh, backstab. Valid. So, Let me jump back to your again. thing. So, you do backstab again. So roll a d12 for me. <gasps> you got okay, this. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's fine. I'll take nice. it. Nice. Okay. So you get to choose <laughs> one of those options. Uh oh, that's fine. Um. Yeah, I'll just deal my damage. One d6. Okay. Roll a d6 for me. This is fun. I like this. This is fun. <laughs> I like fighting. <laughs> it's fun. It's nice that it's it's very simple, so it's easy for my brain to comprehend. Oh. Oh, Theo. Theodore Masters went poof. Welcome Hello. back. <laughs> I rolled, I rolled oh, a away. solid five. A solid five. <laughs> All right. No advantage, but that's fine. All right. Yeah, so, Theron, you pick up your blade again, and as you turn around, you see the gelatinous cube. And it's a little bit, it takes you back a little bit, like, oh, shit. Um, and your health is back up, by the way, now, too. Uh, it's normal. Okay. Thing. I wasn't sure um, how. Yeah, because it, it's just kind of a hypothetical thing. Um, there. and you there. grab yeah. for your dagger, and, um, you essentially sling it forward and slice straight through the, um, gelatinous cube, and you see wow. the little slice mark go through, and you see a little bit of bloop like jello almost just fall off of the cube um and you deal your five damage to it um what the heck? and it goes down to 15 hp oh it's a little bit stronger okay it also has one armor as well yes um so it's gonna roll now yes andromeda uh am i able to go after the qb guy goes yeah for sure awesome 
If you want to help, you want to help Theron? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can I mean, actually, yeah. you can go now then if you want before the cube goes. Because okay. we can just Pick pretend like we rolled um, initiative, essentially. Andromeda mm-hmm. is going to, like, see that it's just a cube and not a scary foaming rat. And <laughs> she's going to be like, I can, I can fight this. I can fight this right now. And so she's going to, like, stand up from she's behind Julian, all dramatic. And she's going to be like, do, brush do, yourself do, off. Do, do, do. And she's going to take a running start at the cube. Oh. And she's going to, like, like, uh, like, judo kick it? Like, she doesn't use any of her special spells or anything? No, because I have one. <laughs> <laughs> you just kick the jello? All right. Um, the jello. She's, like, curb stopping the jello. She's curb stopping the jello. Roll a d12 for me. <laughs> Eight. Okay. Oop. You want to... Like also do something with your strength mod or something? Can I do that? Um, Am I able to do that if it's like yeah. a even it's like strength a attack? only strength? That she's I'm actually playing? really curious. Let me look up if there's anything that says like a, a regular like almost melee type attack. Let me yeah, just look. Yeah, that is a melee. She's just going for it. My little ladies fighting the big ol' lady. Little lady, you're a lady go. And you rolled a eight, right? She's a little lady, Anna. Little lady. Oh. Um. When you do like battle a real thing, you guys have moves as well, which is like how many um, times you can do a certain thing in a certain amount of time. But that doesn't really apply here. So um, yeah, you were just uh, going feral. Apparently, I can't wait. To, I can't wait for Arlo. I'm, Arlo's gonna scream about you doing this, but I'm trying to see if you fail or not. Either way, I'm gonna. <laughs> Arlo's gonna be like, I mean, eight oh, is pretty oh, decent. I wanna so, say. okay, so it does say it says that this, this specific one says it's called Dungeon World, not Murder World. Um, and it says attacking an enemy in melee requires you to be able to engage it in melee in the first place. So I assume that because you rolled an eight, you would have been able to do that. Um, so go ahead and roll. Uh, roll your. Let's do roll your um, d six. Your damage, and then. Um, What's your, what's your my strength? strength mod? Yeah, it's plus two. Okay, so then it's my only no. stat. <laughs> okay, so then do a d six oh. and then add your strength mod to it. You got this. You got As this. A, we can homebrew it a little bit too. I rolled sure. a two, so that's a four. Nice. All right. Nice. So you do four damage to it. Um, and the jello. for a second when you kick, your foot gets almost, like, stuck <laughs> in it. But then after a second, you are able with your strength to push your foot all the way out. And um, a, just a chunk of the cube just goes and falls onto the ground. <laughs> um, she's, so- as she's kicking it with her mm-hmm. bare foot, she's screaming, <laughs> Um... We couldn't hear you say it. It kept cutting out. It did, it did. <laughs> I could hear you, but they could not. It like sense you. <laughs> oh no, my sense. Okay, my, I think my sense. Yeah. Just say uh, calmly. She's screaming. It's sticky. It's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with this, um, <laughs> the whole field here hears this. <laughs> it is going to because oh, yeah. you're right on it, Andromeda. It is going to focus on oh, no. you. Um, oh, first. Uh oh, mud. <laughs> uh oh, mud. Um, oh no, save me! I'm a little lady, stuck in a gelatinous cube. Just a little lady. Just a little lady, you know. Just a little lady. Just a little lady, you know. Just a little lady, you know. Give me one second to grab my nose that I need. Is the right one? Hey yo! Hey yo! Okay. Eh. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, it deals um in kind of like a it wiggles a bit and um it kind of wiggles enough that it can shake you off and then smacks itself into you. Um, Body slam. And you fall back and take um, six damage. 
Ooh. What are your health points? 16, I think. Oh, okay. I guess we all have the same. Yeah. 10. Aria yeah. has 19. Oh, mine's full now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. I don't remember Wait. why, but there's a few. Well, I think Arlo Probably because you're a constitution. For some reason. <laughs> The constitution, probably. Yeah. Arlo has how many? I think Arlo has like a pretty big amount. I remember being a. What I do? Your you have a lot of HP. I'm pretty sure your oh. your HP is pretty high. Yeah, Arlo has a 20 for HP. What? Yeah, you... it's, because, it's because I built myself stupid, but I built myself <laughs> capable. Of I built myself stupid. Wrong. Fortitude. <laughs> It's literally the truth. Fortitude. Fortitude. Alright, so. Know. No one's gonna be Sorry, doing that. He always, like, bends down to get her lipstick when, like, the monster, like, is, like, throwing a punch or something, and she's like, and it's, like, just avoids it. That's all I wanted for Arlo. <laughs> Arlo. <laughs> so, survival. Um, I love it for him. would you like to make a move, or would any of you others Let's like go. to make a move? Theron, you want to? Yeah. Okay, so... Do I roll a 12 again, right? Yep, roll a d12 for me. Seven! Nice. Okay, so you get to choose one again. Which I assume you do the damage. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the best one, I suppose. Okay, so okay. roll a d6 for me. I'm like really building this up. Oh, you're nervous. fine. You're fine. Don't be nervous. That's a five. Hey, yo. All right. So, hey, yo. You do the same five. thing again. You That's lunge forward five. with your dagger and you slice through it, but this time it goes even deeper. Um, and you manage to cut him down. I went from, I'm trying to remember, brain. It, it was at 15. Right. And then it went down because of Anne Hamina. It went down nine. Cause, went down. Oh, uh, they did five and right. um, uh, you did four. Andromeda did four. That's what I thought. Nine. Okay. Tonight. So then it went down to math eleven. Four. Wait, what? Uh, its HP is at eleven. Oh, okay. It has eleven HP left. Um, Andromeda, would you like to attack it again, or would anyone else in the party like to try and try something? Wait, Andromeda made it eleven, right? Yeah. So, wait, so it started off. Well, it started off at what? Fifteen? Twenty. 20. Well, I was at okay. twenty when I first attacked it. Brought mm -hmm. it down to fifteen. Mm -hmm. 15. And then Andromeda no, did I four. Rise. But my attack just barely brought it down to fifteen. Right? Oh yeah, I didn't add your attack to it. Yeah. Okay. I wait. I was. Yeah, sure. you're right. I completely. Oh, yeah. My brain went. I did eh. five. Um. Yeah. So then it's down Ooh. to six. Six. I got it right. Nice, Good nice. job. Six. Nice. Quick buffs. Andromeda, okay. do you want to hit it again? Do a little kick. A little kick? Yeah. A little kick. I would like to curb stop the cube, please. <laughs> it's okay. the size of you. Isn't it? I'll look up to, um, when I can do... <laughs> when I can do more research, I'll look up to, like, the exact method with, like, melee and stuff like that. So. Yeah. We can have it's that for the sports festival, but because this is like, kind of a we're just, we're fantasy just situation, hanging yeah, out. virtual situation. Mm -hmm. um, so do your d12 for me. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's fine. That looked like a two for a second. That is a seven. That is indeed not a two. Hey, yo. Um, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Okay, Shmoki. So you do succeed, averagely. Um, yeah. And then roll your d6 for me. Plus strength. Yeah. Six. Go for it. Five. It's a Boy. three plus two, so it's a five. Nice, 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 nice. nice. There's one left. There's one left. Oh, one point. Um, uh, but it has to go. So, yes. Who's it targeting? It is gonna target you now, Theron. Yes. All right. So. <laughs> um, Theron. Please. Uh, oh, it no. kind of lunges towards you for a second, and, okay. um, <sighs> I don't even, I don't even know how it goes about 
attacking you. Um, <laughs> oh, what, um, can a, what can a cube do? Because it, it, it okay, okay, so they like are you. they are acidic, acidic, so it probably spurts out something in your direction. That's disgusting. Mm-hmm. And it does um, nine damage. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 16. I was, I was back to full health, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. And it is still left. at That's all I one. Need. So, Andromeda, you gonna finish what? it off? It's my turn. Oh, yeah, it's your oh, turn. Yeah. It is your turn. Sorry. Audacity. Trying finish to keep it. the. When I actually do, I'm gonna have to like write shit down because it's so hard to keep up. That's fair. I mean, yeah, we Love can fly. probably remember decently, maybe. It will help mm-hmm. out. Okay. Thank okay, you. Okay. Okay. Smack his ass. <sighs> what is it? That's a five, which is not enough to do shit. Okay, so you do not. Um, I do not fail. finish it off. In fact, you step Unless forward. Unless you miss it! You, Unless in fact, you step forward, it. and as you go to slice, your hand just gets stuck. And you're just stuck Ooh. in the cube. Trying to get your hand out, um, oh and you're yanking, but nothing is happening. Uh, Andromeda, would you like to save Theron? Yeah, she's gonna like Help stop for a second and like look at him, like in the middle of like the battle, and be like, "Theron, your hand is stuck." <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Okay, well, I'll help you. And she like so, like goes to like absolutely like wham powerhouse punch. One punch, love, punch love. boom. <laughs> yeah. uh, roll your D12 for me. Now. <laughs> Which one? Twelve? Yeah, twelve. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. So, um I'm not even gonna make you roll your damage. Um, so you lunge forward, you bring your fist up, and you just fucking plow it into this cube to the point that Blast you see the entire like all of its gelatinous body like press inward around your hand. Like, your hand doesn't even go in it. It just, like, dents it, essentially. (laughs) And as you do that, the entire cube, like, um, swells and then bursts into a bunch of little pixels and disappears from you. I'm screaming. I'm absolutely screaming. (laughs) Yeah! Um. (laughs) Andromeda, let's go! Like, I'm like, holy shit! Um. I killed it. I do um, want to add from yeah, there yeah. because there will be uh, more fighting moments coming. My up. friend's a murderer. Mm-hmm. My friend's a murderer. Yeah. Um. Oh, actually, Julie. before I move Julian. on. Oh, yes, yeah, Julian. Julian, go for it. Yeah. Uh, do I finish preparing my spells at any point? Yes, you can finish um, for the next uh, round that I have for you guys. Okay. Um, I think that's probably something that he. Uh, would have done a little bit of the night before anyways, but we didn't really, like, think about it because I didn't really think about it. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I remembered that being something he had to do. Like, prepare your spells. Yeah, he has to, like, prepare his spells, almost like meditate kind of thing. Um, But yeah, so maybe you started that that weekend um, in preparation for the sports festival and you kind of finished it up now. Or just Mm -hmm. took a moment to kind of prepare yourself. Alexi said, destroyed. As as, um, destroyed. <laughs> as soon as Julian finishes um, preparing, mm-hmm. uh, he's going to um, immediately stand up, uh, speak into the bracelet enemy, mm-hmm. um, and then cast Magic Missile. Ooh. Imme- like, immediately. Without immediately. even seeing, without even seeing what this thing is. <laughs> Okay. Really no. Really um, no. Yeah, pops up, just hang it up. Oh, okay. It's a it's a tiny worm with a sword that goes. <laughs> you <laughs> oh, it's it's it. I'm <laughs> not even joking. You just said that, and it. I randomized what page I landed on, and it landed on maggot squid. Maggot squid. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, I need your notes which, in the walls. Which, for the record, has three HP. Oh, oh. wonderful. Okay. You're gonna do <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you're probably gonna exist with like, oh, hey. 
Oh, hey! She's uh, um, okay. <laughs> either way, I'm gonna go, and we're still gonna do this. Um, let me go so to your spells. So it's a, a roll plus really intelligence okay. to cast a spell. Okay. Oh, that's, so cool. that's a nine plus ten, uh, plus one, not ten. Okay. Equal oh my 10. god, I was like, excuse me. <laughs> Kind of OP. Julian said, OP. OP. And uh, what uh, were you and using then... again? I mean, I believe it, but. What was that? I was sorry. Believe it, but... Which one were you using? Um... Magic missile. Yeah. Where am I in your notes? Why am I gone? Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Where the heck are That's so cool. I'm so, I'm so blind. I can't find in it normal D &D in my own notes. Did you? Question mark. Huh? I don't know why that name just sounds really familiar to me, and I don't know why. Well, it's the same spell, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, is it the same it's one? In D &D. Yeah. Okay, that's why I was like, I feel like I've heard you say this before. Why? Why do I feel like? Guide me Jade, to I'm it. looking at the picture that you sent me on this spells channel in my thing. Oh shit! Hold on. Oh, but you chose three of them, remember? So you chose... But isn't preparing spells allow me to change them? Uh, I don't know exactly if that's where it was, but I can look. Okay. Um, I think it was three, because you can get more spells when you level up. Mm. And you had to choose three of the ones that they had available, uh, but let me double check. We're all level one, right? Yeah, basically. Fair enough. Um, let me double check your thingy. Just to make sure that I'm not incorrect. Sorry, give me two seconds. Thanks for vibing with this chat. We whacked this in. Uh, you get in the hang of things. We get in the hang of things. There it was. Fuck. I just lost it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. 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 Um. Okay. 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 Oh, um. Yes, so, um, you start out with three first level spells in your spell book as well as the cantrips. Whenever you gain a level, mm -hmm. you add a new spell of your level or lower, um, or lower to your spell book. So, um, you could add magic missile when you, like, level up, or if you want to change it's like Pokemon one of them now, so since we, we haven't, yeah. Um, if you want to change one of the ones you have, which you did detect magic, telepathy, and the contact spirits one. So if you want to change one of those to magic missile, you can. I'll yeah, I'll it. do that. Okay. Which one do you want to change? Uh, uh, contact spirits will change now. Okay. Then I'll add magic missile whenever I get this second to. Okay. Then you have that one now. Okay, Smokey. Okey-doke. So, okay, Smokey. Let me go back to this maggot squid thing. <laughs> that sounds horrifying. I don't know what it looks like. like I hate it. I hate um, it. Already. The descriptions actually in the book are really funny. Um, <laughs> the way that they word them. I just need to find where the fuck he went. I don't know why I'm trying so hard to find him when he's gonna just die immediately because of James's spell. Mm, yep. <laughs> why, am I, why am I bothering? Everybody sees it like blink into existence and then immediately like <laughs> For 2. Turn 3 seconds. and go. <laughs> like it's not even fully formed yet and it's already Aww, like. Oh, poor guy. Away. Poor dude. Didn't even get a chance. Never even saw it coming. Maggot, 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 Epcot ball. Oh my okay. God. Epcot ball. Epcot ball. All right, James. 
Roll oh your God. d12. You did that, so that came to a 10. And then you casted Magic Missile. Which yes. I don't have it open. Can you tell me? Uh, it's it? uh, 2d4 damage. Okay. Ooh. 2d4 damage. All right, so roll your 2d4s for me, please. I did. I got a 6. Oh. Well, <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, did, Julian, yeah, um, after literally just sitting there on the ground with this book in front of him, <laughs> without, like, a change in expression in his face, without a word, immediately stands up with the book, speaks into the co the, the bracelet to summon an enemy, and um, so, uh, moves his hand across the book as uh, these several uh, little... Uh, orbs of energy appear around him and he points out forward uh, with his hand as they jolt uh, towards the maggot squid. And you oh see you see this little thing. Maggot squid. <laughs> maggot squid. <laughs> Just maggot up here. Squid. The description that the book gives me is the gods that made this thing were playing some sick joke on the civilized folk of the world. The, oh maggot, my God. the maggot That's squid harsh. wields a face full of horrible squirming tentacles that, if they touch you, feel like being struck by lightning. They'll oh paralyze God. you oh and chew you up slowly while you're helpless. Best to not let Can that. I... Not, best to not let it get to that. You must. So, you see a little that. maggot dude appear. Uh, he's got all these tentacles in his mouth, mm. and um, he stands up for a second. And he kind of makes a little like <laughs> noise, and then immediately. <laughs> Hello? Vaporized into pixels. <laughs> <laughs> he gets like cut halfway through his, his noise. Perfectly cut scream. Perfectly cut scream. And yeah. absolutely vaporized. <laughs> I imagine Bye. uh some people are kind of just like Well yeah, we're all like <laughs> they're just watching this. Julian thing. has like a very disappointed look on his face. <laughs> oh my god damn it. <laughs> That didn't last long. I wasted that on a freaking <laughs> maggot squid. <laughs> on a um, noob. On a trick of the gods. If you guys don't no. mind, really quick, we can continue as soon in just a second. Uh, doing like a five minute break for a second so I can piss. Sounds good. Fair I have to pee too. I am busting. Okay. I am busting. I am busting. I am busting. Busting. Net. And just to check in, are you guys all feeling okay? I'm so good. Feeling good. Me? Okay. So good. Um, if you guys are okay with it, we can do another like little enemy if you want to. But uh, the next part that we're moving on does have enemies, so if you want, we can yeah. enemies. Do it then. Yeah, we can and then probably we can move part. Yeah. yeah. Move on to that. We've absolutely yeah. burped yeah. these guys. You so really much. have. <laughs> you really have. Like so many of these little <laughs> like things. Um. Okay. If they had continued, Theron would be like any enemy except for the maggot squid. Truly, <laughs> anything. Anything but the anything maggot squid over that. there. Anything but the <laughs> maggot squid. Okay. <laughs> Just not that one. Anything else? A rat or whatever. Uh, five oh, minute okay. break. Five minute break, real quick. All right. Five minute break. Signing off.
Welcome hello, back. we back. Well, welcome back. Hello, hello. Okay. Sorry about that impromptu hello. pee break. We're all good. True, true. So you gotta go. You gotta go. Um. Uh. Sorry, brain. Um. Arlo. At some point, um, hi, hi. Uh, probably while some of these maniacs are fighting maggot squids, um, sure. Zophiel, well, I mean, <laughs> Zophiel gets up and um, he heads over to the water stand. Um, okay. I'm ready to give him water. And he yeah, heads over towards you. And um, he seems like he is like kind of panting a little heavily, like he has been exerting sure, himself. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so he does look pretty tired. Um, and he walks over, and his wings are kind of hanging down, and his, you know, on his back, hanging down to the ground. And he heads over, and he looks at you, and he uh, frowns for a moment. He says, "Fishman, hello." Yes, Birdman, hello. Hi. Um. Hi. Are you not competing? Oh no, I I compete in the the sport of giving everyone water, and my competitor is my last high score with myself oh i've never heard of that sport before i just made it up oh yeah interesting i've also it's... never made up a sport before oh you should, <laughs> you should try it sometime it's lots of fun um yeah i just give people water it's like an emotional and physical support kind of thing i'm good at that i think i understand yeah that's why i'm competing yeah, because you're good at the stuff. Well, no, not quite. It's, um... Oh. <sighs> I just feel as though... He kind of, like, looks down for a second <clears throat> and, like, clears his throat and uh, looks back up at you and he frowns and says, um, Battle is the only thing I've ever really understood. Mmm... So you feel comfortable doing it? Comfortable, I don't know, but I understand it. So more like familiar. Yes. Mm, that makes sense. That's kind of how I feel about water. Back in my life, I served a lot of people food and drinks, and it made them really happy, and that feels really good. So that's very kind of you to bring people Thanks. things. <laughs> I try my best. Is that why you bring me things like coffee and... Yeah. <laughs> attention. Things like that. And lots of that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have a lot of uh, extra energy, my parents used to say, so I have to place it somewhere. Okay. I do not. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> I like that about you. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. I like that... You like water. Thank you. I like that you like slashing things with your wings. It's pretty cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want some water? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <I'll cook for laughs> <you. laughs> Makes conversation with everyone who goes to get water. <laughs> I got the water and I handed it to him. He takes it quietly because I don't want to keep like infringing oh. on his time he takes it and uh he looks at it and then looks back at you and then he looks across um to something near the bleachers and he's looking at the figure that is sitting beneath one of the trees um that you guys kind of noticed that was sitting kind of off um wait earlier. pause my computer's about to die let me plug it in i don't want to miss anything I'm back. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so, so, um, he looks at the water, looks at the figure under the tree, and then looks back at you and says, um, can I have another one, please? Yeah, of course. And I kind of, like, look past him and I'm kind of, like, I don't, like, ask about it, but I notice it, uh, and I hand him another water. Um, and he takes both and he says, um, thank you for your service today. <laughs> Anytime. It does not go underlooked. Thanks. Oh. 
and like Arlo like looks down and like <laughs> took that one heart. That one was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he nods and he says, "Even soldiers get thirsty." Yeah. And then he turns and he immediately yeah. just beelines towards the figure that's sitting under the tree. Um, that's nice. And uh, you see oh, what him. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. <laughs> you guys had such a odd relationship. I feel like this is a <laughs> level in the, the right direction. I know, um, I like it. <laughs> so uh, you see him, whoever maybe has noticed this exchange, or Arlo, if you if you kind of watched him go. Um, yeah. He kind of just, like, stands in front of the figure, and the figure is sitting, like, crisscross applesauce beneath the tree um, with a book in his hands. And um, Zophiel just extends his arm with the water to the figure under the tree. And the the boy under the tree grabs it, kind of smiles, and then sits back down with his um, water and takes a couple sips, and Zophiel nods his head and walks back to the... Um, battlefield if you will the field um do any of you do anything with the information do any of you yes Andromeda. i would like to look over at the figure <laughs> i knew you would <laughs> and look closely okay at this figure um, under the tree andromeda you look Theron, very... wait 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 Theron also yes. notices and wants to see and hear okay him. All of this. I think all of us want to know who the all fuck out. Okay. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're for learning. Zophiel, which Zophiel as we've taking... known so far, for him to take an interest in like some random person, we're all intrigued. We are. Yeah. So we did just go like... slashing these fucking enemies with his wings to just calmly hanging out with Arlo and walking. Oh, what's going on? water. You okay? He's individual. a little. He's hot, sexy. Dan, okay. Like, did the philosophy book work? I love <laughs> He's that. So hot, sexy. I love that little I love his wing boy. Working. Um. So. If you guys look closely at this figure, you will notice a lot of blue. <clears throat> is it his mom? Is it his mom, the blue woman? It's a boy. Oh. Um, well, wait, is, is that, is that his Oh, mom? it's his mom, the blue woman. I thought you said, is that Zophiel's mom, the blue woman? And I was like, not quite. <laughs> like um no is this um, the child of the therapist woman <laughs> and Mr. Mulligan. at least as first at first glance they come across very masculine i shouldn't say that it's a boy um so mm. they come across very masculine and um they are sitting in the masculine uniform as well they have um plaid the plaid trousers on and they have the white shirt with the tie and the tie and the, the pants are gray so um they're very clearly kaylee wing um, and I have a reference for you guys, Ow! and I'm really excited about it. Um, Bob yes. has been teasing me about this for two weeks I have. now. Two weeks? I have. In what, in what it's way? been, I told, I told Haley that there's a character that I think that she's going to gravitate towards, and she was like, can you give me a word to describe them? And so I said blue, and that was all Ooh. I told her. And then you sent me an emoji. And then I, I sent you an mean, emoji, yes. What what emoji? Blue yeah, spiral. What emoji. Yes, the blue, blue spiral. spiral. Blue, and blue I said, spiral. I said, don't read into this. I read into it. I'm did. going to I also read, read into it. it. <laughs> um, so I am going references? to send it to references. Yes. <laughs> who re who reacted with the horse emoji? Horse emoji. I love your dedication to that. Um. <laughs> so. I will send you. Also, um, Alexi really wants it to be Sonic. Oh, valid. That's Sonic? I can tell you yeah, it's really not Sonic. 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 Then Shadow's Big in this game. Hands off Shadow. Oh my god, I love <gasps> Oh no! I love Oh my god, he's so pretty. Oh, I love him. In it. Oh. In it, bro. Oh, he's so pretty. Let um, me jump to the very thing so oh, strange. Yes. Yes. Gender, gender oh, envy. Honestly, I that is your gender. gender. <laughs> That's how I feel. That photo is how I feel. This is you. That's you, you. as a as a character that isn't Arlo. So, that isn't so Arlo. Pretty. <laughs> They're so pretty. Wow, I'm um, such a fan. 
the I love freaking that. like tattoos question mark yes I like they're the little, little, job. little markings thank yeah. you he's so pretty oh my thank god <laughs> um <laughs> so oh my, oh my god so um to some oh, of you wait, guys mama. you might oh be my. able to see that this character is very clearly a dryad um, I mean, I guess that makes sense to the plants, I suppose. Yes. Uh, tree. I will not tell you. <laughs> death. Death to her. Um, Waste. Falls in love with Waste. another tree. I'm Falls in love away. with a emo tree. I'm in love with an emo tree. I fell in love with an emo tree. Where the heck did I put it? Very much they vibe. These glasses remind me of Arthros. He they vibes. For sure. Yes. He they vibes. His pronouns are he they. Sorry, we got it. He they vibes. And uh, yes, you can tell that he is a dryad. He has this um, bright blue, Again. kind of like almost like a cosmic blue type of like mask. hair. So <laughs> and uh, he's got pointed ears, he's got a little earring. Um, his eyes are very similar to yours, Andromeda, except in the way that you can see the whites in his eyes, but um, his actual, like, I guess what you call, like, the where the color is, his his irises, I think? Yeah, um, They are solid blue. There are no pupils, I guess. And there are no pupils, yeah. Um, he has these markings um, <laughs> along his uh, expression that have, like, leaves and kind of like almost a look of like petals on them um and little like speckles in his hair and white and dark blue speckles on his nose and across his um the bridge of his nose um for those of you who uh i mean you obviously know that it's a dryad but uh out of character um in the meadow way he is a blue wisteria tree (gasps) um wisteria yes that's I'm Are like, you kidding me? I want to be him so bad. I want to be him really bad. Please. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just cosplay him. I'm it's so fine. Ge- there you go. I'm so gender envy right now. It's not even funny. Become him. Um, dye your hair blue. And I almost gender envy him more than Arlo, which is saying a lot. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Um, I know. He also I has him. bean brows. Oh, he does have bean brows. Um, little, bean brows. Little Sorry. dark blue bean brows. <laughs> um, yeah. Funny. Uh, so upon and closer inspection, Sophia? that's what you see. Yes, they're a best. Are they re- roommates? Oh my god, they're roommates. Wouldn't they you like to know? Roommates. Oh my god, Mama-da? maybe hey, you should Mama-da. find is out. Sophia is sprinting. Uh, alley wing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now what if they're roommates, Mama-da guys? Is sprinting towards this NB right now. Maybe okay. Aaron is walking slowly afterwards because he <laughs> senses disaster. <laughs> Darren is walking too. Senses disaster. She senses the like, tree. Already also hanging out with Kim and Julian. Um, he starts walking a little faster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Please don't body slam them. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, as you approach Andromeda, um, as you get closer and closer, he does not notice you at first. He is just very into whatever he's doing in this book. Um. And it seems like now he has, like, a, a reading, like, a novel next to him. But now in his hands is a almost like a notepad-type journal-esque looking thing. Um, and he's making very smooth movements of his hand as he uh, draws in it. Um, what do you do? Do a sketch. Um, she's going to she's gonna slow to a speed walk. Like, okay. one of those, like, mom speed walk. walks. A little power <laughs> walk. Um, as she nears, like... 15 feet away from them and um she's gonna like kind of slow a little bit more as she's like walking up and then she's gonna like get right up there and trying to slowly catch up he's like <laughs> concerned down <laughs> walk like, <laughs> he's, like he's like sweating a little bit he's like oh god it's okay. father <laughs> um and when she gets like like a few feet eh, like close enough like casual distance Mm -hmm. um she's gonna plop right down in front he's sitting right they're sitting right yes yeah underneath the tree Um, it's like the shade of the tree essentially uh she's gonna like sit right like kitty corner from him like right near them okay um and like crisscross applesauce like hands in her lap like um (laughs) he doesn't notice you now 
Um, and he and just standing awkwardly. He kind of looks. <laughs> he looks up from just his like... sketchbook and turns towards you, and he kind of like lifts an arm and like puts on his knife for a minute, and then like awkwardly kind of looks around, and then uh, looks back at you and says, "Um, uh, hello, hello. Uh, what's your name?" Talk forever. <laughs> <laughs> Give us everything, Kate. Talk forever, please. please. Never give stop us everything. Talking. <laughs> she like he pauses. Said love, please. She like Awfully. she like pauses for like a like a few seconds, and she's like, "My name is Andromeda." He nods, and he's like, "Oh, uh, nice to meet you, Andromeda. My name's Fennel." Fennel! And he That's extends his so hand. That's so cute. <laughs> like, That's such a trans mass name, by the way. <laughs> You're so right. That is actually. such a trans man. This is a trans man if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I have to relate. Head I kidding. have to relate. You have to. I have to. I, you I just gotta relate. You. I have to <laughs> you are so valid. Uh, she like takes his hand like very delicately. And she like shakes it. He shakes yours very, very softly. And then moves his hand back. She's like, you are a tree too. Um, he nods and says, yes. And you are as well. Uh, you, you look like you have a beautiful tree. That's so sweet. Have, have, you, have you seen it anywhere? Uh, I think I would remember if I saw something so golden, so no, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's quite bright. Mm. It's a willow, I'm, I'm a willow tree. That's amazing. I could kind of tell by the the way the leaves hang in your hair. By the yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a wisteria tree. Wisteria. Blue, particularly. Blue. I've never seen one of those before. Oh well, it's the first time for everything, I suppose. I've never seen a golden willow either. Mhm. Mm um. Wow. I, I, you're in the sports festival. Yes, um, it's kind of a nightmare starting oh, out. I'm really sorry to hear that. You, yes. It seems like you're doing great, though. You're in one piece, at least. Yeah, I, I killed a cube. Wow. That's amazing. And I, I mean, congratulations on getting in, too. Thank you. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I really hope I don't have to fight, like, a, f a foaming rat like my friends just did. Oh yeah, that, I don't think I'd want to fight a foaming rat either, to be honest. No. Um, where, where are you from? In Ostradel? Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, from somewhere outside of Ostradel. Not quite, um, Ostradel itself. Like, Not in the same, like no. not the capital. Not no, the... yeah, I'm from one of the like um, surrounding realms, like not the main. Oh, yeah. Are you you from you're from Ostradel? Mm-hmm. Oh, where whereabouts? Um, it was a grove in a swamp. Oh. Well, I don't sounds... know the name of it. Oh, I mean, it sounds quite nice. I I like the springtime, so I'm not sure how well I do in like a swamp-like setting. But I've never, I've never quite um, been to a swamp before, so. Well, we would get spring too because all the animals would get a uh, really weird at a certain time, and they would. Oh. Yeah. Um. We get seasons. I see. Um, that's really that's really cool. I typically would just stay inside my um, grove whenever we got some really cold seasons. Yeah, it it didn't quite get cold where I'm from. It was humid. Oh. Mhm. Mm Do you you know Sophia? Oh yeah. Um, we're roommates. Oh my god, they're roommates! <laughs> oh my god, I knew it! 
She I goes, knew it. Oh my, they're roommates. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. That is cool. Yeah, he's um, he's interesting, to say the least. But it's quite nice because, you know, I like peace and quiet at times, and he's very respectful of it. I think. He is very quiet. I agree. He makes for good um, uh, portrait practice as well. You draw? I do. <laughs> she look, looks down at the. Oh, he he's like up there. Oh, and he turns his uh, sketchbook around, and he's been focusing on a specific like leaf that had fallen to the ground from the oak tree that he's sitting beneath, and it is like detailed to like realistic perfection like he has made sure to get the shadows and every value and every line correctly it's almost like picture perfect essentially wow you are very good oh thank you mm -hmm. i can't draw for shit i'm not gonna lie oh well that's okay i think that everyone's an artist in their own way I don't know what my way is, but I'm sure I'll find out some way. In a way. We're always on a road to self-discovery, I think. You're very wise. Oh, I'm really not. I think you are. Um, Benel, have yes. you found your tree yet? I haven't. Oh. Do you feel, like, sick or weak or like you're dying recently? Any symptoms of that? Uh, not to the extent of dying, but I do get sick every now and then. Weakness, I think, is something that comes pretty steadily when not around my tree. But, um, I work through it, but that's also why I, I didn't sign up for the sports festival. Okay. Have you been photosynthesizing regularly? Oh yeah, for sure. Well, make sure you keep yourself watered, too, because that's very good. I will. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I love him. <laughs> forget your nutrients, because as trees, we must have those. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Are you bathing regularly? Um, yeah. As much as is normal for the normal dryad, I think. She's going to reach out and put a hand against his forehead. Like to check his temperature. He kind of like he, he, hear his throat. And be like, <laughs> oh, there it is finally here. <laughs> no, he's been here. He's, he's just, just been standing, like, like, standing next, like behind. Like, um, like, he kind of flinches. Like, it's been going fine, but then yeah, he flinches out. as he feels the hand on the forehead, and then he turns and sees uh, Theron finally, and he looks up at you and he says, "Oh, um, uh, hello." Hello. I apologize for my friend. That's alright. Um, this is, um, I, I, um, I'm very thankful. I, do I feel alright? Um, yes. Okay. We are <laughs> the same temperature, I think. That's good. He's so stressed. Theron's so stressed <laughs> right now, watching this interaction. Um, I love them both. He glances so back much. at you, uh, Theron, and he says, you he says, uh, I'm, I'm Fennel uh, Wistern. What's what's your name? Um, Theron. He just like, extends his hand. Um, and he reaches up and he shakes it. He says, "Nice to meet you, Theron. I see you're also in the sports festival. You seem like the type. I mean, not that I mean anything uh, stereotypical by that, but just simply that you seem athletic." He is. <laughs> he oh. stabbed a cube. I mean, oh. you finished it off. So, is it? This, it's the wow. same cube job. that you punched. Oh, wonderful. I was punching it and kicking it and stomping on it because that is how my brother taught me how to kill things in oh, case of danger. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. That's, um, that's a nice drawing of Zophiel. Oh, I... It's a leaf. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said he was drawing Zofio. He draws well, he's drawing Zofio. an oak leaf. But right he now he's drawing But he has drawn Zofio. Nathan Thurr did not say no. that. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was the fact that he was good. That's I, had, I had to respond before I told that's you. I was leaf. like, that's a leaf. Fair enough. That's, that's a leaf. leaf. Um, 
No, yeah, he does. He said that he draws like, like portraits nice of Zofia. Um, but the one that he's working on right now is, is a leaf drawing. You're good. Um, we're gonna we're gonna edit that right now and say that. You're, nice you're good. <laughs> okay. Um, he <laughs> nods at you. That's and he says, a nice oh, leaf. That's a nice leaf. That is a nice leaf. Um, <laughs> he looks at you guys and he says, um, "Oh, well, thank you. Uh, yes, I needed something to do, and I I didn't want to be." by myself today, so I thought I would come here and support Sophie L from afar. I like you. <laughs> oh, I like you too. And we've only just met, but you seem like such a wonderful person. Mm-hmm. Tree people stick together, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Like sticks. Like oh. sticks, like leaves to sticks. To like branches. leaves to sticks, yeah, to branches, to trees, to logs, to um, roots. 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 To dirt. Bark. To mud. Uh, yeah. To worms. Worms mm. beneath the ground. To maggot mm-hmm. squids. Ugh. Do you no. say that? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna make him turn and be like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I what? Sure hope not. What? Um, he just kind of keeps smiling at both of you. Okay. Baron, upon seeing that this is all going decently well. And they seem to like each other. He's gonna be like, "Very nice to meet you," and he's gonna walk to go get water. Um, and he says, "Nice to meet you too." Fennel. Yes. Can I have your friend code, please? Oh yeah, of course. And he uh, reaches into his backpack that he has next to him, and he grabs out his TCD and extends it to you, and you transfer friend codes. And he takes it back and he slips it in his pocket and he says, "Um, I'll message you, like immediately." Oh, good. She stands up. Okay. Otherwise, I would have to find you if you did not message me immediately, because <laughs> I would assume you had fallen sick and died. That's so understandable. Yeah. Yeah. I completely get that. I'd probably do the same if you didn't message me. Really? Yeah. Oh. Just dry things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just dry <at> things. <laughs> okay. Well, if uh, you have full permission, I live in uh, Terra Claw. The Terra Claw Dormitory. Okay. I'm Terra in Claw. Kay Wing. <gasps> yes. With Zofia. Um, I'm, I'm room 104 if you need to find me. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Okay. Bye, right. Fennel. She stands up. Bye. Bye. She turns on. Throttles on back to the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, and he goes about continuing his sketching. Um, of a leaf, not of a leaf. He's a leaf, he's a leaf, he's a leaf, he's a leaf. Uh, Zophia with leaf wings. I love Oh, mix it up. I drink. Drink. Shut your mouth. Um, so, so <laughs> your mouth. Uh, Aria. Yes. Um, as you guys are out on the field, and I assume kind of you've been taking a breather and stuff, kind of a little nervous to go about starting to fight things um and within kind of this conversation that andromeda is having with um fennel uh the centaur approaches you adonis and um he walks over and you see that he has zofia with him um kind of walking by his side and he comes over to you and um he kind of smiles politely and he flicks his head um, in the direction of a group that seems to be gathered at the side of the field. Um, it's kind of like a, maybe, maybe six or seven, uh, outsiders all huddled kind of in a little bit of a a little amalgamation. Um, and he has a clipboard in his hands and he seems to be writing a small note and, uh, checking off a box on his clipboard in his hands. And he, he turns to you um, Aria, and he says, uh, oh, if you could, uh, come with me for a moment, um, me and, me and, uh, Zofiel here are gonna go over to the, uh, group over there. Uh, Artair wants to talk to you guys. Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. And, uh, Zofiel looks at you, Aria, and he just says, um, he seems like it's very specifically us, so. Oh. Uh, all right. 
Um, and Ari's just gonna kind of, because I'm still thinking that she was like hanging out with Ku. Valid. So she's probably gonna like pick up her loot and kind of like strap it back in and then like waddle over with Sophia okay. kind of like. Um. So Adonis um clip clops over to ward the group, um, directing you to kind of join him. Um, and, uh, as you slowly approach the group, you notice that the vast majority of them are large creatures with, um, kind of expansive wings on their back and things of that nature. Um, there's, like, several aarakocras, um, which are the, like, bird-like, um, creatures, and, um, a few, uh, fairies here and there. And, um, Zophiel that walks beside you. And, um, as you head over in that direction, uh, you see Artair kind of waiting patient patiently. Um, do you want me to wait until Theo's back? Yeah, we can. Okay. Where did, I'll wait. Did he say a CD? I did. Oh, know. he's back. He got his meds. He got his meds. <laughs> Valid. Um, Oh. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> so oh, yeah. um yeah so uh you join this group of kind of winged creatures all standing in a huddle and um Artair, Chiron, he looks at the lot of you and um uh Adonis is kind of just smiling and um he turns to uh Artair and he says um Oh, that's uh, that's all of them that I have on my clipboard, and um, Artair says, "Great, thank you." And he turns to the group of you and he says, um, "Seeing as this is a special event that requires your full strength and skill level, we will be relieving you of your anklets during the actual event itself. The arena will be cloaked and roofed, so do not attempt to fly off. You will regret it." And we have other ways of stopping you. Understood? Um, and the other creatures in the group nod. And Zophiel looks almost like he's been given the greatest gift of all time. Um, you see his feathers kind of twitch um, on his back and shudder. And then uh, the centaur looks at the group of you and he says, you're all dismissed. You can go back to uh, training. We'll be over in a minute to, to continue on to the phase one. Um, so, uh, right. And he kind of salutes you guys and then clip clops back um, behind our tear. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> After they dismiss us, Arya's just gonna like 360 turn and just book it back over to Koo. Um, like before you do this, you do notice that Zophiel turns to look at you for a moment and he's like frowning and his eyes do like a like a once over and he like cocks his head to the side did she catch this before she leaves probably yeah i wanted to throw it in there before you left sorry oh, okay. um so uh, he does this in your direction and he's just kind of like got his eyes a little bit um trained on you and then he kind of like looks down and then glances at the wings on his back and then back down at the floor Arya is just gonna kind of like look at him and like I'm very excited for you, uh, Sophia. I I'm sure it's going to be wonderful to see you fly again. Um, and he looks at and you. Oh, sorry. No, you can keep Okay. Going. He looks at you and he frowns and he says, "Um, yes, I'm apparently excited for you as well." Right. And then she's going to turn around and walk, book it over to Ku. Like, her head is just, like, down, like, not he looking just, at anyone. He just watches you leave, like, with a very confused expression on his face. She's just going to kind of watch everybody hanging out. <laughs> All right. So, we'll let everyone read into that as much as they want to. Um. <laughs> uh. Oh, Arlo. I've read into this so much. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know. Jum like, like, hello. Jumping, <laughs> jumping to you for a minute, Arlo. Um, hi. Hi. Uh, 
you're um, handing water off to a random outsider when you feel a presence behind you. Um, and as you turn around, I assume you turn around, um, Coach Gut is standing directly behind you. <laughs> and he says, um, he says, On the field, soldier. Huh? On the field. I... Did you bring water to people? No. Water boys are soldiers too. On the field. To fight? What else, soldier? On the field. Okay. <laughs> After he says this, uh, the elf that is also the sports advisor next to you turns to you and she says, um, who knows, maybe we will need you if someone gets benched during the festival, so might as well practice a little. He's the medic. <laughs> practice a little is what you said. <laughs> and I can do that, so let's start. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and Coach Gut looks at you and he says, Field. Uh, field. Yep. Ah, oh, did that. <laughs> and I, like, walk over to the field. And I guess I have the little band on. Do you want me to say enemy? No, you're good. You can just join the oh. others on the field if you like. Alright, I'm on the field. Um. <laughs> field. Uh. So, with that, um. Uh, cutting in between there for one quick thing as well. Um, this probably happens why Aria was, while Aria was called off to talk to this group. Um, and Aria, as you're walking back towards, um, the group of everyone, um, you walk past a elf. Um, she has her arms crossed like this, and she's like, her eyes are kind of like squinted at you and she's smiling and um she's kind of just taking you in and like looking at you and her eyes drop over you for a minute and she like kind of scoffs a bit not scoffs more like kind of she's like hmm like kind of like hums a little bit to herself um and when you look at her i have a reference for you guys give me the reference <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll send it to you guys. Uh, so what she looks like. And you said that Arya does catch her by, like, like, looking at her? Uh, you would probably notice, because she's sitting there, like, arms crossed, like... She's so cool! Squinting at you. She looks so cool! <laughs> so much. Like, love that haircut. Uh, fucking rat tail. tail. Yeah. Sure. It's a fucking it's a rat tail. Boy. It's, it's always thing. it's always a rat you tail. Asshole. You asshole. Oh, you dirty, dirty <laughs> little liar. I cannot believe you. We love <laughs> a rat tail, okay? You little liar. This is homophobic. Hello. I'm, 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 this is not homophobic. Ow. This is very gay. <laughs> She's so <laughs> She's so um so chat can see her now. Uh her Excuse pronouns me? are her pronouns are she they for the record. Excuse and me? delightful. <laughs> delightful. And um so, like, that's the uniform too. That's the first time we've gone. Yeah, to the, uh, soccer uniform. Sure. Um so when you look at her, you definitely see um oh, kind of a boyish eyes? a boyish fem <laughs> boyish feminine look to her. Um she's got this like little oh, moon tattoo sure. and by the shade of her skin and kind of the shade of her hair, she looks like she might be a moon elf um oh. of that nature. Uh she's got a bunch of piercings on her ear. She's got rings on the top of her pointed ears and she has a cuff that hangs from the star, a star earring in her ear that circles up to the rings on the top. Um, her eyebrow is cut twice, and um, that's good. <laughs> and she's wearing a little choker, and her hair is almost like a messy, over overgrown pixie cut, but with a rat tail in the back. Oh my god! Essentially, essentially, um, and her eyes are like this golden, um, golden color, golden shade. Um, and she looks at you uh, as you walk by and kind of cocks her head at you for a minute. And she looks you up and down and she says, um, you're not quite what you seem, are you? I'm just going to stop and like pivot to look at her. And she's just going to kind of do like a up and down in front of me. She's like, excuse me? 
She just smiles and she extends her hand and she says, Beacon, Petra. B for short. Hey, I <laughs> roll for the attraction. <laughs> Do you want to roll, or are you just attracted? I'm I mean, I'm feeling pretty attractive, but <laughs> there's no chance you're not already attracted. Like, <laughs> well, that was a twelve. So okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a nat twelve. It tracks. I got some spoken. Hey, hi. Uh, <laughs> um. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. You are gay. <laughs> hey. Uh, um, B, Beacon. Mm, right. Uh, oh. la, la. Lux, Aria. Aria Lux. That's, that's my name. <laughs> yes. Nice to meet you. And she shakes your hand. <laughs> Very nice. And um, she steps back and she says, Couldn't help but notice, mm-hmm. sorry. Uh, you know, the group of winged. Uh, individuals over there and then there's you <laughs> you're very um uh, observant aren't you yes that and i have no um filter as my mother used to tell me so uh, um yeah bit deceiving now aren't you well i don't know about that i don't know very deceiving but um well, it's deceiving to me. And I've just met you. <laughs> you, you, you. You know, your mother was right. You have no filter, but that's not a bad thing. Um, yes, I take uh, pride in it. Yeah, I'm sure you do. You do take pride in lots of things, I'm sure. Um, is that <laughs> something I can help you with? Um, um, she, I, she looks you up and down for a minute and she just says, No. You keep looking me up. Is just thought I'd of... voice my opinion in case you were interested. In? In my opinion. Oh! Oh! Um. <laughs> Which is? That you're deceiving. And not oh. quite as you seem. And oh, I'd like to know that... just exactly what you seem to be, and also what you don't seem to be. So you're saying you want to get to know me in a way that is kind of, um, scary. I'm saying that I'll be watching you. Oh, goody. (laughs) That's wonderful. Um, I'm going to walk walk away now. Mm Begin. But, um... B for short. B, right. B. Uh... Friend co? Sure. She extends her TCT for a minute. You know, you are not what you see me either. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> she takes it back and she sticks it back in her pocket and she says, um, I will try to respectfully watch you walk away. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, right. And Aria's going to kind of just, like, walk backwards a little bit and then, like, kind of look to see where Ku is again and kind of just... <laughs> She's just gonna keep looking over her shoulder at Beacon as she's walking away. Like, um, and Beacon is, as she said, just watching you walk away with her arms folded on her chest again. Respectfully. Somewhat debatable. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. From there, those were the main moments I wanted to throw in there, so I'm sorry if that took a little bit of time. Um, swinging it back around, we are at, um, okay, uh, at some point, Coach Gut, um, informs everyone, um, to line up, and he goes around and speaks into his own bracelet, um, which poofs something in front of everyone individually, um, Kind of how I imagine it is you're all kind of standing in a line of sorts beside one another. Um, A holographic chest appears in front of everyone. Um, Each of you individually see a chest in front of you. And uh, the centaur Adonis, he stands amongst everyone as well. And he states, um, phase one of the sports festival known as Latch and Snatch. Uh, Catchy name, you know. 
chests of a deceiving nature. Um, you need to get inside it in order to latch onto a treasure and give your team the points they need to win. So how do you go about it? Do you choose brute force, bust open the chest and take out the content? Or do you choose to pick the lock? Um, and as he says this, a small lock pick appears on the floor beside the chest in front of all of you. Um, each of you see a lock pick um, appear. Um, so, each of you, um, we might as well do it by rolling for initiative if you guys want to, um, to see who goes first. What do you want us to roll, a 12 or a 20? Uh, you can do a 20 if you want. Do D20. Spice it up. Oh. I'm gonna put it in chat. Okay. While you do that, I'm gonna piss real quick. I drink way too much tea. I'll put it in order for you. I downed it. I won't go anywhere. I'm just gonna meet myself. Natural 20. Hey, yeah! Let's go! Bing Very bong. nice. Very pretty dice also. It's my Adro dice. What, what is it made out of? Uh, is it just resin or is it? Resin. It's just resin, oh, okay. I think. Yeah. Fair enough. It looked like opal for a second. Oh, I wish. It would be cute. Oh, oh yeah. That's pretty though. The gold dice. I like them. <laughs> I would die. Huh? Nice, 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 nice. So, how y'all doing? So, uh, <laughs> I've been. How, how are we doing? How is chat going? I've come here a lot. <laughs> uh, Every once in a while. Cool. Gotten a lot um, of work done. You got a lot of work done? Getting them keys packaged? Oh, it's been very satisfying that? watching you do the It has been. It's been super satisfying watching yeah. Cameo appearance! Cameo appearance! Oh, Cameo that's appearance! Partner. And a oh, smooch. smooch! A partner! A partner! Oh, a wild that's partner! A what, is it? what is it? It was a chocolate covered almond. Oh, oh I thought it was a grape for a second. Aww. You just get like two Thank grapes. I just like that too. I was like, why are you handing me two grapes? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looked like for a second. You get. Two grapes. Two grapes. Just two. Got any That's grapes? It. That's it. Alexi said the chicken bacon ranch might be my favorite hot sub. That is awesome. Uh, that sounds mm -hmm. phenomenal right now. I'm so true. glad. Hungry. Me too. May you should get something to eat. I want. Chipotle. I'll make food after I get. After we're done. Sorry, laddies. Oh, welcome back. Sorry, laddies. Thank you. Sorry about that. Nature called. <laughs> and you answered. I did. Okay. Good. How you guys doing? We're vibing. Okay. Auggie. Auggie. I'm ready to lock back. Okay, so uh, can you guys tell me what you rolled? What you got? Oh, uh, we put it in chat. Ah, oh, shit. And it's okay. in order. I put it in the line. Ah, yeah. oh, perfect. Okay. In like, we got it. With no, it's not going last. Okay. Yeah. And drop it up. Do you choose to go with brute force, or would you like to try and pick the lock? Brute force. I figured. Okay. Um, so, can you roll a d12 for me? Yes. Thank you. A12. Eight? Do I add anything to it? Like a strength mod or anything like that? Or um, do I roll with one damage? Give me one second. Sorry, I lost my page. Oh, you're I good. I had brought up, and now it is forever gone. Um... stat thing okay um sorry ask your question again i'm so sorry um i rolled an eight do i add my strength mod to it or do i do that for the damage <coughs> add your strength mod okay uh <coughs> 10 cool god damn um what do i like to tell uh so you go towards you walk towards the uh chest and um you essentially um yeah i feel like she would do this you <laughs> you do one of those um things and then immediately slam your entire body down onto the chest and the chest breaks open 
Um, it is holographic as well still, so, but you do see it break open as an effect. It doesn't vanish completely. And as it breaks open, um, you move to see that there is a treasure um, sitting in the box. Um, so you successfully broke it open and got the treasure. Um, and if this were the sports festival, uh, you would have to, with Latch and Snatch, you would have to grab this treasure and bring it back to um, the basically like the safe haven that your team has, and that would add to your points in the game. Um, so, you were successful. Very good. Uh, we'll move on really quick I to... He <laughs> did it. To Aria. Um, and again, this is just a little bit of like a preparation thing for sports festival, so we won't mm -hmm. dwell too long, but yeah. I just wanted I to give you an idea, you know. Um, I think that she's going to try and block pick it. Block pick it? Okay. So, um... Give me uno momento. Uh, roll a d12 for me. Uh, that'll be a seven. <laughs> okay. Um, and then... We don't really have, like, a deception or anything like that. Um, I'll do, like, I'll do, do like dexterity, probably. Okay. Well, that's gonna be, uh, six. Okay. <laughs> um, Aria, you move forward... Um, with the lockpick in hand. And you put it inside the lock and you fiddle with it a couple times. Um, and you begin to hear things clicking. Um, like it, it is working and you are succeeding. But um, suddenly you... <laughs> Try to visualize. You lose your grip on the lockpick as the chest bursts open and oh, teeth no. and tongue come out. No! Um, and you guys are probably familiar um, with this being a mimic. Um, so, please prepare your prepare thyself for battle. Um, right now? Yep. For the next round? <laughs> right now. Okay, I'm just gonna I have the <laughs> other um, attacking things. You can Let's use battle. the same one if you want. Yeah, um, unless I want to try and charm the mimic. You can also do that. Totally um, okay. Um, I would uh, like to attempt to charm the mimic into not being mean to me. I'm just chilling. <laughs> All right. Um, can, you so roll, can you roll a d12 for me? <laughs> yeah, I can. Okay. That's a 10. <laughs> okay. Um, you cast your charm spell, and you watch. Frankly, with this mimic. <laughs> You grab out your loot, because I imagine you're doing it kind of in the, yeah. the bard way. Um, you grab out your loot, and you strum once, and you almost strum a specific um, little couple of notes. And as you do so, the music kind of, you see the mimic stop, and it, and it was like flailing around, as mimics do. It was like, rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you see it stop, and its mouth freezes for a moment. And then um, it kind of like starts to twitch, and then it vomits the treasure, and it falls oh. in front of the mimic. Oh! <laughs> and you succeed in charming oh, the mimic. Oh, Good hey. job! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Is she just gonna kind of scooch down and slowly slide the vomit? As you reach, as you reach for the treasure, it vanishes into a bunch of pickles. Pick, pickles. Yes. It vanishes into a bunch of pickles. <laughs> is it, the, is it the, the butter and whatever ones you get? Yeah, the ones I love. No, it vanishes into a bunch of pixels, and um, so does the mimic just afterwards. Does the vomit? So, yes, the vomit as well. Oh. Um, Arlo. Hi, good sir. <laughs> Arlo is like... He's just do being I have fucking for us. What a boys are soldiers too. Okay. <laughs> um. So Arlo, um, I will help Hi. you, and because I know that you, you haven't done D and D really, have you? I haven't D and D. Cool. So, um, Arlo, do you choose to pick the lock or use brute force? I'll use some force. Okay. <laughs> Can you roll a D twelve for me? 
Oh no! <laughs> I got a four. Oh no. Um, let me see. Do you have a strength modifier? No, you have a zero. Uh, no way. You have a yeah, zero for your for sure. strength modifier. Yeah, zero. Okay. Um, so, um, you move forwards, <laughs> and you go with essentially. You're like, I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kick it. Sure. And yeah. you step forward, and you pull back your leg, and you, with all the force you can muster, <laughs> kick this chest and it just doesn't move um you don't Thanks. dent it you don't crack it nothing happens um but within like three seconds of silence the chest bursts into a mimic and the teeth and the tongue come out and it starts <laughs> chomping I towards I ran. <laughs> I ran away uh okay <laughs> you potentially can use that as an option here um what's my other option if that's what you choose you can choose to attack it if you'd like to you have oh um God. you have called shot which would work um or yeah i think called shot would be your best option yeah i'll do called shot then okay um so can you roll a d12 for me yeah because <laughs> that went so well last time <laughs> Oh, yeah, so I got a two. <laughs> okay. Well, luckily your damage is an eight. You use a D8 for your damage. So, okay. um, let's see, you got a two. Oh. Well. <laughs> you don't, know, you just, uh, you go for it. Um, yeah. Is there a... Uh, do you have a preferred weapon of choice? You are a ranger, which I think typically they fight with, like, the bow and arrows. Um, but oh, That's sexy. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. I can either see that or, like, a giant rope. <laughs> a giant... Do you want one of those... You could get one of those, like... Um, what are they called? They're, like, the sticks, and then they have the chain with the giant spike ball on them. They're, like... Are they... Is it a mace? That, is that what they're called? A mace. Mm -hmm. Mace. Yeah. I think let's do bow and arrow. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, you command your bracelet, a bow and arrow, and a bow and arrow appears in your hands. Bow and arrow. <laughs> bow and arrow! Um, <laughs> and you pull up the bow and arrow, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you pull back, and you let go, and the arrow just goes... <laughs> okay, I can try again. I'm rusty! I know, I'm rusty. It it's falls to the floor, it's and, fine. um... Don't look at me. Because you miss... It's the Mimic's turn. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Since he was so nice to me. Because <laughs> he was so nice. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. What was mm. his Mimic's parents? <laughs> where is his? Where are his parents? Where are his parents? Give him a stern talking to. <laughs> Whose child is this? Wouldn't you I'm like to know whether water boy? boy. Where are I'm your supposed parents? To be the water people boy. also said a whip would be good. Oh, true. I could see I that. Think going with it. Oh, they do have those dear. like those like things that you can manipulate. Ooh, I like that actually. Yeah. Like put the rope on the end of the arrow and like do I, like little I rolled tricks. pretty They have that, but it's a little like it's a little like spike dagger thingy. And then you just like Whoa. Arlo be... Um cool. the <laughs> The mimic moves forward and um jumps at you. <laughs> Oh no. And his tongue essentially works as a whip. And it darts out. What? And it, it slaps you to the side. And you lose your footing and fall onto your um, onto your side. Your, your ribcage, <laughs> essentially. You got bitch slapped by a mimic tongue. Um, and he takes uh, 7 HP away from you. Um, Sick. Which takes you down to 13. But you don't have to adjust it or anything. It just aspect right would you sure. like to try called shot again yes okay. i would get your get your fucking get your avengers I avenge it. yourself got uh can I you got roll this. a d10 for me or d12 yeah. sorry d12 yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay i got an eight okay all right so um would you like to aim for the head the arms or the legs Essentially, on always. the mimic, the head would probably be like the top of the chest. Yeah, always aim for the um, head. 
That's what or Thor actually, said. with this case, probably in the mouth, because I feel like that would be their weakest point. Um, arms being like the sides of the chest, and Can legs I shoot being in the, mouth? the bottom. Yeah. Let's so go for it. Um, just shoot the tongue because it offended you. <laughs> yeah, that was really rude. So <laughs> I'll say bite your tongue, and then I'll. Because you rolled an eight, the target, <laughs> um, the mimic, it freezes, almost like paralyzed for a moment. And you see a line of drool just fall down its mouth, and it's completely frozen. Um, okay. Frozen to the point that it can't attack again. So nice. if you would like to roll another d12 to yeah, shoot at it, it again. Yeah, for sure. You got this. You got this. D12, you said? Yes. Nine! Nice. Okay, and then you also Nine. add... We also add your dexterity, so you got a ten. Which means... Um, Cloudy watching. <laughs> Cloudy watching? <laughs> yes, he is! So, um, I didn't say that. You didn't say that. Can I you roll a D8 for me, Arlo? This is scary. Your damage is a D8. You got fancy damage. I have four. Okay. So, um, normally a mimic would last a little bit longer, also, but because for the sake that these are practice mimics, um, sure. you pull back again with your arrow, and because the mimic is not moving at all, you have basically a perfect um, sight for the shot that you need, and you let go and the arrow flies immediately right into the Mimic's mouth Ooh, and um, gets kind of caught in there. And you yeah. watch the Mimic burst into pixels. Yeah. And then you see the treasure sitting there. Treasure. Good job, I I did know. it! You fucking right. did it! <laughs> um, Theron, you are next. Hey, I'm going to lockpick it, and I have a plus one for dexterity, so we got nice. this. Nice. All right. So, can you roll a d12 for me? <laughs> you got this. That is a nine! Damn. Which, which is a um, ten. So, you essentially put the lockpick in, and you fiddle around with expertise. Um... You adjust it a little bit, you move it up and down, you move it inwards and outwards until you hear the proper clicks and you watch the lock spring open, fall off of the chest, and you're able to open the chest and reach for the treasure, which, of course, when you do, vanishes into pixels. Good job, Darren. Um, Julian. That's like my one next. skill. <laughs> Literally. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to pick it. All right. A roll a d20 that for me. That is a 10. A 10? All right. Um, And then plus your dexterity. What's your dexterity? Nothing. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, well, um, Julian, you do the same. You walk forward. You insert the little lockpick into the lock. And you fiddle until you hear the right clicks. And watch as the lock springs off and falls to the floor. And your chest opens as well. Good nice. job, laddies. Um, we did it. We did it. Uh, so. We did it. Oh, oh no. Oh. He fell. Oh. There he goes. You did it and then you fell. Um, it's the excitement. <laughs> Adonis. <laughs> there he goes again. There he go again. Um, we're getting very close to the end now, just so you guys know. So, we have one more thing for you guys and then little end off things to end off the session, which I we're actually probably going to hit six hours because we're at five hours now because we had like an hour break so look at us fucking go um we're doing really good <laughs> we are doing great so time management skills Woo. hell yeah i'm getting better you know i'm getting better at like planning out the right amount i feel um mm -hmm. and we jumped through a lot yeah, of stuff on this one so um which yeah. is good <gasps> so <You> good <laughs> i jump scared uh, uh my scare. lamp fell Oh. My little T-Rex. He fell. Not so, a boy. Oh, that's bright. Hold on. Okay. Um, so, uh, Adonis uh, congratulates you all. He says, um, very good. And um, he moves around to you guys and he informs you that 
uh, him and the coach and the elf, um, Annalie, are going to be splitting you guys into groups of five, um, which, of course, means... How wonderful! Groups of five? Arlo, Andromeda, Theron, Julian, and Arya, you're all going to be what? pulled aside in a group of five. Sorry, water boy. <laughs> Arlo is just Practice in it right, right now. You're, you're just today. in it now. You're just here. I, I Listen, I'm going to get my position uh, force You will. Technically, you have it, but it's like, in case someone, I guess, gets uh, hurt in a way that can't be fixed within a moment. Um, Compromise. You've been promoted. Adonis drags you all off to the side. Um, he leads he you over us. to the. Um, he guides you guys over. Uh, <laughs> he leads you <laughs> over to the uh, track that surrounds the field. Um, and specifically the ones closest to the bleachers. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, like a track and field type thing where it's like the big field in the middle and the running track around it. Um, he pulls you guys over and, um, you can see that there are still a handful of people on the bleachers and, uh, Fennel is still sitting beneath the tree. He's, his head is perked up now and he's watching you guys as he sees your group, um, kind of pulled to the side because he sees Andromeda and Thera and recognizes you both. Um... And uh, Arthros is still sitting with her books, watching as your group gets called off to the side. Um, uh, Adonis turns to you all, and he says, um, oh, actually, specifically, can you guys roll for initiative again? Sorry. Might as well, to randomize the order so it's not any specific way. Uh, nat 20s or what? Or yes, D twenties. D twenties. I was like, "Did you get a nat twenty? Goddamn!" I yeah. can hope for a nat twenty, but we'll see. A one. A one. Oh my gosh! Buddy. I'm sorry, Eleven. buddy. Eleven. You got an eleven. Okay. That's Very a fourteen. Nice. Very okay, nice. And of the week. Oh, do I? Do we need to put it in chat? Um. Yeah, I got you, Darren. Okay. Andrew. Um. Uh. James, do you and me want to re-roll to see who goes first? Rogies. Yeah. Between the two of you? Yeah. Did you get, oh, okay. you guys have the same. Oh, I got a one. Oh! I got a ten. Oh, okay, oh. you go first. Okay. Julian, again. Julian will go before Arya, then. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Arya and... Um, uh, and Jordan, you literally got a, a net 20? before. That was the first time, time. Yeah. yeah. That was the first oh, okay. Time, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw a eleven. Never mind, we're good. Okay! Mm -hmm. Sounds Gucci. So, uh, Theron. Mm -hmm. That's actually what I had in my notes was, was that Theron went first for some reason. Um, oh, cool. So, Adonis, tur yeah, Adonis turns to you first, Theron, and he says, uh, Razgor, you're up first. Sure am. Um, and Arthur hears this from the bleachers, and you just hear, <laughs> you just hear, Go Raffles! <sighs> And then she, like, looks around for a second because some of the people on the bleachers yeah. like, turn to her and she's like, okay. Um, it's hard to I... tell with, like, Theron's black scales, but, like, they're, they're pink. They're noticeably <laughs> pink and Aww. red. Um, <laughs> did, our, did, did uh, the rest of us hear this? Yeah. I think, sure. I think everybody, sure. everybody heard this, oh, probably. You're yeah, all standing over. Just be like... <laughs> yeah. Like, like, just, just like... like... <laughs> um, so... Theron, you are pulled up or pulled out aside from the group, and the group, you guys are just kind of standing back watching. And Adonis speaks into his bracelet that he is also wearing, and um, as he does so, a course, an obstacle course, um, basically yes. like uh, flickers into existence before you guys in a sort of holographic yeah. model, um, but in a physical form, so you guys can touch and feel and everything with it. Um, everything. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks a lot like a military course would, almost like with the tall walls and like the um, ropes and things of that nature. It's not one of those inflatable balloon ones. It's not wipeout. It's close damn to it. it. Oh, but not it quite. Ice? Oh, damn. Um, like the barbed wire. And... I will say though yeah. that the actual Ball. sports festival might have something more like that because it's in an actual That's arena. Fun. So, 
Um, bit. This is like the scuffed up kind of like. This is the discount, uh, sports training <laughs> for the sports festival. Essentially, stuff. yeah, it's like the best they can do with the technology they have to train for the sports festival. Um, hmm. so, so cool. Yeah, so it looks a lot like a military course. It's got a series of walls, bridges, ropes, and intricate pathways. Um, let's go, so let's go, let's go, parkour, let's go. <laughs> uh, Farron, get your dice ready. Which um, ones? Your D twelve for me. Okay. And uh, it's been rolling well. You approach first the. Oh shit! Sorry, I adjusted oh. my. Um, <laughs> I minimized my screen and it moved all of you on the, on the stream, but I fixed it. Oh um, no! It's all good. It's all good. Oh, you're all back to to normal. Um, oh, okay, yeah, we're fine. Yeah. So the first obstacle is a wall to climb. Just a plain wall. Just a wall. Um, very much the ones like there's not really too much to grip on, but it's like one of the ones you have to jump and grab like, and then pull just, yourself on top of. Just claws um, it. Yeah. Also. Um, we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, can you roll a d12 for me? Yes. Okay. That is a 10. Nice. Is that, that's good enough. Yeah. Be good enough. So, is it plus dexterity or? Uh, strength for this one. Oh, I might. Well, let me check that. <laughs> okay, no, it's just zero. <laughs> okay. So then you roll a 10. Um, you lift your arms up and climb this wall without any issues. Um, you pull yourself on top of the platform, and once you are standing up there, you see that the course has now filled with water around you. Um, it's almost like you're in an invisible, like, tank, um, because the water does not carry out towards where the others are standing, but the water is below you and, and below the course itself holographic mm -hmm. water um okay. so if you are to fall now that you are higher up you will fall into water essentially oh um, okay that makes okay that makes sense yeah so it is like wipeout kind of kind of now or, it is kind of yeah <laughs> it's like brain ninja or something like oh, that. I whatever love that, that show is american yeah. ninja warrior yeah good shit that one good shit um the next course is a series of seesaw like bridges they curve to one side based on how much weight you put on them um, so it's basically one of those things you have to kind of run across really quickly because they go like this when you push down on them. Um, okay. Can you roll a d12 for me? Okay, uh, I'm going to use a different one because oh, it spice things up. <laughs> that's a 12! That's a nat 12! That's a nat 12! God damn! Um, we're, keeping, we're keeping this All one. Alright! <laughs> Theron, oh. you... Oh shit, I did it again. Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, you, I keep moving the screen. Um, oh. you breeze through the seesaw bridges. It, it barely, they barely even tilt as you run across them. Um, perfectly balanced. They curve to, uh, oh, sorry, lost my, lost my footing. Um, yeah, so they, they, they barely even budge. Barely even budge as you run across them, and suddenly you are on the, um, next platform. Um, give me one second to organize my... Let's go. This is a strong start. Let's, let's okay. keep this up, please. So the next one is uh, another wall that you have to uh, climb. Hmm. It is basically like a rock climbing wall. Um, so oh. it has like the little pegs for you to hold onto and put your feet onto, but it's a lot higher than the one that you had obviously pulled yourself over at the start. Um, but before you can tackle this wall, it suddenly begins getting extremely hot um you look up to see in the holographic kind of little thing that's for this obstacle course you look up to see a sun beaming down on you um you don't remember the sun being there before the sun has been in the behind the clouds basically all day today this is um, some mario type shit <laughs> and the sun the is sun? beaming down on you and you can feel the heat you can feel how hot it is um because you don't particularly have anything that keeps you impervious to heat, I suppose we could say. Um, mm -hmm. Your hands are now particularly sweaty. Um, they get very clammy as you go to approach the next wall. So, 
Can you roll a d12 with disadvantage for me, please? Disadvantage? Yes. What What does that mean? So you roll a d12 twice, and you take the lower okay. number. Okay. 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 You got this. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you for the dance, D. And yes. All right, we got it. You're getting like the cheerleaders. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the two numbers I just got were 12 and 11. Yes! Okay, so wait, 11. Can I, can I the best! best. Yes. You, when, when we started this round with you, they said, like, under his breath was like, um, they were like, um, what did you say? You said, oh, I've been rolling well so far. And I literally went on my own time and knocked on the wood of my desk. So that you were well. <laughs> I was so much. You did this. You did this. Truly. On my own time. <laughs> on my own time. On behalf of you. On behalf I, of I, myself. I, I, got I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got you. Yeah, babe. I got you. So, we go with the 11. Um, yes. and Which you, is also, it was this one. Oh, love. Um, you grab on to the rocks and you have barely a problem as you climb this. Um, your, your tail helps to balance you. It helps to like, uh, back and forth. yeah, it helps to like kind of keep your weight to one side so you don't fall backwards. And you climb up this wall, you climb like a little lizard man up this wall, um, <laughs> like Godzilla right now. <laughs> Um, with no problem, you climb up with absolute ease. Um, the next, uh, obstacle is a jump from one platform to another. However, you feel the sun immediately vanish. And oh. instead, the air grows bitterly cold. I'm gonna um, die. <laughs> it goes from blistering heat to a rough and biting cold. Cool air nipping at your skin and rendering your bones thick and making them feel motionless. So, uh, Theron- All that sweat just like freezed on my body, probably. <laughs> it's just of my frozen. Uh, Theron, you <laughs> feel stiff and stilted. Um, so please approach this one with disadvantage as well. Okay, I'm, I'm still using these two because- You got this. You got this, dude, you got this. You guys also did a little dance dance This is intense, this is intense. <laughs> You got this, you got this. Video of paradise. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Oh Haley, no. It's because you didn't dance. It's because you didn't dance. Sorry. My my <laughs> good roll was a 10, and that's beautiful, and my oh. bad roll was a 4. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So I, I, I died. I um, died because of the cold. Theron. Fair, is it? Unfortunately, Theron, as you move to run and climb or jump essentially um you get a running start you start moving your legs but the ice that has started to form on the platform below you is too slippery for your scaly feet and you feel all of your weight give out beneath you and you slide from the platform and just sploosh into the water below oh no i was doing <laughs> so well you got so far and um Bloosh. And I assume that you kind of make your way out of the water. And uh, it's kind of an odd thing of like a wall of water that like you climb out of and then immediately can stand. It's it's what? because it's a holographic kind of water. You're swimming. Freaking wild. But then you can just put your feet out and stand once you get out of the obstacle course like area. area. Yeah. Interesting. But you are dripping wet. Um, I am. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, <laughs> You... She's gonna like wring out his shirt and like close a little bit, <laughs> and there's just like. <laughs> um. So, uh, Theron, boy, he's like a sad wet cat that just. Adonis, uh, oh, Adonis smiles at you, and he's like, "Valiant effort, Theron," and um, he gestures towards the line, and you slink back in line next to the others. Um, <laughs> slink. <laughs> you slink. Uh, Andromeda, so well. you're next. Hello. Yay. Hello. Um, so, same thing. Uh, the first is a wall to climb. Just a plain wall. Uh, just roll a regular um, d12 with your strength modifier. That is an 8 plus 2, so that's 10. Nice. So, as it was for Theron, you climb that wall very easily. You give a little, like, push with your ankles, 
and you immediately just latch onto the wall and pull yourself up. And you are suddenly standing on the platform. Um, the next is the seesaw bridges. Um, and this is also just a regular roll. Um, and I think, did we do dexterity? I think we might have done dexterity for that one. Possibly. Otherwise, just, just roll your d12. It's a straight roll for me. Yeah. I'm straight. That's a six. I'm straight. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, um, okay. So you... Wait, wait, wait. What did you get? A six? Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I had plans for you. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> um, it's the roll of the dice. It really is. Um, gobble ghoul. Gobble ghoul. You start to walk on these seesaw like bridges, and because you are a tree and you're so used to being on sturdy, solid ground, um, when you walk on these seesaw bridges, you absolutely cannot grasp your footing. You are like toppling over to one side, toppling over to one side, and it's like a constant thing of this back and forth until you just plummet into the water below. Can I fall on... cute? Can I like... Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and you fall right as you land on the last seesaw bridge as well. So you're that close. Meaning if you rolled a seven, you would have made it. But Aww. yeah. So um, <laughs> you fall to the water below with a sploosh. Um, and as you climb out of... the water like... <laughs> <laughs> like super like hot. Like aerial, just like... <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god. Um, and as you do this, Adonis like looks at you and he's like, Well, you may you, you may have failed that one, but you did it with style. I fell, but then it was fun. That's the way to look at it. Can I go again? Or was that like a one time thing? Uh we're gonna move on to the others. Okay. Um this is something you guys can practice all week though. Um we're gonna have this obstacle course set up for you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I like falling, so that was quite fun. Okay. Good to hear. Bye, right. boss man. <laughs> um, and then, Julian, you are next. Julian. 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 Uh, can you roll a d12 for me, Julian? The uh, first course, of course, as you know, is a wall to climb. Just a plain wall. Oh, no. I got a one. Julia doesn't even try. <laughs> Y'all are fucking up my plans here. Oh okay, my god. Um, so I have to go again. Round two. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to. If you do want to, since you didn't even get over the first platform. If you do want to go again, we can. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. That okay, you guys I, think it's funny. I like it too. Like, oh, I oh, like it too. Oh, I can't climb it. Oh, oh. Um, I guess that's my try. Julian, you <laughs> approach the wall. And with your scientific mind, you kind of look at it for a second. You see how high it is. You think. With your scientific mind. You narrow your eyes at it. You shake your head. And you just get back in line. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Arlo, would you like to uh, continue from that performance? <laughs> it's well, actually my turn, Bob. Oh, is it your turn? Okay, okay. I thought I read Arlo, yeah. sorry. Okay. D12? Yes, D12. Okay. Arya, would you That's like 11. to up that performance? <laughs> 11, okay. Yeah. Arya, you take that first wall without a problem. Um, you are very tall, and you have very sturdy feet as well. Um, True. Also considering you are wearing your platform boots still, um, for some oh, ungodly yeah. reason in your workout outfit. Um <laughs> You, they help you quite a bit because they give you some extra height, and um, you you just climb that wall like it's no problem. Um, Technically, it was a ten because we added a strength. Oh, valid. I got a, I have a minus one. Oh, that's it's still okay. you still pass. Um, the next course, of course, is the seesaw bridges, um, and that is an, also a regular roll. Okay. D20. Nothing added or subtracted or anything. I didn't add anything to uh, Andromeda or. Theron, I don't think so. Okay, let's go, boys. That is a... It's on an angle, but I think it's an eye, technically. Because it's the one with the 
little body. Is that the bottom? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Yes. That's um, so this one uh, proves to be a bit more difficult. Um, you kind of go um, at it very, very quickly. And because of the boots, they kind of inhibit you a little bit and you feel like your ankle almost given at one point and you wiggle a little bit. But you eventually catch your balance and you start to make your way um, past them with a little bit more agility and you cross onto the next platform. Mm -hmm. Um, Which is when the sun arrives again, that little bitch. Um, It comes out, it's extremely hot and you feel it burning against your skin. And the same as um, Theron, you feel your palms start to get kind of clammy and sweaty and you feel like sweat on your back and your neck and you you just feel uncomfy. Um, If you could roll a d12 with disadvantage for the rock climbing wall. Okay. (laughs) I'm really curious to see who gets the farthest. It's looking like uh, Theron is in ahead right now, but we'll see where Arya goes. Julian. That is an 11 and a 12. Yes, same as Theron. <laughs> All right, so um, you don't let this bother you. You uh, use your platforms. They, they, they're they coming in handy for you right now. You use your platforms to stir yourself on these rocks, and you climb pretty quickly and don't think about the sweat that is clinging to your hands as you grip onto these rocks, and you just fucking Spider-Man your way up there. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is when the world goes cold around you you feel the air start to go frigid you feel the sweat on you start to freeze you feel your skin and you also take a little emotional damage with this one as you are very aware of um, and because your head is going through something as well as your body uh, please roll with disadvantage for V jump from one platform to another thanks for that bub really you're welcome appreciated that one. oh of course anytime that was <laughs> really nice of you anytime to throw okay. in a little bit of trauma don't worry about it okay <laughs> okay that is a four i'm so excited we're making record time i'm so proud of myself okay uh oh yeah i got a six and a four. Oh. so all right so yeah. um <laughs> Wow. Okay. So you, um, what did Theron Gollum get? You did, did Theron get a four too? I think so. Or was it lower than that? I couldn't remember. I thought he got, it was either, a, I think it was a four. Yeah. It was either a three or a four. But I think so a, the similar yeah, thing Yeah, my happens, good one was a 10 and my low one was a four. Okay. So also a The four. same thing happens to you, Arya. You completely lose your footing on the floor and- It's very slippery. Yeah. Truly. And because your head was so distracted with just that cold feeling in your veins and in your bones again, you absolutely cannot focus and you feel yourself lose your footing and you slide into the water below. Um. <laughs> I don't um, like that. I'm sorry. What <laughs> kind of a, uh, a drop was it? Just for, just for Oh, yeah. She's sh- not a fan of heights, right? A, um, a drop I'm, like, I'm trying to figure out, wait, so why is this group, why is this person in the wing group? They don't <laughs> got wings, and why are they so upset about the cold? What's, that's an what's interesting question, like, <laughs> water boy. That's water a great like, question. Here. What did you like to know, water boy? What's cold about means it. what's not one? What, no cold, we hate it. Is yeah. it because <laughs> no I cold, it nooks, we hate maybe it. They're, maybe they're a penguin instead? <laughs> they have bad memories of being a penguin. But if you're a penguin, <laughs> we maybe it's not that they lived in the cold, but they like, were tra- somebody traumatized, tortured them with cold. What if they were locked in, in like a like igloo? Cubes. Damn, all these thoughts. <laughs> locked in an igloo? Who knows? How about like a like a, like a or something? <laughs> really Anyways, bad posting experience. I'm really glad we decided there. to drop that little tidbit for them to start thinking about. Yeah. Um We've got so a lot of tidbits for you today. I'm I'm interested, intrigued, compelled. Uh, did we figure out how far the drop was? Yes. So it's think of it years. very similar to how like Wipeout and those kind of shows are. So it's it's a bit okay, of a drop. Cool. It's a bit of a drop. It's not like enough, enough of a drop. Is the water no, cold? Enough of a drop. Uh, it's like lukewarm. Lukewarm okay. water. It ain't dangerous, but it's traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> really. 
It's emotional damage. Oh, my buddy. Um, is just gonna, like, shakily, like, walk out of the water. Out. And kind of, not even, like, bother, like, like, trying to dry herself off. She's just gonna just walk. She just walks the sopping the wet back over to the yeah. line. <laughs> She's back to the very end of the line. Oh. Just, like. From there, we go to Arlo. Poor little baby. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Shall I roll something? Can you, you got roll, this, Arlo. Can you roll a d12 I, for me? Do I? Yeah, you got this. Uh, I knock on wood for you. Second, sorry, on my own time, I knock on wood for you. <laughs> me too. You know, I got a five. <laughs> oh. Less of one to start over. Okay. Arlo. You Hi. approach the wall. Oh, what's your strength? It is... What's your strength modifier? What's your plus? Oh, a zero. Um, a zero. So, okay. Yeah. Wait, All we right. do this. We do this. <laughs> I was hopeful for a second. Um, so, um, Arlo, you approach the wall. Um, you look at it. You look it up and down. And you make a jump for it. And your hands touch the top, but you're just kind of left like with your feet kicking, and you don't know you don't know how to She's use your like force. a fish. Yeah, <laughs> like a fish out of water. You're hanging Dramatic. there. You're flipping your feet back and forth, trying to kind of climb your way up, but you just can't find the body strength to pull yourself up, and you just let yourself drop back down. And, this is um, why I'm the water boy. And Adonis looks at you, and he's like. Valiant effort. We may never speak of this again. <laughs> um, and with that, that's a little bit of the um, obstacle type. You guys are so good at it. Stuff. Uh, well, well <laughs> there were there was a couple more obstacles for you guys that you didn't get to. That was um, a lot of good rolls in a row. That's true. We I mean, it could be our turn again. Yeah, like, let's go round two. <laughs> I um I actually had some really interesting things that were going to be tied kind of to your character. So like um, Andromeda, if you had made it to when it was really hot, you would have used that to your advantage, and you would have rolled with advantage because Aww. you would have photosynthesized. Um, Arlo, um, what? Your sorry, uh, where was it that I? Let's Under see. The Oh, uh, Arlo, the, when it got really hot, it would have been difficult for you because your skin would have dried out quite a bit. Oh, that would have been so you would have really felt the rope really sore on your hands and, like, rough. And it would hurt. Um, oh, Vey is being attacked by Gringar again. <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> your microphone! I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, oh. It's totally okay. Oh, no, it's because my fine. phone was too. It's funny. That's it what it is. It just microphone. stopped. It just stopped. That's wild. That's so funny. If I put my phone too close, it does that. Okay. That's wild. But a funny tidbit: my phone has Gengar on it. So it's also <laughs> funny. There you go. He's angry. Um, it's true. Uh, the cold obviously would have made um, Andromeda. The cold would have made you feel really stiff because, as a tree, you would have just felt really stiff and. Um, mm. Uh, it would have been really difficult for you guys. There was a, a rope climb at the end, and it would have rained. So it would have made that really difficult for you guys as well. Um, and there were a couple where Julian, like, would have just had regular rolls rather than any disadvantage or advantage because um, he's not, like, he doesn't have any specific creature attributes to him. Um, like you guys being tree or fish or, you know. Um, so I stopped myself. Um, I thought you were about to say it. I was like... I didn't oh. say it. I was actually considering uh, Theron, but then the word dragon just left my head. Um, Valid. As it should, because it's not a dragon. It's a dragonborn. <laughs> dragonborn. You hesitated because it's not a dragon. <laughs> you knew. I You're knew. right. No. You're fucking right. That's what it was. Cool. I knew better. Um, <laughs> so, um, I also had a moment for you, Arlo, because... If you had fallen into the water, that would have definitely been an interesting thing, as we've talked about. Um, yeah. I didn't <laughs> even get that far. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Um, so 
So we get a practice. We'll save that for the week? sports oh, festival. Yay. <laughs> um, Yay. So uh, you guys well, practice a little bit more. Um, I you maybe swim. you you might use a little bit more of the practice to. <laughs> I can't swim. Uh, I can't swim. Use yeah, a little yeah, bit more yeah, of the I practice to kind of to summon some more enemies forward. and stuff. Oh. Um, kind of just using the rest of practice to prepare, essentially. Um, and eventually the centaur kind of, uh, rounds you guys up and, um, oh, after, after this obstacle course, when you guys have all done your thing, um, he speaks into his bracelet and tells the obstacle course to vanish. And as it vanishes, Arya and Theron, um, and Andromeda, you feel your clothing and everything instantly dry. Um, almost like it just vaporizes in pixels. Um, (laughs) Uh, and he turns to you all and he says, uh, good job. Um, all of your skills benefit you in different ways. Uh, and it's important to use your potential and what makes you different to succeed. Um, unfortunately, phase three isn't as simple to train for, but continue practicing both these scenarios and, uh, for phase one and two. And the best, that's the best preparation you, you can have really. Um, coach gut, Anna and myself, We'll set up the obstacle courses in the chests around the field if you'd like to continue honing your skills. Um, you guys are going to be great assets to the team. I can already tell. And he smiles at all of you. And then um, he kind of gestures towards back towards the field. And I assume practice kind of continues this way. Um, a lot of repetition with um, the training routines. And um, since we won't obviously go into all that again, but um, I imagine you all were facing off against more of the mimics, maybe practicing your lock picking skills, maybe practicing just in general. Um, maybe you gave the obstacle course another go, a more simple one this time um, that they've set up on the other side of the field. Um, and just as like a side note for your characters, um, how do you all feel about these training routines? How do you feel care in character wise? Like how does your character feel about these challenges essentially? Um, we can start. I'll start with the way that I see you, Aria, if you'd like. Just because I'm curious as DM also. <laughs> In character? How our characters how do your char- How does your character feel about the training courses and just this process in general with the f- sports festival? Or the sports festival in ger- general, I assume, mm. I guess. Well, Aria was very anxious about the sports festival um, for, uh, I think, of a bunch of reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, she's not used to violence. And I think that the moment with um, helping out um, Theron kind of shocked her a wee bit. Um, and then plus the whole conversation with Zophiel and whoever the fuck. Um, Beacon. Beacon. Th- th- this watching over now. Um, <laughs> um, but I think that. You're, you're a stalker, honestly. It, Okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. Not that serious. Not that serious. Sorry. I don't mind it, but like, okay. <laughs> no, no. Um, um, but yeah, I think it's just it's just a it's a learning curve, mm-hmm. given they're not used to using um their like magic or at least the stuff that they've been their um spells in a way that's against others. It's more supporting. So valid. Andromeda, how's Andromeda feeling about the whole thing? Um, she is actually surprised with herself how easy the uh, fight is coming mm-hmm. to her, how easy she is, like, you know, using her strength and everything, because she's never <laughs> really had to use her strength like that before. Valid. And she is quite enjoying using her strength, although she did not enjoy the rats. She did, she quite enjoyed the cube because it was cool. <laughs> um, Delanious cube. And she likes being with her friends. And being alongside them as they figure out these different tasks because it feels fun to her. Um, obstacle course is very fun. She likes it. She <laughs> likes climbing and she likes falling. Right. Um, so she's having fun with that. Um, she doesn't feel too scared or anxious. She's more like, oh, fun game. We're going to do a fun game now. I love so, that. Yeah. Okay. Arlo, do you feel a specific way with the idea I of think- possibly <laughs> being a competitor, competitor and a water boy? I think Arlo feels like a little like left field, a little Valid. jarred <laughs> out of <laughs> place. He didn't sign up for this. I think he feels a lot of comfort in doing what he knows that he's good at and can do, which is helping others. And so being put on the spot 
to do something that's more a test of his own strength, especially physically, is like really scary to him. Mm-hmm. Um, especially because he can't swim. It's not that <laughs> scary. That's Valid. just like a terrifying thing. Um, yeah, I think that he does still feel like he can make like he it's he's comedic about it and like he's trying his best and his friends are there so he doesn't he's not too pressed about it but he's definitely like not comfortable <laughs> valid so valid yeah thank you uh yeah theron how are you feeling about it oh i put it in chat but he took oh. the obstacle course personally <laughs> um he's, he's being he's taking it a little bit seriously and very competitive and he's like I should be better at this than I currently am. So he's, like, disappointed that he's lost some of his skills, maybe. But he feels a little bit rusty in, like, combat and, like, you know, the obstacle course. So he's eager to keep practicing this week and, like, get those skills back, I guess. Valid. Love that for him. Julian. How is Julian feeling about the Uh... sports festival and everything in general with it? Don't know. I don't know Valid. how he's feeling. Valid. <laughs> does he feel like? How did he feel about the obstacle course? Was that just something that he was kind of like, you know, not my method of um, competition? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. More so, more so <laughs> in the magic department, I assume. Um. So valid. So valid. I just wanted a little like mental look into kind of how your characters were vibing with it because it's very different from what we've been doing. So I wanted to kind of go down that route a little bit. Um, So, of course, your practice inevitably comes to an end eventually. Um, You've all had a pretty successful day. I imagine you're all feeling pretty tired at this point. Kind of just eager to probably get back to your room and take it easy for the most part. Um, Maybe some of you are anxious um, for more practice. Maybe some of you are excited. Maybe some of you just really want to get better, almost. It's like that exciting feeling of being able to improve um, and knowing that you can improve. Um, And uh, basically all I have left for you guys is a little night thing to close off um, and a little uh, ending excerpt, essentially, um, if you guys are good with that. so, uh, that night, Arya, um, Ku and you walk back towards your dorm together. Um, but before you guys are, uh, or just as you guys are leaving, essentially, um, Zophiel, um, comes up behind you, and he, he taps you on the shoulder. Um, for a moment as you're starting to walk away. I imagine you've all kind of said your goodbyes to one another, to your friends, essentially. And um, he comes up behind you, taps you on the shoulder. Um, what do you do? Um, she, if she feels the tap on her shoulder, she's probably just going to... Valid. Oh, <laughs> and she turns hello. around, I assume? Yeah. Um, um, hi. Yeah. He's just looking at you, frowning for a moment, and he says... Um, hello. I just wanted to ask you a question before you retreat to your quarters. Right. Um, And she's just going to kind of like look at Ku and just like, uh, ask away. He nods and he says, um, are you, um, are you a varial? Um, sorry, no, that's what he is, correct? Uh, no. The type of winged uh, elf, essentially. Uh, Sorry, let's throw that out there. No, no thank you, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, no, I'm not. He looks at you, and um, he kind of nods, and you see him, for the first time, looking sad um, and disappointed. His shoulders kind of slump for a moment, and you can see his wings almost slump as well. Um, and he nods quickly and he says, right, sorry for, um, interrupting your retreat. No, no, you're fine, Sophia. Um, you're fine. It's Um, okay. Don't, don't do that. 
And he moves to kind of turn to walk away, but then he stops. And he turns again. And he turns back to you, and he says, um, should you like to speak with someone in regards to your situation, I would be amenable. I thank you for your kindness in that regard. Um, and hey, if, if you'd like to talk, talk about other things too, that's perfectly fine. I just don't have, I don't have much of a situation to talk about. So, um, yeah. Uh, I quite think that everyone has a story. And so should you like to share your story with me, I will read it with enthusiasm. Ah, well, I appreciate you in that way. Um, I'm not a very good storyteller in that regard, but uh, if I ever find the words that I'm looking for, I'll, I'll let you know. Neither am I. I've been told my stories are always pretty dry. But I... We can maybe um, compare stories, or more so share equally, should you like to. Right. Um, I am always here to listen, Sophia, so. It's just that, that I haven't found anyone that I can <clears throat> talk to about things like this. Mm -hmm. who would understand. Um, right. I mean, I don't know exactly if I'll understand in the way that you think I may, but I I'm think always I here will. to listen. You think you will that I will understand in the yes. way that you think I will? I, All right. I have witnessed things in my in where I come from and mm -hmm. all kinds of things and I have seen loss great loss and should you need to speak of this then I as I've said will listen Arya's just gonna kind of like look up like look in his eyes for like probably the first time for this whole conversation and she's just gonna kind of like, they're very like blue. rub her hands. <laughs> they're very blue. <laughs> she's just gonna kind of like rub her hands on her um, legs for a second and just kind of like put her hand like on his shoulder and just like, thank you. Um, I'll keep that in mind. And she's just gonna kind of like tap the side of like his head right here and then like he Turn. nods slowly, and it kind of takes him aback for a moment as he, he like, is just kind of shocked by it. Um, but then he kind of takes a deep sigh, almost like it was nice to have that physical like um, comfort, affection. essentially affection. Um, and he nods his head and he says, "Um, yes, uh, right. I will let Hi. you continue in your retreat." The man on well, uh, the speaker speaks soon, so. Um, yeah, they, they, Claude usually tends to do that. You do know it's Claude, right? I'm not aware of what a Claude is. Oh, um, it's that, it, it, the man with the, with the legs, the Sega, blonde hair, dreamy eyes, you know, he's usually everywhere. Um, that's Claude. How can he be everywhere if he is in the intercom? He's not always in the intercom, darling. That's his voice. His voice is only in the intercom. So the actual Claude does not speak? No, he does. He also speaks. Uh, right. That's just a gesture. So he, of he has two voices. No. He uses his voice that his body has. And he puts it through like a um, speaker that amplifies his voice throughout the whole school. But it's still his voice. It's a sort of magic? Sure. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to go kill more holographic enemies. Um, are you sure you don't want to go get some sleep? No. You're not sure you don't want to get some sleep? Or no, you don't want sleep? No, I'm quite comfortable with, um, 
murdering things. Yeah, okay. I think that might be something we may want to talk about a little bit, if you're comfortable talking about. Um, by the way, I don't know if you've met my roommate. This is Koo. Uh, Koo is very, very kind. He's, he's a wonderful um, friend, and he's a very good listener. So He, like, looks him up and down for a moment, and then nods and says, um, okay. He, um, he's in the know. I see. Right. <laughs> I just heard a D go, what? <laughs> um, that was my exact reaction. What? Excuse? Uh, no. Zofia old nods and says, right. At, at, at least about, about, about me, obviously. Okay. I'm sorry, that was weird, wasn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna go. Good night. Um, please be uh, careful murdering all those things. I do remember them saying that it could hurt you back, and I don't want to see that. Oh, it's all right. I've killed possibly twenty or more uh, squid maggots today. So. Okay, that's correct. But also, please, you must be gentle on yourself. We're not in an actual, you know, battle stations. You know, so. Yes, I I know that. Or he's gonna kind of just look him up and down and just. Okay. Um, Zephyr. I'm beginning to think that perhaps I miss it. And he narrows his eyes to himself and then turns around and goes to move to walk away. <laughs> Good night. He keeps walking. <laughs> and are you know, just he, turn? he turns over his shoulder and he says, "The night is fine," and then keeps walking. We'll try and make it good. He keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> are just gonna kind of turn to Koo and just like take his arm and just like? Do you you see it too, right? Like I'm not going crazy. I'm not the awkward one, right? Am I going crazy? Um, Ku is like, what exactly is he miss? Does he miss? I wouldn't tell you, truthfully. Um, Everything made happen- sense until that moment. Did it? It made sense? Yes. Alright, you're gonna have to catch me up later. I feel um, like he kind of is the common sense type. I mean, you're right there, I guess. Yeah. Maybe not right. common sense, but sense. Sense. But not common. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Shall we go? <laughs> yes. And he smiles right. and his teeth show. And then um, you guys walk back to your dorm together. Um, Can I ask something very quickly? Yeah! Um, just before they go to bed, yes. Arya, um, after they like get ready and everything, Arya's gonna um, kind of like sit on the bed, um, and she's just gonna kind of start like looking at all of like the sewing that she's been doing, and she's just gonna like push it all off of her bed onto the side and grab her loop. Mm. Um, and she, sorry, let me make sure. Yes. Okay, so she is going um, to play. Wow. Because I'm assuming Koo's going to start reading. Yes. Um, she is going to start playing rule number four. Oh, cute. Before she goes to bed. Oh! So. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure um, maybe after session you can share the song with everyone if they if you're comfortable with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I love that. Oh, I can't wait for that. Um, anyways, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, okay. And then we go to Arlo. Um, Arlo, uh, as you are leaving the gymnasium <laughs> that, oh uh, after practice and stuff, um, Nari is alongside you and, um, Love you're her. both kind of walking back towards your dormitories, but just as you're leaving the gymnasium, um, Claude, uh, runs after you. You hear his little awesome. clip clops. Um, I love it. And he shows up at your side and he asks if it's all right if he walks you back to your dormitory. I'd prefer it. 
Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> as you say yes, um, Nari, like, takes a uh, note of this. And she kind of says, um, I'm going to take the long way back to the dorm. I'll see you guys <sighs> soon. And she <laughs> she winks she at you, Arlo. <laughs> obvious. She winks at you, Arlo, and she uh, kind of, like, does a little, like, and then starts walking in the opposite direction. I'm like, I'm like, she likes her space. <laughs> <laughs> um, Claude just is like, oh, yeah, she, she, seems, uh, she seems cool. She's super cool. She yeah. She's very, like, independent and oh like i could kill you at any moment but like there's oh. a safety that lies within that kind of oh, okay and you're like in that safety zone i think so okay cool okay, i shake yeah. it every day to make sure i mean I, I like did i did notice that like she's like you know a cat nice and you're a, a fish <laughs> yeah that yeah. was one of the first things i noticed as well i mean i'm also a goat so i don't know what that pertains for our relationship or fish friendship our goat. friendship i don't know if fish i don't think i've ever read a story about a fish and a goat yeah they probably don't interact much right well what do they do now so <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh anyways i will walk you back <laughs> to your uh, to your to your, to your dorm <laughs> that was so soft what the fuck um <laughs> um he walks you back oh, funny. to your dormitory uh-huh. i assume you guys kind of are making casual conversation um sure. he shows you his arm um where he was cut and he shows you that it's still Healed. There's nothing there. There's no Good. markings or anything. No scar. Nothing weird. like that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It was weird, um, but cool. I've never done, yeah, I've never done anything like that before. Was, I don't even know if I did. You mean you might have? You might have healing I've, powers with me. Maybe yourself. I did. I just, it. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you continue to walk, and um, he uh, opens the door as the, obviously, the house advisor. He opens the Aquafin mm-hmm. dormitory with his thing, and he holds the door open for you, um, with Thank his you. chivalry. Um, and then he walks with you to your dorm, and, um, he kind of stands a little awkwardly outside, um, and he lets you open your door. And, um, he kind of, uh, fumbles a little bit, and he's, like, looking, and he's like, Arlo, uh, I had a question yeah. for you, potential hypothetical. Sure. Okay. Do you want me to ask it right now? I, that would be great. Okay. You cool. Totally do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. So. Yeah. Uh. Are you Are you going to the to the ball? Uh. Yes, I am. Actually, Arya is making my outfit. Oh, cool. Uh. Awesome. That's awesome. Um. Are you going to the? Yeah. I mean, either way. I have to go because I'm like house advisor, you know. Right. Um, so but like, you, I would go to, like, either way. The whole night? Can no, you hang out? no, it's like a fun thing. There might be times when oh, like so- I have to, I have to watch the punch and make sure no one spikes it, you know. But like, oh, yeah. aside from that, like I, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm going and have a good time. So, I, um, I'm going and have a good time. It's my plan as well. Oh yeah, I mean, I hope it's a good time, right? So yeah, yeah. Um, we should yeah. go together. I was gonna suggest that actually. Um, you know, it can be as it, can, it doesn't have to be anything serious. We can just go as friends if you want. Um, okay, so then Arlo um, stops him from muttering and then kisses him on the cheek really quick, and it, <laughs> it says that would be amazing. Uh, uh, he like his brows are raised, his eyes are wide, and he's like, yeah, um. Okay, cool. So I, I, uh, do, do you want me was to? Was that totally weird? Should I not have done that? No, that was, that, that was so great. Weird. No, that I'm was great. So I've been, I've been thinking about. I mean, no, I no, that was awesome. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was epic. That like, was, you know, was you epic. never know. You misread situations. You it know was, what I mean? it would no, what it was a, it was, was it was a rad thing for you to do and Sick, a man. really <laughs> fitting moment. I think. Me too. Yeah. Sick. Okay, cool. Then yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, so yeah. I will see you around, and I will um, stop and say hi when you see me. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> okay. maybe shoot you a couple messages if that's cool with you. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for the for for the 
um, <laughs> suggestion and and the uh, acceptance and the, <laughs> the the cheek kiss. That was great. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Yeah, me too. So I'm going to head to bed. Down all the right. hall? Just down the hall. Good luck with your, you know. If you need anything, down the hall. Sure. All right. I'll be here. Okay, cool. Down the other side of the hall. Great. That's awesome. Okay. So, so yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll so see cool. you then. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay. And he, like, <laughs> turns immediately on his hoof and just, like, kind of, like, kicks the air for a minute. Like, I, yeah. And then <laughs> walks <laughs> towards his door. <laughs> <laughs> is Nari not in there? Did she actually take the long way back, or am I going to go into an empty room? No, she's in there. <laughs> oh, like, I, so he's like, yeah, 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 and he's like, shuffles into the door, and then like practically falls in. Um, um, do you do like the thing where you like close the door and then put your back to it, close your eyes for a moment? Um, or do you do the thing where you like your face? Are you facing the door? or Are you facing away from the door? I think I come in, but I have so much energy from that that like, it can't be that calm. It has to be like valid. I'm coming in and like I just like I Nari like immediately and I like okay. Did you hear any of that? Uh, Nari looks at you and says, "Um, I am a cat. I have good ears. So yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. All right. Yes, I think so. He was speechless okay. for like a good thirty seconds. It sounded like. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And I've been told rendering people speechless is always like a good thing when it comes to you know. The romance. Yeah, and I'm usually the speechless one, so it's kind of nice to for a change, you know what I That's mean? That's amazing. You're doing great, yeah. Arlo. Oh, thanks. thanks. You're welcome. I only hope I found a, I find a lady as great as Claude. Oh, you deserve that so much. Thank you. I'll be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. I'll look out for you, too. We'll be like a little team, a little tag team. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... I guess from there, you guys slowly kind of head Bonk. to bed. Bonk. Clonk out. Arlo's probably exhausted from all that water giving. That was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and probably more exhausted from that interaction. Yeah. All right. The way that Dee and Jazz were just literally- That was the funniest you. thing. I was so hard not to <laughs> I just know. like- I know. I had to keep staring. I had to just try to like exist and we're all moment. freaking out. I had to that stare. So I went from staring at myself to staring at you to staring at myself to staring at you because I was like, I can't look at them all laugh. <laughs> <laughs> just like the um, motion of like- so I need a cigarette after that. I, I do need a cigarette, need a cigarette after, after that. that. <laughs> that was very um, cute. I love we're that. almost finished. That was finished. awesome. That was so adorable. Um, oh, that was so cute. Theron, we're gonna jump to you. Um, Arthros, of course, climbs off the bleachers um, and walks by your side back to the dormitory. Um, she walks with you, she's carrying her books, um, and she's smiling kind of shyly. Um, and she kind of turns to you um, while you guys are walking, and she asks um, how you felt the sports festival went, um, the practice. Um, how you're feeling, if you're scared or excited or nervous. Um, they kind of, you guys kind of chat as you walk. Um, and, um, she turns to you at one point and, uh, oh, sorry. I, I gave you that in exposition, but I wanted to actually, like, make her ask you. Um, so as you guys are walking, she, uh, turns to you and she kind of says, um, so how did, um, how did everything go? Successful? Unsuccessful, mediocre, right? I know many words. Yeah, it's uh, impressive, but thank you. Um, it could have gone better. Oh. Uh, I'm a little rusty, but uh, it didn't it was, look it like it. Nice. Well, thank you. You're welcome. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get better throughout the week. I'm sure. Get oh, back into the swing of I things. think I think you're doing great, but it is very commendable that you wish to better yourself. Um. There's always room for improvement, but I think that you are doing great just as you are, so long as you are trying your best. Oh, I, I appreciate that. Yes. Uh, did you did you enjoy? Like, did you have a good time? I, I feel like it must have been a little bit boring, but hopefully no. you had stuff to um, keep you occupied. Yes, I wrote and read a lot. Um, it wasn't nice. boring, not at all. Um, I mostly just watched you. And then um, sometimes I thought about my family. A little bit. Um, which wasn't, of course, the best. 
Uh, it was a bit. Those were the those were the intrusive thoughts, uh, to say mm. the least. And then, and then I went back to thoughts of you, and then that was better. Well, that's good. Um, yes. I'm glad I could have been some sort of comfort. Mm. But if you ever do want to dispel the intrusive thoughts or to discuss them to get them out, then I am available for that. Oh. If you wish. Um. Yes. I uh, I wasn't anything too entirely um, complex. I, simply that um, my family has always been extremely competitive. Um, oh. So competition rubs me the wrong way a bit, if you know what I mean. Um, hmm. th that's why I didn't sign up. Um, and um, I don't know. I have siblings, and they were always, or had, past tense? I'm not sure. Um, but I had siblings, and they were they were constantly at odds with one another. So, um, always challenging one another to think to things and fighting over things, and it just wasn't something that I liked to partake in. That sounds exhausting. So, yes, it was. Probably put I, a lot of pressure on you. Yes. Well, I I tried to use my books as an escape, um, but if my mother found them anywhere around the house, she would throw them away. So, I... That's horrible. Started to read elsewhere. That's smart. Mm -hmm. Keep them safe. Yes. But, I'm sorry, that, that sounds like a terrible environment to live in. Yes, I suppose it was. In comparison to how I live now, definitely. Yeah, that sounds like an upgrade. You can keep all the books you ever could want. Yes, I like Nobody it. will do anything to them. That's why I like it here. That makes sense. And I do not wish to return. No, I, I, from what little I've heard, I think it's probably a good idea to never return. Yes, to me that. too. But I suppose there's but, other I mean, places I could try before. I... Yeah, there's all, there are always like new places and new experiences and better, better places than that, I'm sure. Aria Better told me to too. keep an open mind, so that's what I'm trying to do. Mm. I, I think that's pretty good advice. Yes. Me too. I mean, this place is nice, but in my experience, there are, in fact, definitely better places. Oh. But, um, I suppose I just have yet to find them. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I mean, that's kind of exciting, though. You can look forward to it. Yes. I just don't want to go anywhere well where there's restrictions or rules or, I guess per se, things that are required of me that I don't want to do. That's entirely reasonable. Hmm. One of the greatest things in life that we have is freedom and the ability to do what we want when we want to. That's something I value a lot in life and I will always seek that out. So. Yes, I noticed you were trying to, to teach Zophiel that. I can only hope that it impacts him somehow. He doesn't seem to understand the concept, or perhaps he hasn't experienced it before. But I hope, I hope he learns through time. He's quite, um... Rigid. That feels like a yeah. good describing word. I think... If I had to guess, I think he probably hasn't experienced much freedom in his life. Yes, um, almost as though there is a giant rod up his ass, and it is keeping him from experiencing what he wants. And maybe that rod is past events. That's Just a like delightful me. analogy for metaphor. The rod in my ass is my family. Oh, you also have a rod in your ass. Well, when you put it that way, that sounds a bit grotesque. I, I, I'm just repeating what you said. Yes, well... <laughs> if you don't want it there. No, I don't want it there. Well... <laughs> At least not that particular rod. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can work on removing that one and maybe replacing it with a... <laughs> A better one. <laughs> divorce, babe. Divorce. 
That sounds great, Raffles. I appreciate um, your valiant effort to want to help yeah. me with that. And I, I appreciate your cheering earlier. That was very motivational. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why does everyone look like they're tired of life? <laughs> <laughs> everyone looks like we said something I awful. <laughs> Planning on putting a different rod that is not her family problems up I had her to, ass. I had to sorry. take a walk after that one. I'm sorry, guys. I had to take a walk. Says the person who said who said had, okay? about coming into a room earlier. Okay. Sometimes I can dish it out, room. but I can't take it back. That's one of my fatal flaws. <laughs> I love it. Um, oh my gosh, you and, you did this, Bob. You started this. At, to be fair, it was a metaphor. Um, at this point, you guys, um, are just, (laughs) you're just about to kind of, you're walking up to the room at this point. Um, you've kind of, she went about unlocking the dormitory door while you guys are talking and, um, you're just waiting outside of the dormitory door now. Um, and she's standing there patiently waiting. Um, I assume you're going to open it. I assume you were pulling out your phone or she can as well. She has her phone out. So for her, wherever I go. Okay. Um, okay. And, uh. You guys shuffle in, and um, uh, she closes the door behind you guys, and she kind of turns to you and she says, um, Well, um, I was considering, perhaps, um, taking a bath and then yes. reading. I was going to take a shower. Oh. I got drenched earlier. We're like it twins, but not miserable. the identical ones, because you're taking a shower and I'm taking a bath. Yeah, fraternal. Yeah, I guess we're like fraternal, but not twins. related. No relation. No, no, no all. relation. No, in, in any semblance. No, quite no relation. No, but sim- similar because we're both cleansing ourselves after the day. Yes. If I if drop only... my jaw anymore, it's gonna break. <laughs> if only it were so easy to remove the rod from my ass by cleansing, but. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it it, it doesn't quite work like that. No, it doesn't. I wish I could just wash all my problems away, but I've been doing that for years and it hasn't budged. Yeah, maybe a a mental cleanse of sorts. Yes. Well, that's what I meant by the rod in the arse. It was a mental thing, not a a physical. No, yeah, yeah, I I get that. Oh, okay. I I understand. There's not actually a rod in my arse. I, I definitely understand that, yes. Okay. Just, I just want to make sure. Clarif- clarifications, it's good. Yes. Don't want to get that mixed up. Maybe Anyways. we shouldn't mention that particular metaphor uh, around other people. Maybe that's just between us, that's fine. Yes, it was rather rude of me to say that as if you so I will refrain. Oh, I, I don't think you would mind, but y- yes. But he takes everything so literally. True. So he might mind that, or at least... Yes. Yeah, take it literally. The last thing I want is him spreading a rumor that there's actually a rod in my ass. That would not be good. No. Especially not a familiar one. Definitely Anyways, not good. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in the bath now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a shower. Okay. I hope you have a relaxing evening. Thank you. But you do, do try to get sleep eventually, perhaps. Oh yeah, so Maybe long as I get my full hours, hours, I will be fine. Oh. Perhaps more than four hours. But why? Because it's it's good to be well rested. I suppose and you're right. Usually people need more rest. I feel as though I get my rest from reading though. So it makes uh, up for what I lack in sleep. As long as it works for you, I guess. I respect that. Although, just for you, I will get an extra hour tonight. Delightful. Hmm. Okay, goodbye. Good night. <laughs> she turns and she walks towards the bathroom door and she, as she reaches the bathroom door, she turns around and she says, Goodbye. Happy showering. Uh, good night. Have, have a good bath. Okay. And she disappears behind the door. <laughs> Kevin just sits there and just, just, just loses it for a second, quietly just like, Silently, like screams, <laughs> and then just <sighs> he goes the and takes a shower. Over. I love that for him. And after his shower, he does his stretches, <laughs> but a little bit fun. more stretches. That was, that was after great. A long day. Wow. Um, Maternal bathing. Jesus right. Christ. 
That was rough for um, him to a straight face through all of that. Sometimes conversation just takes you places and you just gotta go. Genuinely. It just takes ya. Just takes ya. Um, that was surrealism art and I appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> I agree. In its form. Those two scenes in a row really gave me, they gave me context. Just going Whiplash. from sweet like kiss on the cheek to this. It was so pure. I, I can't. Know, my brain, my heart, my everything. From kiss on the cheek. I break, up, I break it up. I bring the pure so that we can, we can throw in these, these like, Kiss on, the, kiss on the cheek to yeah. rod in the ass very quickly. Yeah, um, thank God. Zero to hundred escalated. <laughs> thank God. Escalated. Um, thank God. Tenfold. Tack yourself. I'm kiss on the cheek and face rod in the ass. <laughs> there are two that genders. Two so no, genders. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're gonna jump to Andromeda. Wait. <laughs> before, if so, we're doing like before, if yes. we're doing like that stuff, and then wrapping up. I just wanna like. I'm sure this is not necessary, but. I plug in my phone. Oh, yes, my phone. I was just about to say plug in. Valid. Yeah. I, plug like, in. I, I did the stretches, but like extra because Valid. it was a long day and we were doing a lot of stuff. Even though it'd be kind of fun to not plug it in and then see what happens. See what happens. I'm sure it'll happen someday. But During the sports festival, that that's a great time to do it. <laughs> that's a no. great. <laughs> that would be funny. Be um, funny. What if they're getting text? Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't just leave it dead. Yeah. What if Claude texts you? What uh, if he texts Andromeda? Claude, Claude, I already... <gasps> the conspir- oh, there's, like, there's like a cork board in Theron's room. There's a love like, triangle going on like, here. <laughs> it's pictures <laughs> of Andromeda and Darien. <laughs> yeah. It's like taken like, from like the bushes. Huh? It's like blurry. And... What? <laughs> on the other side is Arthros like, and Aria. <laughs> oh, we'll turn um, around. <laughs> so, I assume you okay. all plug in your phone then at that, uh, at that point. Um... Andromeda. Um, Hello. Mud, of course, um, is at the practice with you. So I assume that the two of you walk back to the dorm together. Um, I don't know if there's anything specific you want to talk about with him. Um, he kind of turns to you um, while you guys are walking and he says, um, Andromeda, you, uh... Mud. Yes, that move today with the weird cube thing was amazing. <gasps> With the jelly cube, where I jelly like, kicked cube. it really hard, yes. and then I punched it super hard. It was so good. I saw it dissolve into pixels, and I looked at you, and I was like, damn, she's sexy. I look cool. Yes. Awesome. You looked I great. To look cool and you sexy. also looked sexy falling from the obstacle course as well. Didn't I? That was really fun. Um, yes. I like falling a lot. It's it's quite. You make falling sexy, which I didn't think was a possibility. Really? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes. Did you have fun today? Yeah, it was all right. I you took have... everything. Uh, took it easy, you know. Yeah. I don't want to expend all of my energy and my mm-hmm. motivation before the actual yeah. sports festival yeah. starts. Relaxed. So yeah. when you go into it. It's not, you know, you're not tired. Yeah, so when I go into it, I, like, just annihilate everyone, you know? Yes. yes. You're very smart like that. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, the walk back to your dormitory is not that long. You're pretty close to the gymnasium, actually, in Terra Cloth. Um, and as you guys, are, you guys are having this conversation, you're unlocking the doors, you're coming into the dormitory... Um, getting back into your dorm and uh, before unlocking the dormitory door Mud turns to you and he says "Um, when we get inside I'm going Mm -hmm. to immediately go to the bathroom okay okay why you'll see is there a surprise yes and I'm nervous so I'm going to go into the bathroom Ooh, I like surprises a lot. I'm so glad. Okay. Okay. Is it going to be scary? No. Okay. I can't do, um, No, no. Fright. Not scary. I don't like frights either. Oh, me neither. All right. I just said that. Sorry. I'm going to unlock the tree. The tree. Okay. The door now, tree. Should I cover, (laughs) cover my eyes like this? Yes. Maybe cover, and then I will say when I'm in the bathroom. Okay. 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 Um, and I will walk in after you. Okay. okay? All right. Okay. Um, okay. And he just completely, like, pushes the door open completely um, and walks inside and darts for the bathroom. 
She like walks in like like bumping into shit. And she's like, oh, sh oh, 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 okay, okay, oh, bed, bed, yes. He darts into the bathroom, closes the door, and then from behind the door you hear a muffled like, all right, it's okay now. Okay, I can, I can see. Yes, you can see now. Okay. Um, and what you see is on your bed there is a basket. Um, oh. a very cute little like typical little basket, very much like a little Red Riding Hood basket type thing, uh, type beat. Um, it is full of flowers that you might recognize from all around the school campus. Um, wildflowers from around the lake that you visit so often with mud, um, little daisies, and even a handful of, like, uh, pretty little weeds that, uh, he might have found that he wouldn't have really realized are weeds, but he would have grabbed them anyways because they're pretty. Um, and... Tucked within all the flowers are three little birds, um, all carved out of wood. And uh, it's a menagerie of different kinds. There's one of them is a hummingbird, one of them is a blue jay, one of them is a robin. Um, and then there is a letter in a golden envelope, chosen specifically to be golden. And uh, in black ink, that is in a very elegant script that you recognize from the note mud once left you um, on your bedside, you see the name tree in elegant script. Um, what'd you do? <laughs> she like, like looks at it. She like, her like hands are doing the little, little fiddle fiddle thing. She looks <laughs> at it. She's like, oh. She like reaches for it and plucks the little envelope up to open it up. Um, inside. When you open it up, Oh god. I'm gonna send this to you afterwards because it might not transfer as great when I read it aloud, but Okay. Um the note says Hello tree. I bet when you saw this you thought, what incarnation? But I wrote this to let you know I like you a lily more each day. And I risk you all the happiness in the world. Every daisy is better because of you. You're simply Irresistible. I lilac you. Accompany me to the celebratory ball? Question mark. Circle yes or no, please. P.S. Did you hear about the two flowers who went on a date together? It was a budding romance. I thought you would like that one. P.S.S. Maybe when you're up for it, we can put our two lips together. In parentheses. This is not a necessity, but I thought this particular flower pun worked really well. Parentheses. Love your mud. And then below, in bold, elegant scrawl, are the words yes and no that sit waiting your response. <laughs> I'm going to send it wow. to you in the chat. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> these flower jokes from behind the muffled bathroom door or behind the bathroom door you hear a muffled yes are you hiding yes i'm waiting for you to circle an answer before i reveal myself oh but how will you know what i circle <laughs> there's a like a little beat of silence and then you just hear, I didn't think that part through. I'll say it out loud as I circle it, okay? Okay, great. Okay, um, let me find a pen. And she's gonna, like, dig through her bag, her little school bag, to see if she can find a, a pen as quick as she can. As you're doing yeah. this, you hear from behind the door, he says, um, Oh, actually, you oh. could slide it beneath the door. Oh! Yes, yes, I, I will slide it beneath the door, okay? So you can stay behind there. Okay, I, I thought that was a good idea. I, was, I thought I was pretty smart for coming up with that one. Yes, I, you, are, you are very smart. Oh, um, thank you. She, I think she f finds a pen at some point mm -hmm. in her bag. She probably yeah, just keeps oh, for sure. She has yeah. some. She plucks it out, takes off a little cap, and circles the yes. <laughs> because yes. <laughs> yes. Because yes. Because <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Um, and she like, she like, 
does a little before she like goes. She does. A little, she sets the pen down and she like puts it to her heart and she does a little spin in the middle of the room a few times like a happy dog <laughs> doing like little spinnies around. Um, and then she stops and then she like looks around. And she's like embarrassed and she's like, "Oh, you didn't see it." Uh, and then you like and she like um, paddles over to um, paddles on over to the door and she like crouches down and slides it under the under the door. Um, she stands there. And you hear a moment of um, silence. And then um, the door swings open. And he has the note in his hand. And he is smiling, like, very wide. Um, and he basically, like, moves forward and just pulls you into a, a huge hug. <laughs> and she's going to, like, bury her face in oh. his chest. And she's um, going to be like, I don't know you like me this much. Um, and he says, uh, he's like, Andromeda, I liked you the moment I saw you. You were sexy, and I thought we had, as I said, a budding romance. So, wow. um, I thought perhaps it could continue at the celebratory ball. And she, like, pulls back a little bit from the hug, and she looks out of the, up at him, and she's like, I would like that very much. I would like to dance with you. And to uh, eat sweet things with you there, and to um, hold hands and other things with you there, if you would like to do that with me. Uh, Mod no uh, Mud nods like very enthusiastically, and he says, um, oh, "I could think of nothing better." Mm -hmm. And she's gonna reach up and take him by the cheeks and pull him in closer. And she is going to, first she's going to touch the tip of her nose to his nose. Oh. And she's going to do a little bunny kiss to him. Ah. Very gently. And she's going to pull back. Oh. And be like. Um, he seems like stunned almost. Like he's never had that type of like sweet affection essentially. Um, and he blinks for a moment and he looks at her and he says. That was lovely. I should like more of that in the future if that if, if things prevail and that is alright with you. It is alright with me if it is alright with you, Mud, okay? It is very alright with me, Tree. Mm -hmm. um, um Mud, um Yes. It's all right. Okay. We can... We'll go together. I'm so excited. In fact, I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. Yeah, it feels like, um... Like the the bees inside my yes. body bees. Um, are going to, they're happy this time, yes. and they're going to like fly out of my mouth and like form a heart. Or yes, like yes, that. I feel the same. It's like, like bees, but this they're going to my eyes and they're making You've... hearts in my eyes more. So. You feel the bees too? Yes, all the time, specifically oh. around you. But I think more, they're less bee-like, more uh -huh. like a butterfly. Yes. Okay. I feel. It sounds um, right. I feel uh, dragonflies inside my body. Dragonflies, like, because they buzz and they're like butterflies. And, and they're like really fast. You are so smart. Yeah. I am constantly bewildered. Me too. Constantly. Um. I visited Silas today. Oh! Mm -hmm. I know about this person. S Snake Man. Right! Snake? Okay. Good man. How did that go? Very. Very. Uh, very. Awkward. Oh. I'm but sorry, okay. that's unfortunate. Yeah, he's quite, uh. Oh, how would you say? Unkempt? Oh. Um, I don't think he was expecting visitors. Um. I kind of, you know, showed up. 
possibility, but it's okay. Um, you know what, said, Andromeda? I'm going yeah. to tell you something right now. Okay. If you show up on anyone's doorstep, mm -hmm. they best be happy about it because they hardly deserve you being there in the first place. Really? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I invited him to come over any time he would like you, because I would like you to meet him, because he is quite nice, and you are quite nice, so I think it would, you know... I'm excited to nice. meet him. Mm -hmm. He's very nice. Oh, good. Um, yes, I don't think he has many friends, so if you would like to be his friend, I think it would be a big help to his mental state. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank I you, should Mike. hope that oh. you uh, sleep good and have happy dreams of celebratory balls and hand holding and bunny kisses. Mm -hmm. bunny I don't no remember touches. my dreams, but I'm sure if I did, it would be of that. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I shall share my happy dreams with you then so you can remember something happy in a dream. Thank you. You're welcome. You think you would um, dream of me? I dream of you often. Cool. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Mm-hmm. Can I have another bunny kiss, please? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, she brings him in, uh, but far too quickly, and she... <gasps> Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Um, we got him, boys. We got him, boys. I Bring imagine it does it probably doesn't last very long because it was a very like no, it's very thing, short. Very, but yeah. so cute. Oh my god. Uh, mud is like. Oh. Um. Oh sh. He looks at you and he's like, I've thought about that often, and I was worried it wouldn't work because I have big teeth. But your lips are small, so it works fine. That was very nice. I am so... Oh, and she's gonna turn around and run into the bathroom, <laughs> slam the door behind her. Um, you just hear from the room, uh... Right, uh, good night, Andromeda! And she, I have, as she slams the door behind her, she kind of, like, presses her... Uh, back against the door um, and she has her hands in her hair and they're like gripping her hair tight and she like kind of like slowly crumples against the wall and she finishes her sentence of what she's saying I am so and she goes I am so fucked I am so fucked I am so and it's very quiet like very harsh as she thinks so floor and stays there for a little while <laughs> baby I fucking love them I was taking the first cannon kiss. <laughs> the first cannon kiss. First she small. did it. Um, I fucking love. Very nice. Very Expertly nice. Done. Expertly Delightful. done. Delightful. Love to see it. <laughs> oh, good. Um, so good. So good. Build and up. with that, I repeat, it is so fluffy. I am going to die. It's so fluffy. I'm going to die. Uh, and we're going to move to Julian. Um, oh god, why do I have to follow that up? <laughs> I'm, it's it's good. Trust me. I mean, it's, it's been a string of like all of this. Yeah, like, it's been a string. A wild vibe. Um, yeah. I have a little a little thing for you as well. Um, a little thing. A little thing for you as well. Uh, Silky catches a ride with you, Julian. Um, as she as she is prone to do. Um, and she basically mm. blabs the entire time about her experience with finger painting so far. Um, she tells you about how she absolutely loves the way that the paint feels on her feet. And it's like euphoric. She's obsessed with it. Um, and she says about how it's nothing she could really ever do before. So um, she kind of goes on this rant and she tells you and she says, um, so back home, I would go outside of our burrow. I wasn't supposed to go outside of the burrow because it was like dangerous, you know? But I would go outside the burrow, and there was always like this little, this little tiny, like little thing of mud, right? This little mud pit outside, and I would go over there, and I would stick my hands in, and I would paint on leaves. They were like a canvas, you know. 
it's much better having like an actual sketchbook now and actual colors because then it was just like it looked like I was just painting with shit but like it's fine <laughs> She's telling you the story as she sits on your shoulder um, as you walk back to your dormitory. Um, um, at some point, yes. like when it, Julian feels like it's uh, uh, okay to interrupt, mm -hmm. um, Julian is going to say, hey, um, Silky, could I uh, talk to you uh, about something? Uh, Silky stops in her train of thought and turns to you and goes, yeah, of course. What's up? This uh, whole past year in the sector and not being able to use magic and obsessively thinking about it so much and all this time. And I don't know why, but when I was finally able to use it back then, didn't feel as good. Silky nods slowly and uh, she kind of looks at you from her little perch and she says, um, well, I feel like that's to be expected, to be honest. Um, I mean, we're in a different place. Um, my stuff felt kind of different too. And to be honest, I feel like they probably inhibit us quite a bit with those, these doohickeys, you know? But, um, yeah, uh, but it seems like it, it feels like it, it, it might be more than that. It uh, beyond the bracelets that they put on us to inhibit us and beyond not being in Ostradel, my mind just feels so busy with not knowing if I want to relearn about my past and, and the, all these new feelings about certain people around me. And I don't really know how to process those things and it's sort of just Julian my mind's very busy Julian take a breath okay listen to Silky here all right the way that I see it right is you're you you're Julian art 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 arc arc cambo and and you are a great person and uh at least from what i've experienced so far and um i think that's great and i guess what i'm trying to say is that your memories and your past doesn't change who you are now um in both factors right so even if you find out your past you can't let it change your present right or how your personality is or how you portray yourself and even if you don't find out your past, it doesn't matter because you're your own person and it's what you make of your future that means more. You know? I should write that down. You should write that down. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Well, I mean, maybe it has to do... Good, good. Maybe it has to do with your with your spell book. I, I see you hugging that all the time. Um, maybe that's... Maybe that's why, right? Because I know he's supposed to talk back, but he doesn't. And that must be hard, because I don't know what I'd do if you didn't talk back to me. So, maybe that's why? Possibly. You gotta go easy on yourself, my man. You know, you've been through a lot in the past year. You've crashed down onto a strange planet. You've stayed in this scary government thing for a while and um the world is really big you know and things are really different and that's okay because that's the reality of things now but you got to go easy with yourself take it one day at a time so to speak yeah yeah you're right I mean, um, <clears throat> she just looks at you. She's like, "Go ahead." No, no you <laughs> first. I was going to change the conversation. Oh. Um. 
And she stares for a second. And she's like, all I was going to say is that I'm sure there's things that we're worried about, you know? And even if there's things that you can't remember, I mean, maybe that's beneficial to you right now because you don't know if there's any people that you left behind. But I think that you should focus on your present. Yeah, I should. And take several deep breaths every day, every hour. <sighs> well, don't don't hyperventilate. I've done that before too. Uh, maybe spread them out a bit more with intervals, like qu- quarter intervals. Yeah, so that's the one for. Well, you already just did four. So, but that's the one for right now. And then in about twenty minutes, do another one. Right. Julian's holding his breath. <laughs> Jill, you still have to breathe regularly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he sort of smirks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, she looks at him, she's like, don't pull my leg, I'm small. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pull my leg, I'm small. <laughs> She's that. Um, How do those sorry. two things correlate? There's not much leg to pull, is what I'm saying. Oh. Mm. Are you are you gonna open the door? Oh right. <laughs> She's like that fantastic Mr. Fox sound where they're like, um, oh, like, I can fit through that or whatever because I'm small or whatever. She's literally that sound. Um, so I assume you open the door to your um, dormitory, Julian. Mm-hmm. And um, as soon as the door opens, uh, Silky scampers off um, onto her desk. And she does take a moment to look at kind of her mess from the, this weekend. And she's like, this is going to be problematic to clean up. Didn't really is realize. Is her painting visible, like, there? Oh, uh, the painting that she did? Yes. She's got, like, a, a little sketchbook open on her desk, and it doesn't look like anything. It's just a bunch of colors smeared around, but you can see in some spots, like, the indents distinctly of her little, like, paw prints, where she just, like, tapped and tapped and tapped. But it's just a mess of colors, essentially. Oh. <laughs> Um, but she quite uh, colorful. Oh, she looks at you and she's like, "Yeah, thanks. I'm a you know, got a pretty artistic mind. Didn't even realize the mess I was making while I was doing it. I think I just kind of zero in into my artistic field, you know." It uh, definitely conveys that. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Um, and as you walk in, Ju- <laughs> as you walk in, Julian, uh, you hear something crunch underneath your foot. Um, not crunch, but like, yeah, I guess crunch is the only way I can describe it. Um, and if you were to look down, you see that there is a envelope, um, on the ground. Um, and it is in a maroon colored envelope, or it is a maroon colored envelope. Um, and on the top of it, it just has a very elegant J um, that is, like, up and curved and swirls over. Very, like, Victorian-type formal-esque. Um, Silky kind of, like, notices and hears the sound. Her ears flick when you step on it. And she looks at it and she says, um, I mean, last time I checked, my name doesn't start with J, so I can only assume it's for you. No, yet that would be a very good assumption, um, bends down to pick it up <laughs> i might be small but i got a big brain you know then she goes back to her to her art <laughs> she just you just see her go like this into like a paint bucket and she just yanks her foot out and then just goes onto the canvas <laughs> an art queen um i assume that you pick up the envelope julie 
I do. Okay. And do you open it? Yes. Okay. Um, when you open it, there, uh, it's not, the, the writing in it is not as formal as the J, but it is a nice cursive. Uh, nothing close to the script that Mud writes with. Mud is, like, on a different level for some reason. Um, but uh, this writing is much more, like, it is curvy and it is neat. Um, but it is very basic cursive. Um, and it says, um, Mr. Arshimbo, um, comma, I've discovered something rather interesting in my feet regarding your past. I feel an ever-growing connection to you and your friends, and it's bringing up some rather unsettling flashes in my mind. I think we should meet, as soon as possible. Seek the red wings of a gallant cardinal, yes? I'll come to you this time. Just keep your eyes peeled. I fear this is something we need to clear up as urgently as possible. I do not enjoy feeling uneasy, and I regret to say my visions have begun to fixate on the five of you, and it's entirely out of my control. I tried to read the future of a rather pathetic client yesterday, and all that came to mind were flashes pertaining to you five. Can't make a living reading the past and future of only the likes of you lot, now can I? Right. See you soon, then. And then it is signed SS below. Um, and that's that. Joa just takes from the advice of Silke, takes a deep breath. <laughs> Valid. Well, that was very foreboding. I think I preferred it when they were just trying to sell us things. Um, Silky, like, turns when she hears this, and she says, uh, so I guess it wasn't someone asking you to the celebratory ball. N no. Oh. Yeah, I haven't gotten a letter like that either. Then again, I think I'd still say no. Don't want to be tied down. Fair. <laughs> Just reads the entire message again, okay. over and over. stressed. He is going through it. <laughs> uh, why do magical people have to be so dramatic and vague? Uh, Silky turns when you say this and she says, uh, yeah, I noticed that too. Maybe it's trending. I learned that word uh, from my homeroom teacher. Trending? Yeah. Anyways, I'm going into art mode now, so if you need anything, just don't ask me, okay? Got it. Cool. But if it's an emergency, like, make a loud noise or something. Okay. Okay. And then she goes back into the paint with both her hands and starts slapping it onto the canvas again. <laughs> <laughs> um, Julian, is there anything? Julian, to... um. Oh, yeah. Go for it. I was just he gonna ask. He reaches to grab his TCD, okay, and is gonna send a quick text um, to uh, Arya Andromeda, Theron, and Arlo. Okay. Um, saying, uh, "Got message from Sin. Mm -hmm. We need to speak to them." Urgent. Nice. Look at That's you. Stressful time. Can we, can we respond yeah. back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh um, and Dramada types back like almost immediately. She's creepy. <laughs> That's <hilarious>. love. <laughs> Julian just texts back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then she says, yes. and she says, and weird. <laughs> Again, <funny>. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Wait. Do I need to text back? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Theron's probably like passed out by now, or like isn't looking at his phone, so he won't yeah. even see it. <laughs> Valid. Arlo, do you write anything back? 
I am so angry because like what I really wish I could respond with is like a picture of my his face like from this angle going like that. <laughs> <laughs> Like it actually how he feels like, there are like there are like um basic emojis so if you want to use the basic emoji and the closest emoji to like the sick okay. one like the sick disgusted one yeah you just... send the di- you send the throw <laughs> up like, one. i don't have to barf <laughs> beautiful oh my god is it um, the upside down one or yeah or the upside down smiley face the one that's just it's... like i use that one a lot <laughs> I'll um, think about it. I don't know which one it is. Think about valid. it. So, to end off. Either way, Julian oh, responds yeah. to the emoji. You just yes. Valid. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Question. Yeah. Do I get a text from a certain snake man tonight, or is it That's still a good radio silence? Oh no. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Draw it. Mm-hmm. As you lay down to go to sleep. Um. You do hear your phone buzz. And it reaches for um, it immediately. You just see uh, a text that says, Hey, um, still kicking. It was nice meeting you. And you see that it is from Fennel. Um, and he has sent you a message, as he said he would. Um, that's cute. And oh. do you respond? Yeah, she sends oh, back. Uh, <laughs> she sends back uh, tree buddies and then four tree ever. buddies for tree life. Emoji, tree. <laughs> and then tree emoji, tree emoji, tree emoji. I love that. <laughs> um, he writes back. Um, uh, heck yeah, with a tree emoji and an exclamation point. Yes, Bay. On the subject of that, does Darian ever text back about, like, when he's available, when he's free, when he wants to get coffee? He hasn't said yet. You can assume he's a very, he has a pretty packed schedule with the sports festival, but he's he's gonna, he'll probably, see, or maybe he's playing hard to get. He's a material girl. Um, (laughs) uh, Andromeda, (laughs) you lay back down um, after this little text conversation and just as you're about to fall asleep your phone buzzes again or your tcd buzzes again and this time um it is from a certain snake man and he says um thanks for taking interest in my snow globe and that's it she just responds back scary place cool dorm though (laughs) he responds and (gasps) says um i guess so but it was nice to talk about nonetheless period she types back come hang out soon and uh it's a couple moments there's like a beat of time and there's a couple moments that go by but then he eventually writes okay and that's that so, to close off the session, um, we did go for about, we're at almost seven hours now, um, because mm-hmm. we took about an hour break. So, um, not bad. It's always the fucking bad. role play that we go on for ages with, because I was like, oh yeah, it's I don't have girl. much left, it's but then it was like, <laughs> we do role playing. Um, we do. <laughs> it's great <laughs> though, but we had some single. good moments. Um, great moments. To end you guys off on a hopeful note and to end off the session. You all dream tonight. Julian, you dream of a library, grandiose and looming, with tall bookshelves towering over where you sit, reading at a small table in a quiet corner of a vast mausoleum of books. At your side is Napoleon, open and chatty, his expression glowing like fire storing any new knowledge you present to him into his pages. You can practically taste the way the air smells, rustic and like leather, parchment, and ink. You can feel the rough texture of book pages on your fingertips, and you see the elegant script of handwritten novels. 
You revel in the familiarity, in the comfort of having your one true friend at your side. It is a place you wish you could stay for years. Arlo. You dream of the smell of root beer and tobacco, the ocean breeze, and the heat of sand. You hear the faint sound of a cheerful tune played on a small lute and see your father swaying about the inn's tavern, beaming at customers and strumming the instrument in his hands. You feel the heat of the sun from outside the inn's doors bearing down on your damp skin, hear the rushing of waves from the shore just outside your room's walls, the room's walls, feel the rough surface of the bar top beneath your scaled webbed hands. You see the face of a stranger you once came to love, smiling across the table from you, the warm lighting hitting his bone structure just so. You hear your mother's voice calling for you to get back to work with a playful smile and a lightness in her tone. You turn around to see her beaming your way with two ales in her hand, handing them off for you to deliver to whatever patron had ordered them. You feel your cheeks stretch through. You feel your cheeks stretch into the widest grin. Andromeda. <laughs> you feel the cool, damp water flowing around your knees in stark contrast with the humidity of the air around you. You hear croaking and birds chirping and the faint sound of distant splashes throughout the water as an errant fish passes by. You stand beneath the shadow of a large green willow tree, its arms hanging so far over the water that some even splay out across it. Leaves of all shapes, colors, sit atop the water surface and you watch as they move aside with every step that you take wading through the shallow lagoon. You see him there in his brown cloak the hood pushed back to reveal his golden blonde hair, his sharp upturned nose, his bright eyes. You can hear the soft, deep baritone of his voice as he speaks. He says, allow a professional to show you how it's done before he smiles at you, lifts a pebble and skims it across the water surface. It skips across perfectly and he shoots you a very cocky wink. I'm sure you know who that is. Um, <laughs> Theron. You feel the heat of the campfire warming the palms of your hand and soaking your body in comfort and clarity. The air is brisk and frigid and it nips at your cheeks. The wind blows thick and the night sky is bright, a thousand constellations clear across the dark blue canvas. You feel the rough yet soft texture of a knitted blanket beneath you and you revel in the sights of a forest all around you, tall trees lining every corner and towering over the world in grandeur. Roz sits down at your side, sliding something unidentifiable but edible on a long stick and holding it over the open flame before turning to look at you with a soft smile and handing you a stick of food for your own. Aria, you feel the aura of a forgotten memory. You smell the scent of hay and fresh vegetables. You hear the cooing and calls of livestock in the distance muffled beneath the sound of a soft young voice beckoning you into an old creaking barn. You feel the uneven texture of fallen hay beneath your bare feet, feel the small puddles of water from a recent downpour seeping between your toes. You see a small, childlike, faceless stranger sitting atop the second story of the barn, feet hanging jovially, and though you can't see their face, you practically feel the joy radiating off of, radiating off of them. You feel yourself laugh before you reach for the small ladder up to the second story and grip the wood against your palms. And that is where I'll leave you guys. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so Wholesome nice. Wholesome vibes to end off with. <laughs> I'm thinking way better than nightmares. I'm thinking. I'm, 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 I'm fixated on Arya's story. I really uh, am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really fixated The second on it. I realized she didn't ever say what she was, I was intrigued. I think you're born frozen, my darling. It's very funny, though. You want to know why? Because there's so many tiny little things that we've yeah, left that for we've you thrown all. in like, to yeah. get the answer. We've talked about yeah, it on and off. I was like, when they watch this back, when they find out they're gonna and they watch this something. back, or if they watch this back, they're gonna hear all these little things that we threw in that are gonna be like very clear and obvious at that point. <laughs> I need to do like research on all of the things that exist in D and D because I it's, don't know what this is. It's fun. We got a lot this session. That. I feel There's like so it's a twist. 
We <laughs> just gonna make a compilation of like every like, moment I, ever, I and then like study it. Bob kept telling me like, "Oh, do you want? Do you, are you sure you want to food?" Ooh, food. I'm like, food. "Yes, food. I can't. Mm. It's so oh, pizza. I can't." Yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad at secrets, y'all. My last yeah. character just didn't me have too. any memories, so I didn't have to know anything. <laughs> that <laughs> was just too hard. Valid. Too full. full. Yeah. Oh. Well, I hope that it's fun. you guys had a good session. Mm, it was very, very good. I hope you enjoyed it. Was it was a lot of fun. I like the combat. Mm. It was, yeah, it actually went pretty good, and it was it's a lot more clear to me now that I've done it, and I'm glad that mm -hmm. we did it in like a situation like that. And I thought yeah. it'd be good for good like practice. a practice thing. Yeah. So um, I hope it wasn't too like chaotic or anything, because I know that it wasn't like a solid plan essentially, but it yeah. was kind of just was learning nice. curve, was, like, going with the flow yeah. essentially. Mm -hmm. And it was fun. learning it's together. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, a lot of cool moments. We did have a lot of great moments. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so many many good the end conversations so of like everybody was. It was great. It was, just... it was great. <laughs> and the Silas and Andromeda moment was. That a was lot. that was a lot of fun. That was a lot. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I love. Silky and I like all the new characters that were introduced to this mm -hmm. session. I'm so glad. So I was hoping you liked them. So good. I know my heart. A lot. They're a pair. Mm. What a cutie. And Fennel Beacon, is Beacon. on brand. I will be him. Beacon. I know. Beacon and Fennel are both dear to my heart. I don't know what I'm going to do with Beacon. Beacon is eccentric, but she's... I, I know what I'm going to do with her. I'm going to do something with them, though. Something. I'm, I'm happy for that. How about I do something? Didn't you get? It. <laughs> you got yeah. You got her friend code. I got a twelve. So and I attracted yeah. Max to the max. Am, It's a very similar situation where it's just oh yes, very attracted. Oh, very intimidated. I don't. <laughs> no. I don't even know where. To, <laughs> no filter. There's no in between. Very hot. It's just you're very hot, but you have no filter. <laughs> you're so hot, but what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so excited for the celebratory ball. <laughs> Me too. Because I'm Me. gonna be drawing all of your characters and every NPC <laughs> that is like of pretty I'm big importance in, in their their out their gowns and their garbs, and I'm so excited to deck them the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so good. I gotta see you when I when I buy. I have head. My head is. Hell yeah. Find the do. vibes for the outfits. Please do. <laughs> oh, do we have to, we have to like come up with our outfits and then. Yeah. Send it to, yeah. send it to me. Yeah, just send it to okay. me. You have time because the, there'll probably be two sessions possibly in between. Um, right. Okay. So we're going Depending. to like, the rest of the practices and like the. Well, it's oh, going to be, the, the it's probably going to jump to the sports festival next session. Um, oh, okay. And that, because I don't want to like limit it too much, we might have to cut that into two. Yeah. Um, mm. So that might so be like too extensive. Yeah, because you guys have either that or we'll probably skip through a lot of the beginning stuff and just go straight mm -hmm. into the sports festival. And yeah. um, because then we yeah, might be able to get it all in one session. Um, sure. Because it's essentially yeah. the banquet. So that'll just be a lot of you guys interacting with people. And then, mm. um, and then it's the two days of the sports festival. And then. So whenever we finish the sports festival, though, the immediate next session will be celebratory ball. So okay. yeah, we got we got oh, we got time. Yeah, you oh, at least have a month to come up with your outfit well. ideas. So I'm trying to do that like this weekend, honestly, okay. or this week. Just, yeah, just send it to me in your little private chats. Yeah, keep it all organized. I can't wait for like the reveals of everybody. Me too. Oh my god, we're gonna I'm so excited! I'm so excited. We're gonna be freaking out. It's gonna be so hot, sexy, damn. Um, mm -hmm. I love you guys so much. We did technically have a six hour session because we didn't start for an hour. We had a six and a half hour session because we didn't start for an hour and then we took like a 30, we were here for like 30 minute break. Yeah. 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 But we were on call for eight hours. Yeah. It was good. Um, so that makes me feel a little bit better because then it, it kind of did stay in my time frame that I wanted. <laughs> um, but yeah, because my thing right now says 756 and that's because um, we had the hour at the beginning and then the 30 minute yeah. break Ooh, so um break. yeah but that was a lot of fun i really liked that session i feel like that, that went really well i enjoy watching this back so honestly me too so 
I'm excited. Like, I can't it's wait to be cute. Just I really liked. I really liked the obstacle course with you guys. I felt like that was really fun. That was fun. That was fun. That was, that was, that was, fun. That was in awesome. Its entirety. I want to do that more. <laughs> oh yes. Oh. Oh. Exactly. Yes, Jasmine. Should I send the song really quickly, or should I wait till next session? Yes, send no, the song. They don't. They don't know the story behind it. So. That's true. Okay, do it. And then I find, I find we don't rule. know nothing. Rule number yet. four. Rule number four. I think D has oh, heard it before. Oh, yes. <clears throat> You've heard it from me before. <gasps> Theron, you said Ace Queen for Silky. Yes. You oh, fucking right, know it. Kid. You fucking know it. <laughs> No way. She absolutely. She does I not. Love, love hell yeah. In, she does not get hell a yeah. fuck. <laughs> She's like, I don't need that in my life. Too much baggage. I respect. I respect. She just, she just does a little paw paintings. We love a mouse Truly. queen. She makes me she happy. Just loves and, mouse ace queen. She's like, she it doesn't talk, talk as much, but then every time <laughs> I feel like she has conversations, I'm like really happy with how she comes Ooh. out. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sent the songy? Yeah. Oh, this song! Mm -hmm. Yeah! I know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fish. You know, it's funny, because I was gonna ask, I was like, because when we started this, and before we knew who each other's characters were, mm -hmm. uh, Bop would always say, like, oh, Arya and Arlo is gonna be a really weird match. Dynamic, and I yeah. would be like, I guess, and then, like, it happened, and, like, they seemed fine, but, like, is there more to Arya's backstory that makes it a little bit more ironic than it currently is? Ooh, that's a good question, Waterboy. Who knows, Waterboy? Good question, Waterboy. Would you like to know, Waterboy? Yeah, would like Waterboy. you like to know? Oh, would like would like to know. know Zofia would also like to know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he would. Mm -hmm. He would and, Andromeda also asked. Yes. So. Yeah. Right. Theron's just gonna like sniff her next session and be like, "What are you?" <laughs> Just gonna sniff her and not gonna get the answer. <laughs> that gives she, it. He smelt her before. What I mean, he probably has. All right, kiddos. I'm All right, kiddos. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Enjoy your Love you guys so much. Have a Love good you. night, okay? Thank you, so Thank you for a great session. Yeah, thank you. Good. So good. Bye. Yeah. Mwah. 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 <laughs> oh, we all changing. Oh, it's just me. And I'm gone. Oh, I'm back. Oh my god, look at the chat. Wild. Let me exit out of this real quick, chat. Give me two seconds. Uh, uno momento. I'll be right there, I promise. Um, I am gone. I am lost. I am lost. And a rainbow. Now a rainbow. Okay, wait. Where am I? Please. Please. There we go. Oh, why am I spinned? Hate that. There we go. Back to how it was. Very good. Oh my god, why am I on the screen twice? Hello? Oh, because I already had my cam on there. <gasps> I'm so smart. Me from the past was smart. Okay. Hello, chat. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed session. You're over here. I hope you enjoyed session. Um, I feel like that went really well. I am so tired. My voice is so tired. Um, but that's fine. <gasps> um. Yeah. I, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you had a good time. It was indeed a trip. Um, I look at, I look forward to seeing all your theories off of this episode and how you felt about some of the new characters and things of that nature. So um, be sure to let me know in the Discord chat. Um, but thank you so much for being here. To those of you who stayed the entire time, y'all are wild. Thank you so much for being here the entire time. Um, for those of you who might have popped in, popped in and out, or made it towards the end, that is totally fine. I hope that you can enjoy watching it back and enjoying it that way. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get some rest now because we're all very tired. Um, but love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting this campaign. We have so much fun doing it. And even though it is a fuck ton of work for me, I enjoy it so much. So farewell. Have a good night. Love you all very much. Appreciate you all very much. And um, thank you for being here and supporting us. Mwah! 
Farewell.